getting A's like a nerd while the bookies getting served with a V for Vendetta. E is the letter when you put it all together, we about to get cheddar. To the day got picks and he turning out tricks. Pimp slapping like Mike M. Clash of the Titans. But this won't look this way, cause we already stoned as Pimp from Dave. Yeah, I'm gone. And it's all I pay to the bookies. Sports bitch, yeah, the twins, they be checking in Stacking up green is the scene that you're stepping in Winning is a trend and we stay making dollars Nerd talk with the sports bet scholars Yeah, uh, Mike M, Dicks from Dave, Earl Sports Bitch This is Nerd Talk, motherfuckers Hello, I'm Dave, good morning Welcome to Nerd Talk Live Betting Edition, another session. We are back on this beautiful Friday. It is heating up here in the desert in the 90s. I am so sad that basically I'm going to kiss goodbye. The beautiful weather, it'll be 100 degrees in a month. But either way, we're here, we're inside, we've got AC, we've got the fans going, and um, we are ready to cash. Um, it's raining, obviously, in other parts of the country. I have a play in the twins tigers game and that's raining um and i have some questions for the baseball folks out there as far as where they're going to get weather now so i'm seeing conflicting stuff but either way we'll let people trickle in uh please please hit the like button if you haven't that reminds me i need to put a um little poll up so let's do that real quick Everyone's having a good day, ready for the weekend. I got family coming in town again. Yay for me. It seems like it's every fucking week. But, uh, you know, you love them. And then you, know, you want, want my own space. I'm a hermit. I don't, uh, I don't like a lot of people around all the time. Sometimes it's fine. Not all the time. All right, where are we going to? We go to the thing that looks like a nipple. Uh, then we got to press that, press save, hit the stupid plus button, start a poll. Uh, almost there, guys. Sorry about this. All right. Why can't I do this? What is the problem? Oh, is it too many characters? Dang it. Um, dang it, how do we do this? I all right, we'll do it that way. We did it. All right, Dave's back. Dave is back. We're ready to go. Let's get to the comments. Sorry, guys, had to put up the poll. Stop, Geo. What's up, buddy? Wine time. Good to see you, Dan. What are we on today? Well, I don't do drugs, Dan. But, uh, man, my beard is out of control. I'm going to uh, trim it tonight. I got to fucking do with a wedding tomorrow. Fucking wedding. 80, 82, one and two-year-old people are getting married. What are you getting married for at that age? I don't know. But they are. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll get to what we're on. Whoa. Okay, well, we're obviously we're on the first five under in that Twins-Tigers game. I need to find out. I don't. So this is the thing. Ballpark pal now makes you pay. The fuck if I'm paying them. Um, Swisher analytics, um, they have weather and it shows the, the, the deal, but I'm looking at some other thing, like there's park factors, which I've never used parkfactors.com. And it's telling me that there's a slight breeze out to left center, but, uh, Swisher analytics is saying there's 20 mile an hour winds. And then another weather thing saying there are gusts. So 
wondering what people are doing because I used to go to ballpark pal and then see what the park, how the park was affected by wind. Because for instance, I'll give you for instance, the Giants where the Giants play, there's always wind. It's in a bay. It's right by the ocean. The wind's all around it, but the wind swirls there and the wind doesn't affect it. It, it. it just doesn't affect the ball the way that people think. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. And this gives me a park factor of minus 99. Uh, produced an average ballpark, 96 home runs for every 100 homers. For, what does that even mean? Comerica produced 103 runs for every 100 runs produced in average and 96 home runs for every... I don't I don't know what that means. The park features blah 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 blah. I don't think it's a hitter's ballpark, is it? Oh, it ranks them. Yeah, it's it's in the middle. Who cares? All right, fuck it. We're on that. Um I'm on I'm on the Angels uh Red Sox under eight and a half. It went up to nine. It's juiced to the over. Do they think they're gonna get a shit ton of runs? I guess after yesterday when I was on the under and it was looking good in the Boston game until they fucking scored. How many runs? They tied it up in the ninth, and then the next inning they scored seven runs. So it's just – I don't know how close you can get to cashing your bets and not hitting them, but it seems like that's been for a month or two just craziness. Um, so we're on that. Oh, yeah, I'm only on baseball today. That's why – so we're, we're going to talk, guys, because the end of the season is nigh – for both NBA and NHL. And NBA, I almost am not even... Unless someone has a really good angle, I don't see how you can because it's the end of the year and everything's kind of set. I almost feel like the, the playing teams kind of don't care where they're playing. Um, that's fucked. And then NHL, there, I wanted I wanted to play VGK. I don't like their price today. I don't want to lay the, the puck line. But they still have some sort of implications. A lot of the other games today are meaningless. But uh, that, anyways, that's that. Uh, I am on the Cardinals first five. I took a shot there. And then I'm on the Dodgers team total over. Did a video on that last night. You're going to pick up a gilf this way. A gilf. No, no, no. It's um, my grandfather and my grandmother that um, have been together for 15 years are getting married. Small little deal. There's just my mom, my nephews, my nieces, and my brother. And then her friend. And that's it. God, I hope that's it. If they invite more people, oh God, fucking a. I want it to be done and done with. I had to wear a suit, ninety degree. Oh God, oh, I'm just things you dread and hate to do. Things you do, I love. If you were the NBA commissioner, what would your punishment be on Jonte Parker for what looks like betting on his own unders? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the deal. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you regulate betting, like with the Shohei Otani thing. I'm wrong. I think he definitely knew what was happening. I kind of don't care if you're not betting on your sport. I don't care at all. If you're not betting on your sport, I don't care. Um, it's kind of this stupid thing like oh, the, the baseball thinks. It's kind of like smoking marijuana. It's like, oh, if you do one thing, you can't do another. No, you can smoke marijuana and not do heroin, okay? So you can bet on other sports and not bet on baseball. Um, but if you're if you're betting on your own sport, you're in trouble because you can affect it. If they can prove it, you have to prove it. Innocent until proven guilty. If they can prove it, I say kick them out. The, uh, if if you're at, if you're betting and affecting the game, you're you're done. Your career's over. The truth says, "Hey Dave, what's up? Always enjoy the show. Appreciate it, Dave. Did you see what the over Leafs Devils? I commented on your post yesterday. Uh, stop, Joe. Give me a break. I am not. I I I hit and like them. There's no way in hell I'm going to remember a comment from days ago. Even though there's a couple of my, I, I wouldn't remember that. My brain. Too many brain cells are dead. But congratulations if you got it. No touchy NBA this time of year. Yeah. I'm off. I am off of that. I'm on baseball, though. Baseball super meaningful. People are, you know what? People are dumb. You guys are, not all you guys. You guys are smart, but people we know are stupid. Sports betters. Oh, I don't bet baseball. Well, I'll tell you what right now. I'm going to tell you what. Of the major people, if it's a guy that only bets basketball or football, I'm going to tell him that that guy's not a winning capper. And if he is, he could win a lot more. Because the edges in NFL and NBA are so small. They're almost impossible to beat. Um, you can have a good year. You can say you're good. You can have less than a couple. You can have a couple hundred bets and that'd be okay. But put a thousand bets on each. Put a thousand bets in the NFL or NBA. A couple years. Um, you bet enough. You'll see. It's not. MLB, there's so many. 
there's it's confusing, but it's there's so many different angles. So watch what watch what we do. Watch what I do. Watch what uh, you know Mikey M. Watch what the Earl brothers do. Um, watch what Higgs. Watch people that know what they're talking about and all the angles that they can get. These are guys that win at baseball, and baseball is one of the. I'd say of all the major sports, that in college basketball. So bet bet baseball. Find a way to bet baseball, or listen to people, or just sit back and don't make money and be an idiot. That's fine. V seven. Oh, I hate baseball. I don't watch baseball. Get whole baseball games. You kidding me? Can't do that. See me watching a baseball game. I'm on my phone. I'm on Twitter. I'm I'm look. I'm betting other sports. I'm looking at looking at chicks in bikinis. That's what I'm doing. So, Geo, Leafs are one of those games that stuck out yesterday. Well, I'm glad because NHL is tough too. The only the only games that matter to me are the ones that I can play or ones that have playoff implications. Which VGK is one of them. Uh, I hated their odds, or else I would have been on them. Maybe they go down by one goal and we bet them. Maybe who's texting me? Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I hate my phone. I hate my phone, but I'm not buying a new one. It's not. It's not too- what do I, what do you, in fact, I'd go, if, if it wasn't for being able to check emails and, um, gambling sites and only fans, I, I'd have a flip phone. I don't care about anything else. Oh, another thing is, um, GPS that changed everything. I'll tell you what, man, people having to explain to people where that, where they got to go. I remember that, or maybe MapQuest. If anyone remembers MapQuest having to print out a directions, which we, I thought MapQuest 25 years ago was amazing when I started driving. Absolutely amazing. You could. You didn't have to. You have a Thomas guy. You didn't have to draw directions uh, or put them on a piece of paper. You could print them out. And then it was great. It was great. Anyways, back to this. What games have popped off here? We've got um, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. Two on. Nothing there, nothing at all. Let's get let's get on the right day, Dave. Giants Rays. Not a game that jumped out at me. Orioles Brewers. I would take the Brewer. I mean, the Orioles. If I bet Brewers games, I don't get involved when the Brewers are on a game. I just don't bet it. Rarely, unless I see a huge angle. I. Why are the Brewers a favor favorite on the road? Wells that bad of a pitcher? I don't know. Don't know. I also don't know if, even though they're at home, if Toronto should be minus two thirty favorites against the Rockies. That doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, Gossman has almost a ten ERA. I'm granted that Gossman's good. That's the Rays over two. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there, there's, we have a guest. We'll bring him on. Thoughts on Rockies, Blue Jays? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't, I don't. For me, gun to my head, it'd be Rockies or nothing. But Feltner's awful, so that's just that. That game is stay away, city for me. But anyway, let's bring on our guest. You know him, you love him. From the South Jersey area, is that Chichester or is that Pennsylvania? That's where the fucking toothless people are, right? I don't know. Let's ask him. We'll bring him in here. The one, the only, Billy Briz. Where are you? There you are. Hola. Hey, so Chichester is is like the part of Pennsylvania. You have you ever heard that before? Chichester or Ch- Ch- It's by Chester, right? It's by like where Bam Bam Margera is from. Yeah, it's like Westchester. Yeah, yeah, but there's like a lot of fucking like not hillbillies, but a lot of like WT there, right? It's more like the Poconos area. Oh really? No, it was super yeah, fun. And when Nash, can I uh, drop a link to a uh, fellow friend here? It's uh, yeah, fight night. We're gonna make some money. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Who who wants to come on? Uh, Joey Torato. Yeah, well, I I don't know if I know him, but he's welcome. He's a friend of you. He's a friend of ours. It's a friend of ours. Money tonight, Dave. It's fight night. And is it what fight night? PFL. PFL week two in Vegas. No way! Is it on? Is it on TV? What the fuck am I doing? I'm missing out. ESPN two. What the hell? Showcase fight on right now. 
We're getting All the right. horses warmed up, and it's a uh, male light heavyweight and male lightweight. So uh, a lot of people are going to get their ass beat tonight, probably. Oh, no. On ESPN2, I've got women's softball. Thoughts that, on Rockies, Blue Jays is 29. Oh. Yeah, that, that's Dan. Uh, yeah, there's you shouldn't have thoughts on that. <laughs> that game sucks. Uh, fuck. I can get a Blue Jays. It's it's way. It's like the Blue Jays are over a two dollar favorite. Is this uh, the Rockies' first game away from Colorado? <laughs> no, yeah, it would probably fade. Uh, I think so. Isn't it? Mm, that's even juicy. Um, <laughs> that really sucks. I would probably just play the Toronto Blue Jays team total over, but man, Toronto's been pretty shitty this year offensively. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like that game at all. There's, I don't, you know, you can come up with something maybe, but this sucks. I'm not gonna watch softball. Okay, we're gonna go to ESPN Plus. Yeah, it's only that's what I'm watching on is ESPN Plus. Yeah, we'll go there. But uh, are you are you are you treading lightly in um, NBA? I'm not betting that shit. Fuck that. It's, it's crazy right now. Not crazy. I, just trust right. me. I, I like to bet the NBA in very peculiar spots, and uh, I'll never shy away from an NBA bet. But if they don't care, why should I? You know? I, yeah. I don't know that there, there isn't one spot that isn't already a plan. No one's fighting for a spot for anything, right? So it's like. Like, not really. It's more of like the players that either want to get bench rotational minutes in the playoffs or eh, this is not why should I bet the NBA in the last day of the season or can it could I bet PFL week two where these people are fighting for a million dollars I'd rather fight yeah. for the people, the people that need the million dollars while they already don't have fucking 10 million dollars and they're sitting on the bench I'm with you but I do I have a Sunday spot. Sunday is the last day of the regular season. So Sunday is a day I'll probably bet the NBA. Billy says, you like Oliveira tomorrow? Ah. I can't blame you for the price tag. I just don't like the stylistic matchup, if I'm to be saying. The line's a little bit crazy, but. It's a bad stylistic matchup. You know, uh, we've seen when Oliveira fought Islam Makachev, that Dagestani and S type of style of top mount position control is kind of plays into how Charles Oliveira wants to play off of his back. And if he does that shit off of his back, I don't think he wins the fight. But the uh, one fight that he, Armin, was like minus 700. He got clipped in like the first minute of that fight. And he almost got knocked out by Joaquin Silva. So, from that aspect, I don't blame you because if he can get knocked out, I definitely think it's uh, – if there's a finish in the fight, it's probably from the Bronx. I'm more excited about the, the ladies' fight. We got two um, – two, uh, it's the battle of the fucking Pacific Rim. But Yan, Yang Jingnan, the, the plus 900 <laughs> knockout bet against Je- uh, Andrash. Yeah. Billy Zhuang. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on her, and I'm gonna be on her KO again. You wait and see. She's gonna go back to back KOs. I don't blame you. I would bet Jan Jean Nan if I made money on her the last one. I think I bet fight end by knockout. Not. It happened in the first round, I think. First round. I, yeah, I got lucky. I got lucky because I didn't think that she was gonna win that fight. Yeah. I was actually Mike M that really Mike was really trying to push that and sell that. That's why I got the play from was him. He, yeah, was, he got Mike, the Mike was pushing and selling that. He sounded yeah. very convicted. I was like, all right, Mike, I'll play. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up? The Clark what Edge. Up? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he got he got us there. Uh, but uh yeah, we're getting into that time of year. We got playoffs. I mean, in, I love I love betting NBA playoffs. I'm gonna enjoy betting NHL playoffs. I hate the last two weeks of both. Um, it's just, especially NBA. It's like we talk about a sport where Hockey's the pros don't care. They don't care, man. They just don't care. Hockey isn't that bad though. No, hockey's better. Hockey cares, but but the oh, yeah. did she just? But the pro the problem is, is that I'm still not gonna bet. 
teams that are bumped out of the playoffs. I'm not going to do it. They have they're uh, eliminated. I'm not betting them. There's, there's what edge you're do you not, have? You're not a fan of the battle of the tank matchups. No, I, I'll bet the teams that are still that still care, um, or even even teams that are jockeying for a position. Like it's almost like the NBA doesn't care what seed they have. Like the Lakers don't give a fuck. They play the way they're going to play, and they just go to the they go to the playoffs and say, "Okay, we'll beat you." On the Eastern Conference, everyone's being a pussy because nobody wants to fucking two seed this year because yeah. you would have to play one of Miami or Philadelphia, and. Miami and Philadelphia, some things uh, break out certain ways. Um, you never know. Bill says he's on magic plus seven and a half. Um, do you believe in magic? Uh, psh, psh, psh. Um, is Joel Embiid playing or not? <laughs> I think the best bet on that game is probably the Sixers in the first quarter at home. Because my back, the whole entire first quarter. Yesri, you are back. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. Anyway, I like that sorry. Sunday Magic spot. I was looking to bet the Magic on Sunday when they play Milwaukee again at home. Cool. Yeah, my internet went out la last Friday during the show, and I don't have any other choice. I have, I have two. The two shitty internet companies here are just absolutely horrible. So. It is what it is, but um, I'm back. Uh, uh, can I pull up this fight card? The line moves to six and a half, so he is playing as of right now. Um, Yeah, I kind of like the Sixers in the first quarter. Joel Embiid always plays the first quarter. They're trying to get his reps in before uh, the end of the uh, season because he hasn't played in two months, so they need him to get reps regardless of who we're playing. Um, but fuck all the bullshit, man. I'm I'm betting on these fights tonight. Like that's the, I think that's the most um the most appeal in the whole entire betting card tonight. Like out of all the sports, major sports and shit like that, I like these fights in PFL tonight, bro. These these are these are good fights. You know, like uh, UFC 300s tomorrow. They don't want to be uh. They obviously know they can't even fuck with the event, but uh, it's a good appetizer, I should say, for the um, night. Who are you on in this Espinosa Piccolotti fight? Did you have anything? Uh, psh, psh, psh. What's going on right now? Yeah, it's going on right now. That's a pass for me. Um, Godzi, I have Godzi Rabaninov, who's the next fight after that. Parlayed up with uh, Brazilian big brother superstar, who really was used to fight in the UFC, uh, Antonio Carlos Jr. Uh, it was like minus one fourteen. Too like they didn't have any props on the prelim, so I kind of stayed away from uh, the, the only prelim fight that I really like was Degazi one that. Um, no, Mills did an interview with Solomon Renfro, great for Mills, but uh, Gazir Abanov is part of like the Khabib crew. I'm down with that, dude. I didn't even realize. Yeah, we'll 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 get into that. Um, Mel, okay, Mel. Okay, so this is I I looked at things. So here's the deal: VGK has playoff implications. I'm not laying 175. By the way, that other argument that we had, where whatever team VGK was supposed to win when they were minus 175, they lost to the Ducks. That was that one night. Remember that night? We'll drop it right there. The next one is. The Blues have implications against the Hurricanes. I would bet the Blues are nothing, but it's the Hurricanes. It's the Blues versus the Hurricanes. What are we doing? Laying, laying the money. And I also looked at the Blues plus one and a half. It was minus 150 or minus 160. No thanks. So what are the other two games that have playoff? The Oilers and Coyotes. Um, unbettable. It's minus 270. Preds, Blackhawks. Preds are plus 210. Flames and Ducks are out, right? So it's the first four games. How do you bet them? You tell me. I will listen. Tell me how you bet them because you can't bet the money lines. Can't do it. I forbid you to talk about betting another minus 175 ever in your entire life. I don't care if there's a 100% probability in your mind. I think people overlook 
the whole Chiefs conversation thing. It all evens the fuck out by the end of the week, as long as you bet on it. So it, it, it does, and here's why it doesn't. The people that bet those aren't in order to. My argument is this: there are definitely times when a minus two hundred is better than the than the act. That first of all, you have to trust your model. But in actuality, there are times when a minus two hundred could be profitable. Here's the problem. How do you guess? How are you, are you good enough to guess that a hundred times out of a hundred times? Your people aren't good enough. The books are better. Some people could do it, but the people that are betting minus the here's the problem. The people that are betting minus one seventy five and minus two hundred, most of them, and I'm sorry if this is one of you in the chat, most of them aren't winning betters because they're taking a bad strategy. It's a bad strategy. Hey, they're betting on the winners, right? Damn, that was a crazy fucking knockout. Shouts to Elvin Espinosa. That was nutty. Glad but no, I want to know how to bet these bets if I can get one in. I'm going to go silent real quick. Um, Billy, if you can filibuster oh. for me, I'll be right back. Filibuster. Alvin Espinosa with the finish, man. I didn't think he was going to be able to get that, bro. That's wild. We fucking sauce Adam Picotti late in that round. Was that a second or third round finish? Mm. I am so glad I didn't bet that fucking fight. Ellis Benoza was losing the whole entire fight and hits that motherfucker with a flying knee. And that's was the clip that uh, ended up clipping him in the end there. Um, Bagazi Rabbanidal versus Solomon Renfro is up next. I said it earlier. We're on Gazi Rabbanidal and Antonio Carlos Jr. as a two-leg parlay. And um, if you could bet props, I would probably bet Gazi by decision. They got the uh, damn the uh, weighing ceremony of Williams to just happen. We got to look at some of these tonight. You guys excited for USC 300 this weekend? It's about to be a fucking banger. Link as well. It's supposed to be a fucking banger. I want to bet hockey. Tell me how. Um. You just bet on the good teams, right? Duh. That easy. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. The one thing I don't like about the hockey slate is, yeah, there's going to be some plus money to be had, but damn, bro, there's a lot of big favorites on this one. The only, like, short home dog is the Anaheim Ducks, and ugh, I'm not a uh, Quack Quack Nation fan. The prodigy remains undefeated, man. That was a wild knockout. Gets the I'm fab not, five. What'd you say? I'm just back. Go ahead. Keep going. Or no, that was a that was a four point. That was a four point knockout there. That's wild, man. I didn't think Alvin Espinosa. He's he's coming along. That's why I ain't bet against him. Fuck that. Calgary 0 7 after a loss. Ducks plus 120 at Billy. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, if I had – I'm not a hockey guy. I got it. I like don't love, but I would have to love it to bet it in hockey. And um, like don't love. I like the Anaheim Ducks, though. It seems like a good spot for them. Everybody and their fucking mom is betting them. It seems like the public underdog of the day here, 93% of the cash on the plus 120 line, 7% of the money on Calgary. All the other games are kind of like somewhat evener. If that's a word, uh, not nah, Vegas. A lot of people are betting Vegas. Edmonton's gonna fuck up the the Yotes. Yeah, here's the, here's the problem with all these games. So the one game that has no playoff implications is this one. I can't bet it because no, no, who knows who cares? Detroit Lenny, what's up? Quacks. So the answer, pick pick first way. Pick, the la, the worst thing I'm good at is doing anything first period. Um, but that's not a bad way of doing it. Going go, thinking they're gonna come out hot. That's the one game that doesn't have any any playoff implications, right? So tell me how to bet the first four games. The first here's one: bet the first period three way. Not a bad option. I, I'm not going to do it. I just don't. I the the sports the, besides baseball, man. I feel like all the other sports are like basketball and hockey specifically. What the fuck am I? Really, how am I supposed to bet that shit? Yeah, the that's what I'm saying. Tonight at uh, ten ten. 
I wonder where his K prop is at. It's at four and a half, and he got lit the fuck up in that Korean series. Uh, he pitched the second game in that series against yeah. the Padres and got absolutely blown up. Um, yeah. You don't want to bet a pitcher that's faced the same exact team within two weeks, but we're past that two week threshold. And um, I like Yamamoto to bounce back tonight. I would imagine from a psychological standpoint, if you got fucking rocked by a team in your first debut start ever overseas, and now you play the team about a month later, you would want to bounce back here in this spot, you know, fuck them up a little bit. And um, I remember when King, who did King play for? Michael King, uh, the fucking Yankees, right? Yeah, he was a reliever. So I'm on this game too, but go ahead, go ahead with what you're gonna say. I think the no, that dude on. sucks. Well, he's a first of all, he's a reliever, and they've la, last game he pitched seven scoreless innings. But if you look at everything else, he doesn't. Basically, he's either a primary or or a guy that's only gonna go three or four innings. He hasn't been out of the fourth inning of the other two games he's pitched. Uh, we're gonna see a shitty Padres bullpen, and the Dodgers are the one of the best hitting teams. I'm on the Dodger team total over, um, and they they touched this Padres team before, and we're going to see a lot of their bullpen. King's not going to go more than four innings, five innings if he does great. So, Yeah, we're going to circle back around to that probably right before it pops off, but I'm kind of with you, though, Dave, uh, the over in that game, and then narrow it down from the over to Dodgers team total over. I remember mm -hmm. the last time that Yomamoto pitched, you played the Dodgers team total over. They fucking lost by four runs, but still covered the fucking team total by the third inning. Yeah. That was it. That was like the 17, 19 run game. It was mm -hmm. like, it was nutty. It was like double digits on the board. We got coming up in PFL, we've got uh, some Raz, Raz, Rab, Rabid, whatever. Some God. Russian. Godzi Rabin, Rabidinov. Robedanov, Robadanov, Robad, Robadanov, Robadanov, yeah, Robadanov, and then Solomon Renfro. We got Gazi in two leg parlay with uh, Antonio Carlos Jr. Okay, um, cat behind this one is uh, Solomon Renfro. I'll give him a lot of credit. He fought Magomed Magakaramov last year as a uh, short nose replacement, and um, he has really good striking. But the one thing that I will say about him is. When he takes that next step up a level in competition, he just doesn't uh, – you know, he's still a prospect. He's 27 years old, but his best fights are yet to come, if that makes sense. Uh, he was the PFL welterweight semifinalist last year, but half the division got wiped away from uh, – and uh, from the PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. He's lost to guys like Adam Fugit, who uh, was kind of shitty in the UFC, Johnny Parsons, mainly a striker, Mike Mallett, who's in the UFC. But he did beat uh, Al Sawari, who just got signed to the UFC, won by knockout. But with that being said, we did fade uh, Al Sawari in his UFC debut with the dude from the PFL, and he was able to knock him out. So it's not like that big of a win, in my opinion. But on the other hand, we got Godzi. He's going to be on a six-fight win streak. He's been look. He's at the prime of his career. Um, he actually started off his career with the PFL, so it's funny how things work back full circle. Uh, he originally fought in PFL in like 2019, like when the promotion uh, first got bought out by the World Series of Fight. Um, so I think he's going to have the right capabilities. Great everywhere. Uh, good striker, good grappler, but I think the grappling for Godzi is really what I want to see him mark here. Is uh, your dag is Stadium, right? We're betting on the dags to wrestle. <laughs> um, yeah, Mel, go ahead. Give me your cap. Also, give me what odds it is. I mean, that's that's when I say when I want to bet. I need to know what the odds are, but cap whatever you want, please. I'm just hoping it's not something super juicy. Is that you know? I'm not gonna minus one lines. Yeah, it, it just – it all depends. I just don't I – mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah, cap it. I want to know. I want to know how to bet these four games. I don't, I don't know how to bet – these four games for the teams that I want to bet are unbettable unless you want to bet minus ones, which I rarely do, or puck lines, which I do a little more. But I don't feel very strong about puck lines around, around playoff time. So let me know how to bet them. I want to. I didn't bet them. I looked at the games. Um I feel like the only way, not, 
shitty way of saying it, but the only way you can really get good value is by capping the game pre-flop, not betting it, and then wait for a live line after the first period. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking about doing. Get, getting a, getting the team down, having to come back. Yeah, I I, I think that might be the move because I mean all these price tags are swapped. The lowest favorite is in a game that Mel said that doesn't matter. So, eh, not the biggest fan of betting those type of spots. Because I've been burning money in the NBA doing that shit this week, betting on teams that really don't need the win and shit like that and battle the tanks. I, I got to stop doing that shit. Uh, last year I made some money in it, but um, this year's a little bit different. Like the regular season's kind of been dead for like the last like two weeks like the bucks had that shit locked up and then the west is pretty locked in so it's like i'm just gonna wait for a playing tournament but you can make money in those type of spots by uh figuring out like the injury news reports and stuff like that it's just ah, i just don't think it's worth it Oh, yeah, these boys are – it's going to be a chess match. Um, Vegas is – okay, here we go. If you tell me to bet a minus 175, I'm going to ignore you. Vegas is desperate to avoid around run. They need – here we go. Okay, minus one. I could do that. I'm not going to bet it. I don't bet minus – I mean, rarely would I ever, but that's legitimate. They need to catch LA for the second round. They're getting part of their lineup. Yeah, they're going to the, – I sh, this game, I almost bet Vegas Knights puck line. I was really close. I like that. I dig that. Parlay of the night. Ah, oh, AHL. There's some hockey we can bet. Rochester hey. Americans. Rochester Americans. I like that. Toronto Blue Jays and the Braves. Be careful. On the, I know that everyone thinks that the Blue Jays are playing the Rockies, but I don't know. It's the Rockies. I, I agree, but it's the Rockies' first game – out Fair of enough. Colorado yeah. in the last like two weeks. That is like historically one of the biggest betting fade spots. It's when the Rockies play their first road game after a long home game trip, and then they have to adjust to like that different altitude, especially now you're going to Toronto. Um can't wait for Andrew Gobber to pitch in that series, though. Gobber's been uh call me crazy, man. He's been looking good this year so far. It's like you got to take it with a grain of salt with the Rockies pitchers about their uh, about their um, altitude. I mean, yeah, no, Gomber's the guy. Gomber was on it. The, the the was it two or three days ago? I bet it was yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday the day before. I don't remember. Gomber, Gomber, first five is a thing. Billy, I made good money last night. LA minus one. There you go. Desperate playoff team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. fucking. With- Big as shit, Mel. Uh, yeah. We got a lot of time though till ten o'clock. <laughs> yeah, man, I chose the wrong bet already in this game. Fuck. Damn, this fight's a pick 'em line. We're about to. Um... I'm gonna have to move up a little bit. This is a pick 'em. I don't like the way Gotti's taking these sh- shots. Run throw is throwing that fucking jab right down the middle. Gods, he's got to throw a low leg kick, a little bit more volume here. Try to shoot in something because he's looking uh, very one dimensional. There we go. This is the this is what we wanted to see. Good level takedown. Gods, he gets towards the back here. Solomon Renthrow already up, and Renthrow gets out of it. It was pretty impressive. Renthrow is actually his favorite. He's throwing a stiff jab down the middle, man. That shit is landing. As if you also, if you care, can share the video on Twitter or Instagram or wherever the fuck you share shit. Even though I'm, 
I know Billy got me on Instagram. I don't, I go on it once a month. I should do it more, but I'm just, I, one more thing. I don't know how much, how how the sports betting, how big the sports betting um, world is on Instagram. Yeah, it's just just a very uh, niche market. Yeah. Uh, It'll get there just like anything else. I mean, Twitter's dying. Twitter's a little bit saturated, I feel like. Yeah. The uh, same exact type of content. Depends. Yeah. Last night was good. The Capitals lost. But I do like how StreamYard has incorporated Twitter. That's given it like a little bit of second life, I feel like. Yeah. With the Twitter spaces and the videos and stuff. Close first round, but man. uh, Don't know who won that first round, but I think Gatsy. Hell, we saw him right there. Shoots for a takedown. So do we – Dill say he had – Dill said he used Betway for those live lines last week, right? Because I, I didn't want to see what the live line is on this. I'm not going to bet anything that on way. Betway, but Yeah. He doesn't like Betway. Yeah, but that's probably the only booking candidate that probably offers PFL besides DraftKings. Possibly. And I don't – I think it provincially – I don't even know if he's in a province where he can get it. Um where is this live total at now? See, I would take if it wasn't juiced, let's eleven and a half. This angel, I'm already on the under eight and a half, which is probably not a great place to be, but it's eleven and a half now in this Angels Red Sox game. If that goes down, if we get through some of this next inning, I might double tap that. Gary Sanchez home run, Brewers up two nothing. You know, I wish I could bet the Brewers. I can't. The Angels are starting to turn into the Brewers. My Angels um, can't bet a game without it being wrong. Kansas City's up on the Mets. The Mets stink. Atlanta's up one nothing on the Marlins. Top of the second for the Rockies. Toronto's up one nothing. Tampa Bay had a lot of people on base. Only got one run. I saw all blue in the game cast. So we will be looking at this Angels Boston spot to take the under. We need better. We're at minus 135. I want to take it around minus 110. Um, we're going to wait for an out or two. Damn, Solomon Renther is able to shoot, chuck off these takedowns. Uh, would you ban Jante Porter from the league if he was found betting on his own props? Uh, yeah, but, um, you know, it's actually interesting that Jante Porter is, uh, brothers with Michael Porter Jr. And, uh, Michael Porter said he was really shocked to hear about it. So, well, of course, of course, if it affects your, I was talking to, I said this earlier, if you're betting on, if they could find a way where you could bet on anything but basketball, I'm fine with it. If you're betting on your own game and you're manipulating it, you should be out indefinitely. That yeah. fucking line we waited with 11 and a half, it, with one, it went down with one out and went down to 10 and a half juice to the over. What a fucking, what pieces of shit. Should I get 10 and a half out of spite plus 110? Nah, yeah. I'm not doing it. Maybe that's, we messed up. No, we didn't. We're not laying minus 135. We're not doing that. It's on Renthro. It's chugging on these takedowns, man. I kind of don't. Is it still raining in the fucking... What is it? 313? Is that Detroit? Uh, Rain will continue for 48 more minutes. Rain will continue for 48 more fucking minutes. So they think it's going to be an 8.30 start? I'm going to roll. I'm gonna have to roll up. Because this fight's really close. You do it. You you do it. Phillies are tough to watch. Phillies are tough to watch right now. It ain't that right. Yeah, well. Bullpen sucks dick, bro. It's bad. This is, Which is uh, funny because preseason rating, they weren't rated that poorly, but th- this they've been horrible. 
Bro, that bullpen is hard. All right. Well, we have another guest. I'm not sure if he's ready. Looks like he's doing something interesting. Oh, okay. Maybe he's ready now. All right. It's been a, it's been a few weeks. He's back. I DM'd him last night about some soccer DJ and stuff, but that's not till tomorrow. So maybe we could talk about it. It'll be it'll be like when we're sleeping, Billy, unless you're up at like six o'clock in the morning. But um, but he's here. And he also has NBA and UFC and all sorts of other crazy international shit. Here he is. Everyone's favorite. Dan Doherty. What's up? What's up Doherty? What up? Ears, I heard I heard John Tay Porter and my ears were burning. I had to jump on. Uh, okay. My favorite corrupt basketball player in America. So, <laughs> I was go. actually talking about that a few weeks ago, Billy. I told all the boys about it uh, when it was fresh press. Oh yeah, when John Tay it was Porter. all over the all over the news here. So yeah, that shit is crazy though. That uh, yeah, like the the one that he got caught on. There's like a video of him like trying not to grab a rebound. Have you seen that? No, I did not. I, and then, I and then, then he immediately did. after he gets the rebound, he goes off because he's so close to his over unders. He goes off with an eye injury and doesn't return to the game. That's how they caught him. I think the craziest part is, uh. That probably happens a lot more in those tanking oh, teams. Oh, fucking nice it would. Yeah, hundred percent. He just got he just got caught. You know. Yeah, that shit's crazy that he got caught though. Like, because uh... he hits a three as well, and he doesn't even celebrate. It's like he was trying to miss. He hits a three, and he's just like, <laughs> face is the same, and he just like walks back to like goes back on defense. But every time I see Jonte Porter, I think, damn, dude, Mike, can you imagine if Michael Porter Jr. would have never had that back injury? He'd be fucking damn near seven feet tall. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Well, what, that put him down to, what, 14? Did he get drafted 14? Yeah, yeah, that put him down in the... He was uh, number one in all the draft boards before he got that back injury. Like, he was going to be the number one pick, so... Yeah, they told him his back would never be the same and shit like that, so... I mean, he was, like, the number one high school recruit. Like, he was... He's still good, really good, obviously, because he's starting for the Nuggets. He's really good still. But Jante, uh, I mean, Michael Porter Jr. could have been a generational talent, and if he uh, never had that back injury, man, he had a he had a good year last year. But you got to give it to him. Like last year is probably career year for him. Like I mean, uh, almost I mean, like uh, Harvey. You know when Harvey Barnes come out the year that they won their first title? It's almost like that. Like he's come out like a Harvey Barnes way. And then when he gets to the end of his contract, they're probably not going to be able to re-sign him, and he'll go to some yeah. some backwater backwater team and just play the rest of his career out for for max contracts, and then he'll probably go on vet minimums for the rest of his career. But like, I can honestly see that happening to him in the next three four years. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think he's going to end up going somewhere. They won't be. There's no way they can afford him. So. Who. Well, if I if I think I've heard Billy talk about Michael Porter Jr. enough for an entire lifetime over the past two seasons, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking guy loves him. Definitely would have. Well, him or Ben Simmons, Billy. Yeah, uh, it's not even. I, 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 not even. Gun to the head. Gun to the head. You need to not pick a guy even. to lead your team. Porter Jr. Ben Simmons. Not even. Porter, what? Uh, I'll probably <laughs> pick MPJ ten out of ten days of the week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And PJ's good, man. He could have been. He is good. He is good. He could have been really fucking good. Like, he's number one overall pick good, like, when he was about to come out of high school. Some of his high school highlights are wild. I got to look at the screen. No, no, I don't. I don't. um, Another reason why I don't want to bet that game. Well, granted, I wouldn't be betting the money line. Anytime the wild are involved, it's like the Brewers. Anytime they're in the game, no matter what bet for them, against them, whether I bet a total, whether I bet a prop, I always lose. They're bad luck. So the is legit though. The uh, not legit, but they have a really fun. Cool fun and they have some fun prospects. I have no problem with the team. I just cannot get it right when I they screw me every time. Like I'll have an under and they'll need six runs and they'll get seven in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. Like I can't deal with that. I feel like whenever games are close and I put them on and I watch them to watch the end of them, they lose. I feel like I jinx them. So I try not to watch them. I watched one the other day where I had Texas over Oakland and Texas shut the bed, Oakland won. And then there was another one the other day, I forget what it was, but they were up eight runs. Or maybe it was that game. And they lost. They lost in the last two innings. I'm like, what the fuck? 
I, I can't yep. watch baseball anymore. <laughs> baseball this year has been uh I was saying this to uh the Clark Edge, Bill. I just call him Bill Clark. But I was saying this to him when I was talking to him last week. I was like, I don't know what it is, but this baseball season has been pretty fucking nutty with some of these results. Like, uh, team be up like five runs, ninth inning, fucking blow it. Like, I've been it's, it's, right it's, like, it. never, it's like I, I put it on, and it's just like because I literally put it on. The universe decided to make me to, for that to lose. Like, I'm just like I can't. <laughs> I, I get too scared now. Now if they start losing, I turn it off because I hope it just goes back to normal when I'm not watching it. Oh, believe me, I was just saying to Dave, I always have that problem in college basketball. So many. This is my first, my first uh, tournament that I've actually watched from the start to the end. Like I'm watching most games, and um, a lot of people have told me that it wasn't that good of a tournament. So, what tournament? The NCAA basketball men's. This is the so this this goes back to what I said on Selection Sunday. This is the worst seating job that the committee has done in about a decade and you can see it in the ncaa tournament because all the fucking favorites won that's when you know it's bad seating when all the favorites win in round two and round three that's well, it was a one one final bad. like how, how often does that happen the first seed plays the first seed it Not was so bad seating dude like and the problem seed. is is I, I i said the same thing after after the first the first round of games I couldn't pick an underdog. I was like, how do I pick them? I tried to get tricky putting in two seeds and that didn't even work. Um, it was just, it was bound to be what it was, what it was. I mean. And then another to- is those Go NIL ahead. deals didn't fucked up the transfer market and all the good major teams all got t- players on different teams like Northern Colorado, Don Connect, Mark Sears uh, played in the, some bullshit ass thing. Pringle, uh, the is this the first like, one since the NIL deals have gone in, or was there one before that? Uh, last year was the first one, and so I think this is when it's gonna it towards the final four, and the whole entire team is transfers. Yeah, I, I can honestly see like this season for and for like the whole NIL thing, it will probably kick in up at like another fucking gear this off season because I got a hot take first one last year, and it's like people are timid; they don't want to be the first one to do it. I would be shocked to see Duke not win the national championship next year. That team is fucking stacked. Oh, that but that one guy you loved, he 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 took his um thing back. His Cooper uh, flag is that Cooper flag? That guy Cooper flag didn't decommit. No, no, someone else decommitted. That um, was uh, white boy. Is it one Sorry. of the Boozer brothers? One of the Boozers? No, it was a white boy that was going to Duke. Cooper flag did not decommit. Yeah, I I saw I just it out there because that's the only one of the only ones I know. Billy, I think so. that's I I saw him. I saw something that said he decommitted. Where, He's looking where? on his phone, but Billy's look checking his phone. Cooper flag. <laughs> He's checking his phone. That would have been all. That would have been like damn near. Yeah, it would have been front page news. Yeah, was, that, was that was that? Did I see like one of those those fake? Faux fucking tweets, maybe. Liam, maybe that's what it was. Liam McNeely, Liam McNeely, who's on the same exact team as uh Cooper Flag, he was supposed to go to Indiana and Mike Woodson got bought back and he said, I'm decommitting. <laughs> I saw I saw a tweet. You know what it was? And it probably was late at night uh going to sleep. I bet you it was one of those fake ones, you know, the ones that say, like, oh, uh, Tom Brady's gonna uh, be the quarterback for the Niners type of thing. <laughs> but, but it's it said he decommits he decommits and 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 the leading place he wants to go is UConn. That's what yeah. it said. He decomm- I, I would be shocked to see him decommit because uh it's so bad. Um, you know that kid Mitchell uh no. that was on Duke with the dreads, you play power four. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He went inside the transfer portal because that boy knows he might not be playing next year. They got fucking seven foot two number one rated African prospect ever since Joel Embiid and then uh Cooper Flag, the number one white American. Yeah, that's who decommitted Mackenzie Magbacco Bo, whatever it was. His name. Yeah, yeah he, he decommitted five star power forward recruit. You know it's a joke. It's an absolute joke and I we I don't wanna, I would talk about this again if I want to. I just remembered it again. Brawny fucking entering the draft and entering the transfer portal in case it doesn't work out. That's you so have, that's so fucked. 
He, he is well, the NCAA is forcing you to basically go to the transfer portal because you can play in the fucking NBA. You know, like the combine that they have for the NBA that's in Chicago. Yeah, uh, it's like a three day, four day thing. You can participate in that. Basically, see where your draft stock is and still go back to college. Why the fuck wouldn't you do that? Dip, dip your toe in the water there a little bit. Just see what see how it feels. Just dip it in there. Yeah, just tip never it walk in. Up, never walk into a pool. Like the worst thing is, is when you walk into a pool and the water's about to touch your nuts. That's like the point <laughs> where you need to make a decision. Like, am I going in or am I just wading into the water to get my legs nice? Like, what's what am I doing today? Scott, this is a sweat though, Dave. I think we won 29 28 rounds two and three, but uh, I never fucking know with the PFL sometimes. I didn't mean to put that comment in there, too. I've just got two fucking keyboards going on at the moment. It's all good. I put out it's all good. But yeah, Dave, there's, there's some really nice. Uh, some angles tonight for these soccer games. Or I, I, I saw the teams. I was sitting in bed. I was looking. At, I, I pressed on soccer button on FanDuel, and I'm all like, holy shit, there's some big. The one that kind of blew me away is I think I think that Spanish team, Gorica or Gorina or whatever. That's, that the, that's, one? The, that's, that's the one, bro. That's Playing the, Atletico that's Madrid, which, which is one of the top teams, right? Yeah, but, but they're, they're, they're a dog. Yeah. Well, they're a dog, and it's so fucked because – Atletico Madrid have not had a very good season, particularly okay. at home. And also, they are mid, mid, like they're mid match week in Europe. So, like, they played a couple days ago and they'll be resting a lot of their players. They got to play a Granoa team who are like way ahead in, like, they're playing for a Champions League place now. So, like, I like the plus one on Granoa or even like money line for them. So, they're playing uh, plus 280. But like they're the favorite, though, right? Uh, no, Atletico are the favorite. Really? Yeah. Huh. The last game, Granada beat them 4-1. Uh, sorry, 4-3 at home. Um, the last time Granada played them at Atletico, they lost 2-1. But like I said, Atletico are midweek in Europe. So, like, you know, this is their second game in four days, which for soccer particularly when it's this end of the season like it, this is a huge game for granola so well this is the thing about span like i've i've casually followed soccer for about 20 years and i know that in in la liga there's there's barcelona there's real madrid and then like third is like atletico madrid they're always like three to five um as far as in my memory oh, yeah, yeah. Respect, put some respect to my team real Betis. Yeah, that's they were good, bro. They used to be real good. They had a player called Joaquin that I liked back in the day. It was like a, a free kick menace. The yeah, guy no, Atletico Madrid, I remember, was Forlan, who played for Uruguay. Was like him yeah, Diego Forlan, yeah. 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 He played for United. Had a good goal in the World Cup. Yeah. Very nice, long blonde hair, Dave. Too. Yeah, he was a good-looking guy. Yeah, was, he had some luck, <laughs> one of those oh, blonde yeah. Uruguayans. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's crazy to me. Like Granoa sit, are currently sitting third on the La Liga table as well, um, and the reason for that is because they pretty much have all of the players that Man City bought that they couldn't put in their team. They've just gone to Granoa because Man City own Granoa. Um, yeah, they've got some really good players, man. It. Like that's insane. All right, well we'll be looking at that. But yeah, that's that's my main that's my main look all weekend is that game. So. Okay, I love it. And that's that's about uh, I think that's about three a.m. my time, six a.m. Billy's time. I think about that. About it's there. an early game here. It's it's on at ten o'clock here for me, which is early. So it's like the first game of the day for Spain. Ten a.m. Uh, ten p.m. for me. Like, dude, oh. right now, like I I'm surprised I was even awake when you started your stream today. It's it's like nine. It's twenty to ten right now, but I was up at about. Wow. Eight o'clock, and it's Saturday. So, you know, I wake up for this shit. I love there it. Go. There you go. Uh, don't can we just slow? Can we get no runs for the rest of the game? The Angels can win. That'd be fine. I knew this cap was good. They're gonna screw it up because the first inning. Yeah, well, well, last last night I went on soccer. I went um, one, two, three, four, five. I went five and seven last night. So it's a winner. Yeah. Unless you bet juice. 
It's hard to bet juice in soccer. They rarely. I had uh, I won on a plus one seven eight was my biggest one that I won on head to head, and I had a plus one one. The rest are all, uh, you know, I don't know what the minus is, but they're around a dollar seventy five here, which I'm not sure what that is in your odds, but. You, oh, you can you can bet negative odds. You can be one of those people that takes total goals and goes down a goal and lays like two ten for one and a half instead of two no, and a half. Dave, the way to bet soccer is uh, the you have to like figure out the tie no bet, draw no bet, or or even the both teams to score and over two and a half goals. That's a that's a good one. Goals. That's like my favorite one to hit. Both yeah, two and a half, both teams to score. I find Dude, a Turkish a game. I find a Turkish game and I bet the oh. over. <laughs> Dude, Turkey's like Turkey's like more corrupt than Mexican soccer. Like the yeah. other day, right? Galatasaray and Fibonacci played. They're like the top two teams. Top in two Turkey. teams, yeah. The game started and Fibonacci are like we don't want to play, and they just walked off the pitch. And it was the final. It was the final wow. of a cup game. So, so then what Galatasaray, happened? Did, but Galatasaray won. They just fucking they had a full on ceremony. Like <laughs> they, <laughs> they celebrated like they won the game. That's funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, uh, draw the draw no bets good, but especially in European soccer over two and a half goals and both teams to score, especially in champions league. That's the best bet. Like I hit that three times, uh, the last, last lot of games. And I think all teams were hit that. So I usually do that when, uh, Messi plays in the MLS because of how bad inter Miami's defense is. Yeah. Yeah, we've had some fun, or maybe not so much fun, betting Messi's goal on this stream. I think we're one and one. Yeah, we've won one and lost one. Yeah, it's coming back, though, Dave. MLS is uh, in season. You, this is how I feel if I'm Messi, and this is kind of an easy cap. But I mean, basically, I think if I were him, because he's already got his bag, he has his World Cup, he has everything, but he still has a co he's still competitive. So. I think the only games I'm ever going to bet him or that team or anything is when it matters, when they have to qualify for something or when it's no, some sort Dave, of cup game. Or... This is what? where it is. It's like you when Messi lives overseas, he's such a big figure in the market that he can't go anywhere. But when you live in Miami, he's just – he's still Messi, but he's still like another guy. Like he can live a normal life. And I don't know about life, that, Billy. You're His talking wife? about you're talking about the greatest footballer to ever play the game. No, like, but like in but you're Miami, also talking about Miami, who's which is full of Hispanics. Brady, full so of what, Hispanics. You're, what you're saying is pretty much, Billy, is that Tom Brady could go Maybe. over to Paris and no one would know who he is, and he could walk around. And, but, 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 no, and no, another no, thing no, too no, is no, Billy. I'm that. I'm saying like in America, America's used to having celebrities and stars. It's the land of celebrities and stars, and now he's like. A celebrity star. Who's a okay? What what's the biggest sport in the in the Spanish speaking world? Soccer. Biggest sport in the Spanish speaking world is soccer. Yeah, the biggest, the, the biggest, one of the biggest Spanish speaking cities in the country is Miami. Miami. Yeah. I mean, yes, but what I'm I think saying, that's why he moved there. That's the main reason why he yeah. moved to Miami. Why the fuck would you be at the end of your career and you wouldn't want to live in the United States? It's like when Zlatan no plays shit. The LA Galaxy. He David Beckham. David Beckham, fucking Thierry yeah. Henry, uh, the Perlo from Italy. All these guys came over here when they were done in their 40s. Hey, fucking Tom Brady went to Florida to fucking retire. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, why, why would you? That's like the best retirement place. You get your wife. Well, that's, and why all, that's why the old people with money go yeah. there, bro. So, uh, Messi and Brady just went there fucking 40 Come years on. earlier than everyone else. When I'm when he put Primus in there by sub, you know what immediately I thought was do 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 do. I am a fisherman. Come on, you guys don't like Primus? No one. Scott with the Brett Primus. Brett Primus, one of the legends in the division. Um, Bruno Moran is a bad motherfucker though, man. He could throw some strikes. I didn't get to the window with it, but uh, I don't blame uh. Ramon Scott, I feel like resume wise, Brett Primus at minus one thirty two. It's just wild to see that at that price tag. What do you what do you got on this spot, Billy? You got anything? Nah, the next one that we're waiting for is uh we got an hour until it happens. Antonio Carlos Jr. versus Simon Bayong. We have a submission parlay. Now we can talk about the submission parlay. I don't like doing parlays with props. It's usually never works out, or you always miss it by one leg. But man, I like this two leg. When do you see Bill give out a 15 to 1 fucking Prop parlay. 
Never. We're taking it. Antonio Carlos Jr. rounds one or two submission. That's plus 175. And then the co-main event, the bad man himself, the word on the street, his head screwed on right and tight. If his head was screwed on right and tight, he'll still be in the UFC knocking out motherfuckers and submitting them. Uh, Tom Breeze, submission or decision. I think he's going to – Rob Wilkinson's going to suffer his first loss inside the PFL octagon tonight. It's the co-main event. Tom Breeze, by sub, rounds one or two with Antonio Carlos Jr. rounds one or two submission. 15-22 odds. I think Tom Breeze is going to submit Rob Wilkinson tonight, man. Tom Breeze is one of the – Best like fighters that isn't in the UFC, but when he was in the UFC, he had like a uh, psychological problems where he would like right before the fight kind of be like, uh, I don't want to go out there. It's too many people, but he's seen a life health coach and he's been on a run this last two years, uh, four and out in his last couple of fights. And he's, he's been streaking, man. Uh, we're backing him here. I think he's going to win it. It's like plus 114. The line opened up at plus 200, and it came down all the way to plus 114. Hey, Billy, can you can you tell me, because this is something that I'm fucking perplexed about, that I've been looking at this UFC 300 fight card, right? Yes, right. I cannot understand why Charles Oliveira is such a fucking, like, underdog in this fight. Bad stylistic matchup for him. But I've watched the I've watched our man fight, bro. Like he he once his game plans out the window, he's he's fucked. Like I've watched him in other fights where he's been stonewalled. What was it against? Um... When 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 did Dubronx lose? It was when he fought that Dagestanian wrestler. Yeah, type. Gamrot. When he fought Gamrot, I watched that fight with Gamrot. Gamrot just walked him down the whole fight. But that's one of the only fights that Armin. The only two fights in the division that Armin doesn't have a wrestling advantage is Gamrot and Islam. Everybody else, he can out wrestle. Look at Charles Oliveira. You don't reckon he could? He could. Do Bronx has so in MMA he has really good jujitsu, but his actual cage wrestling is kind of irrelevant. Like the way that Armin fights, he's like that sambo type of wrestler where he's looking to get top position. Just Does grind it, it out on top. It's not the most entertaining style, but it's a winning style. They were talking about that in his um, Islam fight, like how they reckon he's the best matchup for Islam because he's got the be- one of the best takedown defenses. But well, they know, that, that, it just sticks out to me. That that really sticks out to me as something that just looks weird on the when I look at the bets. I don't know. The biggest thing that scares me is that, bro, Doherty, is if you told me that a year from now. Armin was fighting Islam for the title because that was his USC debut fight was against yeah. Islam Makachev. And that was Islam Makachev's closest fight. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you told me that Charles Oliveira coming off a loss a year from now is fighting Conor McGregor or some shit like that, like a big money fight, I wouldn't be shocked. Du Bronx got the new, he's got a new baby, new house. Uh, he's been breaking in money. He's been living it up. Shoot the box. He basically redid the whole entire gym where it's like a rooftop gym in brazil now it, like it, he he's, he's reached the top of the pinnacle like i feel like uh, eventually when you reach the top you got to start falling but that price tag is a little bit disrespectful like uh yeah i think it, I, he's nearly at plus 200 now like it's that's crazy. i wouldn't i wouldn't parlay armin but man i do think he wins that fight though so i gotta stay away from it like i i, I love Dubronx and I've disrespected them in the past, but this is just one of those spots, man. I just don't uh I just don't think his um I think Armin is able to do what he wants. Like he he should be able to get a takedown because Oliveira fights off of his back a lot. Yeah. And Armin's uh, been I'm, kinda, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, this, I'm so excited for this, but like it starts for me at is. eight in the morning. I gotta get up at eight o'clock in the morning on fucking Sunday to watch this card. It's, it's like every fight is good. Like, you know, like when do I want to wake up? So it's like I might as well just watch all of them. And I love watching Cody. Night, first I love watching night. Cody. I love watching Cody Garbrandt getting knocked the fuck out because I just don't like him, eh? Oh, you ain't got no love for Cody Garbrandt? No, he's just a little bit too cocky, man. When and that, that like I don't like um Old mate who he fought. What's his name? They got done for drugs. Um uh, TJ Dillashaw. When yeah, was, I don't like TJ Dillashaw. And I only like Cody Garbrandt because he knocked TJ, like beat TJ Dillashaw. But he's just, I don't know, it's that 
you know, it's feel just, for him, sometimes though, it's that SoCal MMA vibe. Like the, I just don't, I don't know, I don't vibe with it. He's not a he's not a SoCal kid. Uh, Cody Garbrandt's a uh, East Coast kid that went out west uh, with your eyes. Thinks he's so, that thinks he's SoCal. Like he walks around like he's born in SoCal. Like I don't know. Yeah, nah, he definitely does walk around like the uh, cocky pretty boy. But um, like, have only- you seen that show, Bros of Simi Valley? Have you seen that? Bros of Simi Valley. No, what, yeah. what, what you, network? You should watch it. It's so funny. It's what on. Uh, I forget what network it's on, but it's got that the Saw dudes. You know that meme that went around a few years ago where they're like Saw dude. Remember that? No, I don't know. I know Simi Valley. That's out. Almost, it's almost. It's in between the valley and um. They're like dudes that walk around with the flat peak hats, and their 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 trucks have nuts on the back, and okay, they wear like that was we, we called those that that's twenty five years ago. We called those nine ballers from the IE. Basically, they were guys that were that they're built <laughs> up that had twelve inch lifts on their truck. They had the nut yeah, sack, with the bees nuts, they, and their girlfriends had had uh, um ob- obrays. They had the black the, the 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 black on the bottom, the bleach on the top. And they wore those flip flops that had heels that were this big and were studded with with fake crystals on them. Bedazzled, yeah, bedazzled. And, and they'd wear they'd wear a short skirt with a white tank top and a black bra underneath. So you could see their. And they wear those massive glasses. Yeah, like, that, like that, that's a nine color. baller. Yeah, yeah, that is Simi like Valley. Fluoro colored sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, it's called the, it's called the Bros of Simi Valley. It's a it's fucking hilarious. You guys would love it. There's like a scene where he's looking at his baby's kid and he's like. Bro, you better tell your kid to fucking chill. He's like, "Why are you going? He's fucking I'm beat up your kid. I'm knocking the fuck out." It's yeah, so we used to call him. We used to call him nine ballers. But then, but then all of the all of the people that were upper class in Orange County when it got too expensive went out there, and it's all gentrified now. But either way, we have another guest. Although he went, oh, he's got a background that he's sinking into. But either way, um, this is Billy's buddy. So let's get him on here. We got PFL. This obviously by his background, he's a U of uh, MMA guy, but let's bring him on. Joey T. Yeah, what's going what's on? Up? Thanks what's for up, having me on. Of course. You're more than welcome. So, so what do we got? You're on this PFL? You put on this PFL bullshit? Um, I know Billy's the one that actually got me onto the PFL bullshit. Cause he's like, yeah. yo, man, there's no UFC, bro. Come on, man. Trust me. Go for the parlay. PFL. I'm like, and me, I sound like a jackass. I'm like, what the hell's PFL? Yeah. But then I found out some older UFC guys are in it. So I'm like, oh, I'll watch. Yeah. Yeah, that was that shit though, man. Uh wait until next week when we don't have UFC and it's PFL week three and everyone's betting the shit out of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm about it. I'm about it when when I have guys around me that know, like Jeff was here when we were betting it the other night. We went four and one, I think. Oh no, Jeff wasn't here. It was Mike and me. We went four and one on it. Yo, last week, bro, we're crushing it. Remember, Liz yeah. was it last week? Yeah, Liz you did do well. yeah. I was live betting with you guys, and I fucking claimed that's up. right. We I fucked think. it up last week. I, See, I can't even remember. Um, low key, I like their. I like the format. Like the format feels like shouldn't all MMA sports be a fucking tournament with a regular season, and that you actually have to fight for a finish, like. Instead of oh, being a you know what I remember how how well I did, I did so well on Friday in the PFL that I started betting full units on the UFC on Mike's early on Mike's stream. I lost five bets in a row, which five by my that's for me with my units about it's like four digits. <laughs> like, it's, it's, I, I ended up to be right. I think one bet I did half, so I was right under a thousand bucks, and I left like a like a twelve year old stomping my feet off of my stream. I'm like fuck this and just left. <laughs> So I remember yet last week. That sucked. I lost more money in the UFC than I won in PFL. Fuck that. But Fuck I him, said man. this on, uh, I was saying this to everyone last week. I said, low key, I think the PFL betting card is better than the UFC last week. Yeah. Like last week's UFC card was, oh, what the fuck? But you I know doing? what I did, Billy? Three of the five fights, I had a bet on the winner. I was choosing rounds and methods of knockout because the, the juice was too much. And it was pissing me off that the that I was betting the right person, but it wasn't by what was happening. Okay. Oh, that's the most tilting, dude. That yeah, because you have the right play, but you can't bet the money line. You can't fucking yeah. bet a minus 300. I'm not doing that. Mm-mm. Well, in the UFC, you know, you sometimes you just got to... Not they, 300, they, they, they bro. It's hard, man. They try to make you just fucking... You got to go in past oh, the nuts, nice Billy, don't you? You got to go into the water past your nuts. You just need to go in. You just got to jump in. Yeah. What fight but, uh, is on right now in the PFL, though? I'm... Uh, I'm he's way behind. Up, he's around four too as well. 
They just got three runs in this inning. I told you the Rockies were the. I the Rockies like, oh, the Blue Jays. I said it. But well, you ended up betting the Rockies money line, so. I wasn't going to bet it, but there's no way I'm betting. Gossman has not been good, first of all. But there's no way I'm betting the Blue Jays homer away at a $2 favorite. No fucking way. Well, I'm not betting on Gossman because I don't think he's right, bro. I think he needs Something's him. wrong. He was – he's one – he last year one of the best pitchers in baseball. Past three or four years. One of the best. Cal told me that uh, it, whatever they're doing, they're short-leashing them instead of IL in them, which is – They're fun. fucking with his head. They're fucking with his head. I think he needs to go in the IL, but if he goes in the IL, you know, Toronto, the fans are going to start bitching because they're going to start sliding in odds. But you, wait until June, July, bro. He's actually really probably going to be on the 30-day IL, and we're going to be like, oh, we always knew something was wrong. How about you figure it out now? Before, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter now or now or a month. I guess it – well, actually, it does. Because you, you, you're going to get into uh, – yeah, you want to get it done now because you're going to get in all the divisional games. Yeah. I agree, yeah. Dave. Uh, yeah, but yeah. you know how Toronto is, though, bro. Uh, I know this about Toronto. Name? One, it's in Canada. Yeah. Two is two is every two is every time I've been there. Two is every time, every year. You look at the roster and you say this team's pretty good. This is an above average team, and every year you're disappointed. Every fucking year you're disappointed. They have a good pitcher. They have uh, what's his face, the big Samoan dude. Good for a year, bad the next year. Gaussman, good for years, but I mean they can't. Bo Bichette, <laughs> yeah, fucking fucking fat boy, uh, uh, Vladimir Kirk. Guerrero, yeah, Kirk. Oh, oh, that guy too, Kirk. Yeah, he, him and they have Bull another Bull. prodigy. Then they have another prodigy in that team. Uh, Danny Jansen. Look at this. Look at this. He sub. He missed my sub cash. It shouts to well. He, we're going to play a video, but Ramon, wouldn't it be so much nicer if you were on screen? I've been begging you for weeks. Ramon. But well, Ramon's a true American, talking about Toronto. Toronto's cool, but America's better. So. Hell yeah, that's a great call, because uh, I ain't want to bet that shit. That shit, mm. the fight in general. Imagine if you added that to your parlay, Billy. The sub parlay. Yeah, I know. If they don't, they don't have uh, submission props on my website for the prelim fights. But that oh, yeah, they, been... they only had money line for me. I could only yeah, get money, money lines. Line. Yeah. On the main card, though, they give. Last props. time, as well, be aware of this because this happened last time when everyone was betting on PFL. But like twenty minutes before the last fight, they close all the markets. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, right. I, I, I usually for PFL, I try to bet everything that I want to bet. Pre-flop, and then like I just uh, remember Dylan was trying to get on something late, and the fucking market closed. Oh my god, the the main event last week, bro, that shit went off forty five minutes before the fucking yeah, fight. It's it so open. dumb, dude. That shit so was dumb. crazy. There I are props it. for um, there are props on Bet Online. Bet Online has props for not Fan Fanduel doesn't have props for the prelim. Yeah, this next fight, I can only get one market. I can just get the head to head. What's uh the next fight? By the way, I don't have Mike. My Dolvetsian Dol versus uh Dolvetsian Yago Shimudov versus Jacob oh, Nadeau. Oh my God! So this dude Jacob Nadeau was on the European Challenger Series last year, and he fucked shit up to the point where I usually, when in doubt, I, I've made some money with Yago Shimudov. But man, I actually think Jacob Nadu might be the better wrestler here. Uh, I don't Joey, really don't you, know too much about you, this matchup too much, but I only broke down like I think what four or five with Billy. So one I actually noticed, but I don't have no action on this upcoming fight. It's a, it's a sketchy one, man. I kind of lean dog or pass, but um, I don't want to fade Jacob Nadu right now, man. Uh, he's been kind of he's been kind of crushing it. More. Oh, another kind, kind of sounds like that dude, uh, the, uh Jeff Nadu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just made yeah, me think of remember the name actually. Is yeah. uh, I always relate him to Jeff Nadu in my brain, even though they're not even Yo, from the uh, country on the card. I hope it's I hope it's today we get them right. <laughs> uh, <I> mean, <laughs> You're trying to bait Billy into saying it and get him again. <laughs> yeah, uh, Simone Bayong. I actually did. Simone Bayong guy. I did bet against him. I 
So my cap behind this one is uh, for the PFL to grow, they need to have fighters that have good followings. Antonio Carlos Jr. in America, nobody fucking knows him. They know him as the UFC, the former UFC guy. Mm, yep. But in Brazil, bro, the dude is fucking popular. really famous for Big Brother, bro. He has over two, 2.1 million followers just from being a reality TV show star. Yep. And that's after we the BJJ shit. He has the best submission grappling in the whole entire division. He didn't even need to actually Wait, get into MMA. Primarily fought? Where do they primarily fight these PFL cards? Are they like, like between US and Brazil, or so they travel? So they'll go for like three to four weeks to start off the year, and they'll travel usually to like Atlanta, Las Vegas, um, San Antonio. Used to be New Jersey during COVID, but like shit like that. Then they take off three weeks, and then they go back again and kind of run the same exact thing. Uh, but the format kind of. Location. I think the only thing holding the PFL back is that fucking one championship is just like they own Asia now. So it's like PFL kind of automatically just slotted themselves under the UFC. But they have the one upper hand that they have on one championship is they have the American deal. One championship's only American deal is with oh, TNT. Dude, they don't care. One don't care about that, man. There's way more people in fucking Asia than there are in America. Like, I don't give a fuck. But that's how PFL surviving right now. They have that ESPN deal. With like, fuck well, it. I, I, it's like you know, you know how they have the championship tier in uh, England soccer. It's almost like the PFL has become like the tier below UFC, like the proving ground. Even though Dana White's contender series is is that, it seems like on a professional level, it's that's where it's going. But like, some of those people that are in PFL. They make more money than what they would in the UFC. That's why they mm -hmm. usually stay. There. Oh. And ha how many of them? How many? How many fighters from Bellator went through? Did everyone get their contracts picked up? So it's like they're under the same banner, but the Bellator is running a Bellator Championship Series this year, and that's basically all the Bellator fighters. But I think some of them had the option of opting into the tournament. Because they wanted to win the million dollars, like Patricio, yeah. uh, Patricio Pitbull's little brothers in the tournament, uh, Mads yeah. Brunel's in the tournament. Like, there's a lot of people that are going to be in the tournament because, like, their agent kind of said, uh, "You have a better chance of winning this million, million dollars than taking another fight." Like, was um, near the end of Bellator, was it very regulated with the drugs, like? drug testing and stuff that have many roided up athletes fighting i actually or? have noticed throughout the years it's usually the pfl that has the steroid problems mm -hmm. last year darty the probably one of the reasons why they wanted to get the bellator guys in here is because half of the division got wiped out from uh failed drug tests like three weeks into the season so half of the division already had their first fights in for the year and then everybody failed drug tests so they had to basically redo the whole divisions it was crazy. That's fucking. Yeah. That's enough. That's how Impikasag and I. That's how Impikasag and I. Who, 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 who was the guy that got knocked out? And he like he looked like he was like in that main fight last week. He was like doing this in the ring, and he was the favorite. And he looked like he was scared to get hit. And he was fighting oh, a guy man. that had come from Bellator. I forget what what the fight was, but he was oh, a younger guy. Yeah. He was like, uh, and he was Fedor's one of Fedor Emelianko's proteges. I, I think and I know. He just come in and knocked him out, and he, was, they didn't think he'd knock him out. But the the guy, it was a PFA versus Bellator fight, pretty much. Made a vet, right? The made a vet. It yeah. was like Ante Talasia versus. Because uh, he was doing this, he looked scared. He got hit once, and it looked like it rocked him or it hit a spot he wasn't sure about, and then the fight was over in the first round. First round knockout. That shit was crazy, bro. I do. I think that was the main event last week. I just forget Bayer yeah. Milianko's uh, name. He looks a little bit like that Ukrainian arm wrestler that's got that really weird face and the massive hands. Like they look similar. They're probably from the same gene pool. The one thing that's which, scary which, about the Russians you, you don't is, mean um, you're not talking about the Georgian guy, the guy that the, um, um. No, nah, you'll remember What's his name. I don't, they're all abs and obs. Yeah, yeah, he was Georgian for sure. It's like that whole Chechnya no, he was, he like, was, area he was of Russian. Russia. He was Russian because remember, Dill kept on saying, "Don't fade Fedor's, uh, don't fade the Fedor." Yeah, he did say that. 
he but like, but he's Buddhist from that he's from that part of Russia, Billy. That's like it could be Chechnya, it could be Ukraine. It's like in that. Well, Dagestan, the, 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 mongrel, the mongrel Russia, like the mongrel part of Russia. Yeah, the Soviet, what they, what they call the Soviet Union area. That yeah, the USSR. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the Soviet Union bought places. Lucas, over one. Does that just make me think of Street Fighter? The USSR. Zeng, you, yeah, yeah. I just, it makes me think of Street Fighter and a big fucking Russian dude with a mohawk. That's all I think about. Zangief. Um, and also, uh, Street Fighter, the movie, was, I think, the most cocaine ever done by Jean-Claude Van Damme throughout that movie. <laughs> well, you know, that 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 movie had a lot of, like, it had him, it had, um, who was the guy that played? Um, Bison. M. Bison, who played it, Adam's family, he died shortly after it. Ralph, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what the fuck was his name? He had cancer. That was like he was diagnosed with cancer his... when he played that role. And the only reason why he did it was because his kids love Street Fighter. And he's the, and it, the, if he wasn't in that movie, it would have been shit. And Kylie Minogue's in it as well. Kylie Minogue was in it. So I knew you'd know that one. So there yeah. you go. Raul, Ju Raul Julia. Yeah. He, he was an amazing actor, bro. I loved him in Adam's Family. That was like one of my favorite movies growing up. Oh, Jeez, it had the guy, we... the guy that was Saget was the guy that was all those bad Indians. Like he was the bad guy in Dances with Wolves. He was the bad guy in The Last of the Mohicans. That one guy that's the bad Indian guy, he was Saget in that movie. Yeah. Are you talking about that Peter Navy guy? Is that his name? Yeah, a, I can't guess it. So why? No, it's name? West. It's West Studi. It's 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 the the bad Indian guy. It's and dances with wolves and last of the Mohicans. It's the guy. You, you, the he's one that's the like big as hell. No, he's he's kind of thick. But he he's uh, he's bro, a thick I'll, I'll this face. It's he's his name big. is Wes S T U D I is his last name, and you'll know his face. Cheers, Native Billy. I'm, I'm sparking one up with you, my friend. Oh, what Honda? <laughs> Jeez, didn't mean to kill you there, mate. Sorry about that. Oh man, no, I, I had to start talking anyway. Oh, they do yeah. is getting Oh, stinky. he's about to knock him out. He's, to knock him out. he's on stanky legs. He's on stanky legs, ref. Uh oh. He needs some milk. Oh, that uppercut! Holy shit! I think he is going to call it. Shoot, My look man, at keep running. Some Oh, he should be running. I can't believe he's taking this this much punishment, bro. This is why. in what shorts? What shorts is that? Is uh, is Nado? Is he black shorts? No, he's white. White, okay. shirt. white shorts. Oh, I didn't get. Oh, why the hell are you going for a takedown? Keep throwing punches. I think he's getting tired, Joey. <laughs> Man, shoot, <laughs> not even taking a breather, just throwing rock 'em sock 'em robot shots. I would be too. That's the way he'd be fighting sometimes, but the best is when this motherfucker starts wrestling. If you can tell me the fights that he's going to wrestle in, he's going to run. Just hit two more runs. They're up 6 2 now. All right. What am I What am I doing talking about a game and not betting it? Like, what the Dude, fuck? that's why I asked. I asked you. Yeah. I was like, oh, I thought the Rockies were good. That's the why only asked. thing. The only thing that scared me off is I thought maybe Gaussman at home would get his head no, right. No, the thing that scares me is the you know the Rockies' first game coming off. I, I got that one too. Yeah, but you're telling me the Blue Jays this year is a two dollar favorite Jays anywhere? Shit. Blue Jays Come are on. Shit. Oh, he's strong. Oh, he's yeah, about to get this win. Yeah, yeah, this fight's over. He turned his back. Also had the un I took the under in the Angels Red Sox game. So did I. That was my five runs already. Fuck. I had I had the under and um he here's the problem with that game. There was three errors. Two of all three of them led to base runners, two of them directly led to runs. So it's just not only are they playing bad, they're 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 making mistakes. So Do you have that game on, Dave? Are you watching it? I have the game cast and, and I've been watching every line come so by. I was gonna say if, if you're watching the game, turn it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. I, I have the game cast on and it says air goes to yeah. third, air scores oh. fucking and I also took the under in this is this is my only action I've got on right now. I took the under in the Braves Miami Marlins game as well. Mm, that's looking good. Yeah. Uh the other action I have, I, I get I, I'm under three and a half for the first five twins and tigers. And I'm not gonna say anything about that because if I say anything, some's gonna fuck it up. Yeah. But uh 
we got some games come popping off here. Not it's, it's... real soon, but go ahead. We got any sneaky dogs today? I know that I don't like. I said before, I don't like betting on the NBA, but now's the time to look for a cheeky dog of the day because there's going to be really some bullshit team that's going to just not play players and they're going to get beaten by a fucking shit house shit house team like Mavericks Pistons today. Like that, they're pay, that Pistons are plus ten and a half. I don't know where Dallas are on the. They're they're pretty much locked in for a playoff place, so I can't really see them playing too many of the good players. I don't know if lineups come out yet. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to really really dive into that, I mean, the only dog I have to... out, Luca's out. They're missing the last two games of the season. Kyrie and Luca. Well, I noticed all of the lines. I mean, every every single. How many? You know how many double-digit favorites there were today? It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Half the games are double-digit favorites. It's mm -hmm. like Memphis okay. was eighteen and a half. Ew. Oh, that was the one. I was. I, you know, what you have to think to yourself. I nearly, took it. I nearly took it just because it's the Lakers. I have. A, they need, I have they a, need the playoffs right now. So. Mm -hmm. I have a system uh, for two, two, two different double-digit dogs. I almost always take when it hits these couple things. A couple of them hit. I'm not doing it right now because I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I bet you. I would bet. My a, a cool bet would be all of these double digit favorites cover. Yeah. I mean. Well. Yeah. They're, they're like even on the late card. There's one, two. There's there's two more left. There's the Jazz. They're fifteen and a half. And yeah, you've got the Pistons at ten and a half. Who the fuck are the Jazz playing at fifteen and a half? What? The Clippers. They're playing the Clippers, bro. And the, the Clippers oh. are pretty much like resting everyone. So. God damn. You know, the Jazz did really well yesterday, man. They beat the Rockets, so but they are they're coming off a back to back with like a a second string side, so uh, got their sec second unit's pretty much playing. Okay. Lucas Samanik. Lucas Samanik, who I bought his rookie cards because I thought he was gonna be fucking good, and he turned out to be shit. Played his first game really of the season and got like twenty something points. Like no one he didn't play any games earlier this year, and he's playing for the Jazz. You heard of Steven that was at Miami last year? He played a full game yesterday. Fucking Hendricks is playing full games. Juice things in starting lineup. Like that, that's their, their lineup's was... insane, dude. So and they they still beat Houston with that team. So a sneaky live bet situation that could happen because apparently Joel Embiid went to the locker room and apparently he might be getting an x-ray done on his knee. So his the Badgers are only person. down by seven and a half. Oh, that's just a bullshit. Do they have any more games left for the year, 76ers? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I That could be a cheeky game. way of him getting out of playing any more games and not no, there, there's the one game more. Game. There's one more on Sunday against Brooklyn. Yeah. Well, there you go. He's not playing that yeah. game. He's out. Yeah. So, hey, if you think the Magic can come back, could be a decent spot. I can never bet on the Magic because they're my team. And whenever I bet on them, I lose. So. Yeah, I uh, have and we made some money with the Magic this year. Hey, y'all got Actually, some good that, that could be a good bet, man, because uh, we really need this win for the playoffs. We're sitting fifth seed, currently sharing that with uh, Indiana on wins, and we're only one game ahead of Philadelphia. So, yeah, and they're plus two fifty. They're, they're plus three ten here. Oh shit! Fuck. May I actually have a? I'm not sure any of these NBA teams care about their seeding. I watched them just. They're, they're in. Yeah, yeah but they, oh, I guess actually they're not really. What is it? Six, six, seven. What was it? Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten play, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Philadelphia has to win this game. And if they do, mm -hmm. it kind of throws the, the Eastern Conference playoff spot into like a whole fucking whirlwind if they win. So, it's a one game playoff, right? So, it's like, yeah, but in, uh, at the moment, Orlando, Indiana are both on 46 games. Philadelphia's on 45, Miami's on 44. So it's like those four teams, and they're ranked five, six, seven, eight, those four teams. And there's one game between them, or two games between those teams. teams. Don't want, whoever comes out and plays the two seed, they might bust them out. Uh, Miami or Philadelphia, if they're the. Yeah, bro. Boston, fucking 
suck, no. dude. I don't care what their record says. They Boston's fucking good. suck. They're not winning. If you want to waste your money and put a future on Boston Celtics to win the fucking title, give it to me. Just send your money to me. It. <laughs> it's not, they're not winning. Like, they fucking don't they don't winning the title now. The West they don't is have a soul. You out. The West is way too good. Um, they just get me angry. I don't like Boston at all. Fuck the Celtics, bro. Who's like going to win the East, though? Because look at fucking Milwaukee. Milwaukee can't get their shit together. Giannis is even The Knicks, now. bro. The Knicks are in a spot. If Randall comes back and Brunson no, plays Randall's way done, done. the newbie, Randall's they can make a late push, but they're not winning. I can see maybe on that whole – I don't see any Eastern teams doing well. It's going to be Denver mm-hmm. or fucking – Someone else. Denver's probably going to no, go just back. Just the East, though. Just the East, though. Forget about the West. The West is its own. Just pull a name out of the hat. I think like, the Knicks you, are probably – the Knicks The Knicks or Cleveland are probably going to do the best. I don't know how Indiana are going to do because they have Siakam now, but I like Indiana because they have him now. You're forgetting about talk- the team that everyone underestimates and they go deep every single Miami. year. Miami. Yeah. Miami. 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 Every year. That's every ridiculous. Year. You're going to win the East this year. I have a sneaky feeling it could yeah, be. Yeah, uh, they could win easy. But I honestly, the there's no – no, no Eastern team is winning the title this year. Like, it no, pains me to say it. No, no. No, they don't yeah. even have a chance. Like, whoever the makes – deep. It's going to be – they're going to be lucky to win their home games in the in the playoffs, man. They're lucky to get 4-2 or 4-1. Like, I can see a sweep. Like, I just – I don't West rate is- any of these teams. I like yep. Minnesota. I've actually liked them a lot this – like mm-hmm. near the end, and the Clippers as well. Like if the Clippers keep playing the way they are, and actually like the way their second unit's playing at the moment too. Like their second unit players are playing really good. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, but the Clippers. The only thing that scares me about the Clips are uh... Ball Dallas. Dallas is my dark horse, man. Dallas got their shit together out of that trade deadline. I was just man. gonna say I have a weird feeling about Dallas this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they have Kyrie Irving, bro. I know no, but they got, that, they got that, that is literally the only reason why they might fail is they have Kyrie. And it's also the reason why they might win. He's the X Factor. But they got a lot better out that trade deadline. Like Dallas has never had like bigs, and now they have like actual people that are doing Dude, the, the best the best thing they did was trade for PJ Washington, bro. Yes. And they got Wood. Lucky, him and fun. Wood. Yeah, Him and so Wood, how the fuck did they get those two guys, bro? You're, uh, isn't Dante Axum from Australia? Yeah, yeah, man, he's playing good too. I was going to say, Dante Axum. He, I like Dante Axum, bro, but he can also, out of nowhere, he can just fall off the face of the fucking player. Yeah. He's been hooping, man. That game last Sunday, uh, Dallas was down by 25-plus points to end up coming back, and on the last play of the game, Lucas swings at the Axum. Axum just... A- Cash. This is my theory, right? This is my theory on Australian athletes that play in the NBA, okay? If they get drafted in the NBA, typically they don't do very well unless they're a perennial talent like your Ben Simmons, your Bogarts, your Giddies. They're the guys that did really well. And then you have the guys that get drafted, but they're a bit older. Like, uh, or you know, they end up having an okay career like your Della Dovers, your Patty Mills, those guys. But they, they get good when they're, like, over 27. That's when they're good. And then you get guys that play in the NBL that have a full career in the NBL, do really well, and when they're, like, 28, 29, they go, I want to play in the NBA now. And you got your Joe Ingles. you got some other guys that come over from the NBL. Jashan Tate yeah, played a few seasons in the NBL. Mm-hmm. Royce O'Neal played a few seasons in the NBL. Uh, like, you know, there's a few, man. But I think that Australian players that are good are usually over the age of 30. So Dante Exum is like approaching that window of being a good Australian basketball player because he was a top pick. Everyone thought he was going to be perennial, yeah. And then he just shot the bed at the Jazz. So also he's like got, Jock, Jock Landau, bro, he's really good. I like Jock Landau. Yeah, Jock Landau's fucking good. He's uh, like an uh, old mate that used to play for Celtics. Um, uh, he's a great. Like, Aaron Baines, Baines is good as well. Nah, like, Aaron Baines is decent. Aaron Baines is he's I mean, like uh, a smaller Steve Adams. He's had he's had no nah, uh Aaron Baines could shoot threes. Mm-hmm. He's a he's a body butt. He's a body. Like nah, he could, body. at the end of his career when he was playing for Phoenix when KD and the first got traded, he 
he had a couple games or not not KD before the KD trade and like uh I think it was the year that the Suns went to the finals. I think like Aaron Baines had like a 40 point game. He's played on good teams, man. He played for the Spurs. That was like his first team. He's good. Aaron Baines is one of those guys you could you could fold him in half and he'd still be wider than you. Like he's just a massive, (laughs) massive (laughs) boy. Yeah, like they call him. I've met him before, and he's like, I felt like a, the, I was in like the shadow of like a fucking tower or something, bro. He's a monster, and he doesn't look big on like they don't look big on TV. And then you meet him, and it's like, holy fuck, you're a monster. I remember yeah, going really- to um, a Lakers game. Um, the company I worked with had floors had not floor seats on the sideline. They had three rows back behind the, one of the nets. So it's still good seats, but. Um, I could not believe how tall Steve Nash looked because he looked so much smaller than everyone else. Steve Nash was, I think, 6'2 or 6'3. Yeah, he's like, normal as tall as me. Yeah, as tall as me. Like, I, I, I thought he was a midget. And it's like, I'm like, holy shit, he's tall. <clears throat> and then you think dudes like Nate Robinson made a career in the NBA and they're like 5'8 or 5'9. Yeah. Like, that's crazy to me. Well, yeah. Earl I, I, Boykins? I, how tall was Earl Boykins? He was like 5'5 five, five or something, wasn't he? Okay, now that Nate Robin, Robinson has had up to this point in his life, wh- there's one thing I know him for now. There's only one thing: getting knocked the fuck out by. Jake yeah, getting Cole. knocked out by that 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 fruitcake of. A, now he's a legitimate boxer now, but getting knocked out by a uh, inf- social media influencer. Who would who would have thought an M? Do you reckon if it was a dive, but like who would have thought an NBA player with all this money throughout his career would take a dive like out of any athlete? Like, wouldn't it be a, another boxer? Not not a guy that's played, you know, a decade in the NBA and probably made, like, at least, you know, $30, $40 million. It just shows that Jake Paul's a jo- why Jake Paul's a joke is he won't take a f- – the only time he ever took a fight was someone that was anywhere near him. And, by the way, it was a catchweight fight. He's still bigger than t- um, Tommy Fury. He's still bigger than him. He's I always think- taken fights with guys that are smaller than him and or older than him. Never taken a fight with a legitimate – guy his Fred, own Tommy, size uh, Tommy fucking what's his name Tommy, Tommy Fury, Fury is, 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 but he's a weight class down it was a catch weight fight so it wasn't the same a, age aren't they yeah and he yeah. lost he lost yeah. to a guy that was smaller than him mm-hmm. no nah, guess why because he's a boxer because he's a real boxer the kid's actually all right he's fine but you yeah, know what Tommy Fury that. Tommy Fury in, 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 in the circuit we get beat the fuck up that that's yeah. the point is that like he's gonna be on Love Island. Like he'll be a perennial reality TV person yeah, because of yeah. his name. Like he's he'd be like that C. What's his name? Uh, is it CT? That guy that just does reality shows. He, he, he did the world, real world and then did all. Yeah, the- that's mm-hmm. like his life. It's like, what do you do for a living? Oh, I do reality TV. Like fucking, you're a loser. A lot of them do that. Yeah, like there was a guy that was on Survivor. Show. Yeah, there was a guy that was on Survivor. He's one of the smaller. You know, all the guys on on the I know channel who it is, yeah. big. I'm actually he was, applying yeah. to be on Australian Survivor, guys. So if I get on, okay. you got to watch. Yeah, there are people that make – and then Johnny Bananas was another guy that's gone on all the fucking – He's a funny he's son from, of a bitch. He is. He's from Orange County. Yeah, or he lived in Orange County. I met County. him in Atlantic City. That boy funny as hell. Him, Car Maria, and yeah. all that. They, they cool people. Oh, that psycho bit? Yeah, she's yeah. – um, yeah, whatever. I gotta get, I got I get in trouble for being sexist now because I tell people to get yeast infections. <laughs> was it – um? how's this? There's a guy that I went to high school with. His uh, brother-in-law went on Survivor in Australia, and he's the first dude to have two immunity idols at the same time. Oh shit! And then he got voted off with both of them, and he's the he's a dumbass. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah hey, I met him. I called him a dumbass to his face. There's Nate with the Celtics love. <laughs> we have a panel member, Nate. Hey, Yo, Billy, your boy's coming on, Billy. <laughs> I'm nervous. I am nervous. We need this. Your, your older uh, brother's coming on, Billy. We need Antonio Carlos Jr. to uh, get us sub up. Sub up. Nice little sub. Hmm. Yeah, you got it. You won. You win the money. You're good. Can we get out of this? We're so close. I have a feeling. I have a feeling some fucking crazy shit's going to happen, but. I don't even I I know what you're talking about, but I don't want to know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not it's not that game. It's just like they're toying with us, but I, I fully I fully expect to lose both of these. But there's a chance. I don't have any action for two more. I mean, I have no I need to get into this fight. Rocky's another run. 
Rockies hit another run. Let's go, baby. Um, I know Billy's on uh, Carlos Jr. by submission. Embiid starts second half Friday. He's back. Oh, he's back? Okay. Yeah. Did you put that live bet on or did you hold off? No. I I, yeah. I, I thought I was going to see if I still had my profit boost for it. And I was like, shit. I took a yeah, uh, we, we we live straight up. With, I've got to fucking call someone and then give them a, a unique code and then say my name. What? And then they've got to read. Then they've got to read the whole bet to me in the odds. And by the time they do that, sometimes the fucking bet changes. And they've got to read it again. So I'm on the phone going, yes, 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 yes. Fucking <laughs> that's, that's, prime. that's why I have to turn. If my screen goes off and I'm, I mute myself, it's because I'm fucking screaming yeah. in the phone trying to get a live bet on. That's a crime. So sometimes I'll like pretend to be someone else with a different voice and put my bet on just to fuck with the person on the phone. <laughs> I'll be like, hello, sir. Yes. <laughs> Good day to you. Stupid. Come on. This is one, man. It's Antonio Carlos Jr. hasn't fought in a little bit, but. Ah, Billy, they're going to play the. The softball game is on before the main event. Instead of doing the prelims on ESPN and then the main event somewhere else, the PFL's main event is on ESPN too. Fucking look at this. Looks awful. Yo, yo Billy, wasn't uh, Carlos Jr.'s nickname like Shoe Face, whatever the hell it was? Yeah, Dude. Shoe Face. Yeah. Is he stretching like he's going to do a submission, this Carlos Jr. bloke? He's got his legs. Oh, yeah, he's, a, he's a good submission artist. Looks like he's about to do the fucking splits. And what's he, yo, Bill? You might notice what season was he on for uh, Tough Brazil? That he won on. It was like season two, maybe. Uh, yeah, it was. It was early on. His yeah. first season was a uh, Vitor Belfort boy. Who was in? What do they say? Field. If you got longer limbs and stuff, you're easier to submit, aren't you? If you're like real long and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and no, the hard part though is getting him to the ground. Yeah. yeah. Big Once they're on the ground, that is probably wraps, but yeah. the getting to them to the ground part is the scary thing. Nate, I mean, uh, it, um, that's a good question. I um, I can say that my pre-flop bets don't matter because I never, I never drank. I didn't drink. I mean, I was, I wasn't a guy that ever drank during the day. In fact, we know people that start drinking in the morning. I can't do that. So I, mm -hmm. so. All of my bets that were put in were were either late at night when I was a zombie or early in the morning. So that doesn't matter. But as far as I, I've, been, I've probably, you know, the way that I see it is, is I'm not taking as many chances, but I'm also not losing those bets. So I, I don't know. I don't, no, I don't I, keep I talking about think that. The live, the live betting given out on this stream would definitely be like up at least, you know, 10 units. But sometimes they, you know, I feel like from what I when I bet live and watch you guys, I've always let me, 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 I'm going to shine some light on something and answer that question the right way. Okay. So it's very, very hard because live betting, no one puts out their record. It's very, very hard to keep. But people, all you hear, all you hear from a lot of our friends and a lot of the people that we deal with is big winners that they have. I won this parlay. I won this home run prop. I run this rushing prop. I run this RBI prop. Well, you know what? They won one, but what about the other four or five that didn't tell people about that they bet behind behind the scenes, okay? Okay? And what, 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 what about when guys have five bets out there that disappear from my stream all of a sudden because they're all losing? So this is what I have to put in perspective is everyone likes flashy shit. I post my fucking goddamn record bet by bet for two years. Every single bet you can see in a spreadsheet and all of it's time stamped. You can go see that, and you can see that I'm at about a 7% ROI for the years. But all care people care about is, I'm 10-0 and 0 the past three days. I won this plus 400 parlay. But you know what? I guarantee you, ask them for their record. Ask them to do a bet-by-bet -bet record. 90% of them can't because they don't keep records. And the other 10%, if they really showed it to you, lose. All of these big parlays and all this stuff, all these big, all these big live things we hit, we're probably up since we're not taking them. So that answers your question. I think we are up from not taking. No, that. no, smoke. I'm, not, I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> no, it's heated. It's like when uh, was it Charlie from uh, Always Sunny when he gets hot on something? Dave just got a bit hot on the top leg. The leg, scoop, passion, it's it's passion. more energy. It. 
He's got to get towards the hip. You're losing. He can't get the leg oh, like sorry. that. You get low enough. Hip. You got to get to the hip here. I, I hope he doesn't get Ben Askren going in for that fucking takedown. I will say, Nate, I will say, Nate, for sure, I'm betting a lot less live because of that. But it doesn't – I don't think I was losing because of it. I don't I don't think that – I know people definitely that play poker and play other things and, and, and drink and lose. I've never been that guy because you, you guys see me on stream. I would drink a bottle of booze. Did I? How often did I ever seem wasted drunk? Maybe once or twice in like two years ever. That's because I had two bottles. So, anyways, everything's good. You know what's really good is my bowel movements. Those are really good since I stopped drinking. I'll tell you what. Metamucil? No, no, no. no just just my, 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 my stomach. Uh, oh, uh, but, but guy, but gut biome is better because you don't kill all the bacteria off and stuff. Oh, you Oopa. do, you Get do. The hooks in. Smart Get stuff. the hooks in. Get the hooks in. Come on. They are documented. I can show you. They're all time stamped. All of them. Ramon, you know about this. I can see you having a diary, like in a like. No, 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 no. I no, no, no. I even better. There are. I started off on Twitter. And uh, wasn't like doing any touting or selling, if that's a word you want to use. I hate that word, but um, never. It was all on Twitter. Those are all times you can't. This is before editing. This is pre check mark where you couldn't edit them. Then there are two other oh sites I've God. used, um, right. Dub Club and Cap It, and those are all time stamped. So if anyone wants to see a, like I have a spreadsheet that I put them all in. And if people say, well, who regulates your spreadsheet? I tell them, pick 15 no, games. Pick 15 games, then I'll show you where those are time stamped and where I put them out. I'll show you right where they're at. And uh, go ahead. what time? What time is it on this spot, Billy? You He's get it? it? It's it. Come on, come on. <laughs> what just yeah. happened? It's like nah, right on the. He had the arm yeah. underneath the neck. Yeah. He's just oh about to God. submit it. How is he staying out of this? Oh. They were trying <laughs> to say that he was holding. It's been it, literally but... like this guy's been on this guy's back with his hooks in. I've, I've been trying to be respectful, and I've been watching and paying attention to try both, but. I had to ask Billy what his timestamp was because it's crazy. Oh, uh, 105, four. Yeah, you're I like 20 seconds five, ahead of me. So. I thought Billy was going to jump up yeah, in I'm his at chair. 40, 41, 40, 39. He had it. Jesus. He had it. Yeah, he did. Wait, what the? What the what Nate, the are you man? betting the fights tonight? The you better that? be. Oh, shit. Does he got it? Oh, yes, he does. Yeah, baby. I'm just going off you because you're way ahead of me, but I'm just <laughs> mean. I didn't think he had it at first. Jesus. Does he have it, Joe? Oh, he had it. He had it. Look at because his forearm was deep. I didn't did know he, he grabbed it? his hand. I thought maybe he did it all forearm. Cash, I'm in, like, I'm in like fucking betting purgatory right now. I don't know. I'm waiting for it to come through on here, but I know that you've won. <laughs> oh, so he finished it, right? Look at it was just all arm. Yes, quick six. ACJ's back, baby. Antonio Carlos Jr. Don't forget the name. Round one, two, sub. Yes, I see it now, too. Let's go. The Mexican way bet comes through. Um, needed that. Oh, man. Let's get let's get let's get our let's get our um next. I don't guess he's a fucking co host. Um, str straight back from um pirate baseball, but not the kind of pirates. You want the kind that wear purple and might be called butt pirates. What's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah, they're coming back from a, an 11 nothing win over Charlotte. That was a run rule after seven innings. And ah. the uh, the 40 winers had no hits tonight. It was a Ooh, seven inning no winners. hit run rule win. Mercy rule, yeah. Mercy, mercy rule, rule, no hitter. That's crazy. No, that's, that's, their, that's, their, that's their first no hitter since Tuesday. Where they did the exact same thing against Elon. Holy shit. Well, why aren't we that betting those games? Huge fucking. They're uh, minus 425 tonight. Don't they have run lines that are like, can't you do, you can do like extended run lines? Yeah. Spreads. Yeah. Half. It was uh, the run rule or the, with the run rule and only going seven innings, it was a, uh, it was a, a push because it didn't go nine innings for the spread. Oh, how lame. 
Did you see uh, Ramon said, he goes, I'm 1-0 in, in this chat tonight with yeah. seven to 7-2 winner. And then below he said, documented. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's why I pulled that up. <laughs> well, just saw it there. I'm guessing that was the uh, I'm guessing that was the beer makers that he was on. I don't ever Ramon. know what he. I mean, Ramon's on some pretty. Fucking he had that primus submission. It, it, the one and I was the primus. Oh submission. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I won that. He'd just, be, he'd just be doing the uh, Ramon laugh behind his computer there, just in his little man cave. <laughs> Exactly what he'd be doing. Yeah, that joke was nasty. This well, Braves game is kind of pissing me off because they've hit into like three or four double plays, and I have the over. Well, I'll tell you what. I just turned, looked at the hockey scorecard, and the two games that I wanted to bet it was Golden Knights. I wanted to take the puck line. Didn't. didn't. The other one is only the only other one I thought had any sort of value was taking the Blues, but they're playing the Hurricanes. The Blues are out one nothing. Yeah, I have I I have the over five and a half with the Blues Hurricanes yeah. game, and this morning I bet the Hurricanes to win the Metro at plus two forty. Okay. So I like there, the Hurricanes to win that game. There were four games. Mel was talking about, there, and it was just true. I looked at all the. There's five games for them at playoff implications, but none of the bets were bettable unless you took minus ones, minus one and a halfs, or took a shot. The only the only people I think you take a shot with are the Blues, and that's you. Know, I. The fucking yeah. Wild aren't going to beat the VGK, I don't think. I'll, um, see, here's the thing. If this game was 3 nothing Hurricanes right now, I would be jumping on the Wild. Because with a with a Blues loss, the Golden Knights are in the playoffs. And it's really? clinched. Yes. The Never. Blues need to win out. The Golden Knights need to lose out, basically, for the Blues to make the playoffs. And, the, the, and that's the only implications from on the, West, on the Western Conference for teams making it in. So minus minus seeding 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 stuff because the Oilers minus are seeding of course yes yeah, yeah. the Oilers are still battling for the division when I grabbed the um, Hurricanes plus two forty to win the Metro this morning I also grabbed plus one fifty five for the Oilers to win the Pacific because they play um, Arizona tonight which I think they beat but I didn't really want to bet that game but I think the Oilers win that game and that would put them um, two points behind with a game uh, with a game in hand. Uh, Carolina Hurricanes goal scored by Jordan Martinuk 1-1. Um, and then they play the Canucks tomorrow, uh, which will be a huge game implications for the division, which I think the Oilers win both today and tomorrow. And then they're in the driver's seat for the Pacific Division at plus 155. I took a shot with that. I might get frisky. and I don't know. I think I'd rather bet fi- I'd rather bet PFL more than I'd rather bet hockey later on. First, <laughs> I believe that these we're gonna see how these games pan out. Um, th- this ain't I was how right was I in fucking the bot the under in the Boston game if 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 the Angels were the real Angels instead of fucking lights out hitting everything Angels, but. Um, uh, I, have, I I have the over nine in that game. I looked at that one. I, I looked at it probably. Obviously, I looked at it different than you. What did yeah. we just with with the, with the pitching matchup? What did we just see? These two pitchers just faced these lineups less than a week ago, and they yeah. both shut them down. Detmer yeah. shut down the Angels, and um, who do you call it for the Red Sox? Hauk. Uh, Hauk shut down the Angels. So I thought it was going to be the flip today because I don't I don't think that these pitchers are that great and this is a second time that you're seeing the same pitcher in less than a week. Uh, so usually when they dominate the first time, I'll take the I'll take the offenses to show up in the second time. Well, I'll tell you what right now. Good luck on your bet because I'm losing mine. But we were both half right and half wrong because Detmers is shutting them down. Here's the other yeah. thing too. Uh, Detmers the, the- may just be good. He might be, and you know my thing about Detmers, but here's the other thing. The Angels really should have four runs. There's three errors that that directly directly affected three runs. So not not that 4-0 is much different than 7-0. That's still blowing them out, but um, either way, that game's it, fucked. It, it matters a lot for that uh, for the total. Mm, oh, yeah, well, of course. Um, Hurricanes tied it up. Yeah. In case anyone cared. Home run. Home run. Kind of a home run in hockey. But the bet this Josh Severia is. Yeah, what are we on? What's the next fight? Tell us. What are, I want to bet these. Josh Severia versus uh Sabusi. Sabusai. Uh he's going up two weight classes, but he's a big motherfucker, man. Historically, bad takedown defense, but 
I don't know, man. Uh, Josh Averier scares me a little bit. Like, uh, usually when you lose the uh, championship, it's usually kind of like a fade spot. But, but I kind of like Josh Averier around three or decision. But, man, I, uh, I might just have to go with violence or something. Wow. There's, the UFC doesn't own the PFL at all, right? Nothing to do with them, right? No. Why is Randy Couture and Tyron Woodley both the announcers? That's crazy. Because Randy- Tyron Woodley is no longer with the UFC. Why well, no? But Randy Couture is Mr. UFC fucking guy guy in the in the fucking hall. Dana White kind of fucked him, bro. Me and Dana, Dana White fucked each other. Don't get along. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Dana fucked him over, bro. I didn't know that. He fucked him yeah. over on a contract when he was the champion because nobody thought he was going to be champion. He, he was the was he the oldest champion before uh, after like Daniel Cormier? It wasn't Daniel Cormier the oldest champion? Yeah, it was something like that. I uh, think, in my opinion, wasn't Glover besides John Jones? Champion? I think Randy Glover Couture is the greatest champion. Yeah, Glover Couture. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Dad. I'm not bad for not. I not think he is, season. and it has nothing to do with him being the best all around fighter. But he he was the first guy. Him, huh? He was a he was the it the two hardest weight back in the day the two best weight classes well the th- it was hey, it was light heavyweight fuck him up he be he went in he went in and fucking beat a six eight giant before that was a thing and won the heavyweight championship and he's not that, was, that was that was when like no one was doing jujitsu also that was like that's before. not true. That's not true. Yeah, but, that was yeah, in 2008 like, or 2009. There were plenty of people were doing jujitsu then. Oh, I thought you were talking about Royce Gracie. No, I'm t- I'm talking about um, uh, Randy Couture. I don't think I don't think Royce Gracie's as great as people think because no yeah, one I'm knew what he was like, doing. Yeah, he was that, the first guy to do everything. Like they're like, yeah. what the fuck? This guy's this guy's trying to butt fuck me. Like what is he doing? And they do it in gay, so it's like easier to submit people if yeah. they've got gay on. He's like, this guy is choking me out with his black belt, literally his belt. Like, what? What's going on? <laughs> no, I loved. Uh, I used to like GSP, but I think he's a bit of a. He was a bit of a cheater and a bit of a pussy. But, There's um, been a lot of better fighters than him. Yeah, I like BJ Penn a lot. I used to like him, and then he. I went think crazy. he fought for too long. He fought for yeah. way too long. Yeah, you got CT real bad. I think. He got in, he got in like crazy. There's crazy videos of him online just getting into street fights. I saw the one he got into a bar fight. That shit was hilarious. Well, uh, Max Max Holloway is like his uh, protege, isn't he? Like, yeah, I think he's around the same Hawaii area. The, like they took him into their gym and shit. Mm-hmm. Who's the guy? There's Holloway and there's Dollar. Who's the guy that um, was on the Ultimate Fighter that was like he he was like a big fucking idiot and he's a stoner and he couldn't. He was a um, oh Matt Riddle. That's the guy. He had spiked. Yeah. yeah. Now he has like dreadlocks. Yeah. That guy. What a dumb. Yeah. 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 What a dumbass. But he's like, just he, when he talks, he's like the stupidest person alive. He's like, like bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He got. He got a, he's he's, he's got dumber. Dude. He's dumber than um. Who is who's the hard head that can't get from the t- to, from Ultimate Fighter One? The guy uh, Chris Levin. He's yeah. dumber than him. But dude, this, <laughs> this guy got a UFC contract in tough. Matt Real. And then he went in the UFC, failed a drug test for smoking weed. Yep. So then he retired. He went to WWF, and now UFC has been bought in the conglomerate with WWF. And he failed another drug test. Now he's wrestling <laughs> in AEW. Like he, <laughs> the UFC just hated him, bro. Like it's so so funny. Yeah, he, he's a fucking. Oh, wow, nine one Brewers. Let's go. Uh, that's what I think about the Brewers. I I have their money line. They're up eight runs. That's I'm happy with them. Let's see. Is the Braves gonna do anything here? Yes. Yeah, you what know what I reckon. Fuck the Celtics. Fuck those Celtics. Facts. Excited, Grandma. Oh, we have another. We have another bleep in the back. Heard another bleep. We'll get him in, and he will play his because this apparently because this hit already because someone said it, something like that, some parlay with with one of his things. But there it is. Here it is. We got it. Here it I is. I didn't want salmon. I said it four times. Wedding is horseshit. He didn't want the salmon. Oh, 
Fuck yeah, fellas. We'll take that plus 165. One swing of the bat, one cash of the check. Let's go. What up? Someone came hey. in and said Mike, Mike hit his Mike hit his RBI or, pro, or parlay or something. I had the RBI what? and then I parlayed it with Debbie's Seeger over one and a half bases. So I think that hit two now, if I'm not mistaken. That was a plus 390. Nice work today, fellas. That's what we did. Like it. You like it? Hey. You, love it? you mean you mean you mean you didn't parlay it with Jordan Clarkson over, over one and a half threes? <laughs> or is that one dead? Or is that one now it's Seeger? Now it's Seeger bases. Well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Clarkson's not playing. Uh, <laughs> I think I think there's been ten bets. There's been ten bets, and eight of them have been Seeger over over whatever the fuck <laughs> the whole season. There you go. But it's cashing. That's all we care about. But yeah, I don't. I, we don't know how he does it. Mike has some fucking crystal ball, but I don't know anyone that hits fucking props oh, like I just RBI. My, uh, I cashed my Olsen RBI too at plus one forty five. Stack them up, boys. I need, I need two. I need two more Braves runs. That'd be really nice. I need the okay. under. Okay. I have, I have the over. <laughs> I I have Braves uh, first five run line, full game run line, team total over, full game over. I I I bet big on the Braves today. I'm I'm gonna guess that Mike is probably on the Orioles. Uh no no I'm not okay. I'm just picking all the bets that Nick's on the other side. So I was just going to say he's probably on the Orioles. He's probably on the under in the Hurricanes Blues game. No, I'm on the over. Okay. The yeah, Knicks on the there over. we go. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Ruined my game. Oh, no. Is there an early cash out option? What's the early <laughs> cash out look like? Uh,. I don't know the rest. I don't know what the rest is on, but anyway, I don't know. So I Nick didn't go through his place. He Nick Nick went to the fucking Pirates game. And they won. How do you see money so Nick, line? Big time. The NHL on a Friday, boys. The only last active trend we've got. The NHL on a Friday is eighteen and six to the over when the total is a six. So I ended Five up with Vegas. Graves, total over is a winner. I ended up with the the Vegas and over five and a half in that spot was plus one. Plus 200 or plus 175, something like that. That game hasn't started yet. You know what I forgot to bet last night and it hit again? What? I forgot to bet it. The Panthers, under. The Panthers, under? You forgot it? I forgot to bet it. And because we don't have a stream, I wouldn't have a Thursday stream anymore. And I fucking forgot to bet it. It Sucks. Well, what's up, Mel? What's up, Mel? Yeah, that's 18 and one. They ended the season on the under on that streak there. Thursday unders, 18 and one. Very rarely do I shout a team out, but I had to go on Twitter last night and shout them out. We do have the playoffs. We do have the playoffs. Yeah, no, the look at the playoffs. That was just a that was a regular season spot there that they were yeah. just cash cow. It was blind. It was so exciting that you looked ahead to see how many times they were playing on a Thursday. I was talking about <laughs> the last game of the season before the even second to last game of the season. Oh. That was fun. That was fun. Hey, Mark, there's uh, there's some what Mexican up, soccer. There's some Mexican soccer on a little bit later, mate. Yeah, you know, uh, it's funny because Cruz, uh, Cruz Azul's Cruz Azul's playing today. Yeah, somebody somebody reached out for me uh, to me on on X from down in that neck of the woods, and uh, <laughs> I was reluctant to accept it. I don't know what's going on down there, but I don't want them catching in part of my action. That I'm catching that's part of their action. <laughs> Colorado. We've got the Colorado Rockies, boys. First five. But the full game. First five cashed at plus 180. But the full game was plus 205. We're up eight to two. Let's go. Let's see if we can't get that finished out. Yeah, we talked about that one. That was a missed, missed, missed bet. Basis loaded for the Braves. How great would that be? So, so Fan, FanDuel gave me a thirty percent boost for a same game parlay. Exactly. So I threw five. I, I threw a whopping five dollars at this, but I went with the Braves game. I had the Yurfi, which hit first five run line, team total over four and a half. Ozuna, Albies, Riley, Oz, uh, and Oz, uh, Acuna. My bad, Acuna. Albies, Riley, Ozuna, all the get hits. And the last two remaining are the Braves, money line and the over eight and a half. So all the hits. It, 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 all the hits have already hit. 
The only ones I need left are Braves money line and over eight and a half. Nice. And over eight and a half is probably going to sell it because the Marlins are getting shut out. I need that under. Yeah. More. Uh, Atlanta in the under was plus 215. Yeah. I mean, it's at, at the end of the day, yeah, this at the end of the day, so I'm, I'm already I'm already two and zero in that game, and if and if I were, to, I'm I'm guaranteed at least three winners in that game because I I quadrupled up on that. I rarely ever do that, but when I do, I'm really strong about a game with the Braves at the first five run line full game run line team total over full game over. The worst that can happen is that the Marlins score four and then the over hits and then I lose the run line. That unless the run line is going to hit if the the under hits, so I'm guaranteed at least three and one on that game. There we go. Like it. Like it a lot. Gerardo putting out the Mexican soccer. La Liga, Mexico. Correto, Ero. This is Bazalantan. Over seven and a half. Minus 118. What? I know I jacked up. The- I have a two and a half goals, but he's got some weird. Let me let me translate. Five. That is uh, Queretaro, Queretaro and Mazatlan. I have a two and a half goals. Yeah. No, that was almost English. <laughs> oh man, Billy, you're the best. The best way to go not, seven and one is to go. Yeah, in, uh, yeah, exactly. That, that, yeah, exactly. It it gave me a boost, and I put a whopping five bucks on it. I, don't, I can care less. <laughs> I love that too. Uh, one swing in the back. Yeah, yeah, the best, way, the best way to go three and one is a four leg parlay. Oh man. I'm going against what I preach. I say no parlays, but they keep giving me boosts. So I keep throwing five, ten bucks on parlays. <laughs> you got to, bro. I mean, everyone says. I mean, if they're going to give me boosts, then yeah, yeah they're going to get me for a couple bucks here and there. I like it when they give me those insurance tokens uh, to where it's a, basically a free bet if it loses. And then I put it on like a plus 550 yeah. money line. And I did that a couple weeks ago. And I put it on like the Wizards money line against the Bulls, and they won outright or whatever, plus five fifty. I'm like, sweet, because they gave yeah. me like a fifty dollar bonus token, so I got like a two hundred and seventy five dollar payday. I'm like, I'll take that, thank you. The no, they had is- another. They had one yesterday that was up. If uh, I got a risk free bet for up to a thousand dollars, so I put a I put a big bet on it. Then uh, I lost, and they gave me the money, and then I bet on a bet that pushed. And guess what? On bonus money, you don't get the money back. So it's nope. I, oh all it was God. so bad. And it was my fault for not taking I should have taken a bet that had a half run or a half point or something, right? Yep. I forget what the bet was. I'd look it up, but I, I took it on an even whole number, and that's the worst because it pushed. I think it was a first five or something. I forget what it was. Do I have any PFS yeah, for me? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm responsible it. with it though. I'm responsible uh, with it. the ones we're riding out next. Uh Man, I'm, I'm probably going to have to pass on this Sabusai versus Joss Severia fight. I don't feel good about it. But I'm taking uh, Mads Burnell by decision or round three decision at minus 110 and fight goes a distance at uh, minus 154. And then um, co-main event is the one that we need for this fucking parlay. We got the first leg down with ACJ. We need Tom Breeze to get a submission in rounds one or two to cash a little 15 to one parlay to start off the weekend. Uh, I like Tom Breeze in this bitch, man. I think Rob Wilkinson's going to suffer his first loss in uh, PFL history. And then uh, main event's probably going to be Inca Kasag and I by, like, the fact that Dave told me that shit's the main event is the only one on ESPN, too. I think now the fight's probably going to go to distance, you know? Like one of those ones where they get the most screen time that they can on ESPN, too. We fucking get some outs, Marlins. Come on. It's 6-0 now. Hey, Mike, tomorrow we already know what – there's one bet we should all have for the UFC tomorrow. What do you think it is, Mike? Is Holly Holm over? No, Yang, Yang Jing Jong uh, uh, knockout. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. She's, but she's fighting one of her country, country women. She's fighting another uh, – Imagine if they knock each other out at the same time, like they're in a women's <laughs> fight. Wouldn't that be amazing? You just fucking both just bang. Okay. It'd be leg kicks to the headbutt because it's girls, Chinese girls, leg kicks. <laughs> well, yeah. It's all that, that. Anyway. <coughs> Impa collared minus 122. 
At Earl, I cashed a five leg or five foot singing in parlay in the Pell's Kings yesterday. Dialed in there here. There you go. <clears throat> There's not a lot. Minus 122. Um, I would go Impa. I, I don't know what it is, but I know Mads Brunel is moving up a weight class, but I I was, just, you know, I had to wait a little bit. But if this was like the summertime, I probably would have bet that bitch straight on the opener at minus 200 straight. And then once the props came out, added on to it. I really like Mads Brunel in that matchup against Michael Dufford. What about that last fight, Billy? Impa, Impa. and Alex P- 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 Polizzi? The only thing that I don't like about Impa is he literally just fought like a month and a half ago in the Champions card or some shit like that. That was like two months ago. And that's a pretty quick turnaround. Um, I, I think the fight goes like fight goes the distance at minus 150, bet somebody by decision. Like Alex Polizzi by decision at plus 500 is pretty wild. Um, why am I going to be pissed at the Lightning? I don't care about the Lightning tomorrow. Are they playing someone? They, that... they, play, they play the boots. Oh, all right. I don't know why I'd be pissed at them. I don't want the I don't want the Red Wings to win. I don't give a shit if they win. Um, I want them to fuck up the Capitals. <laughs> Going and right now it uh, it's. How are the Penguins? There? Seven nothing. Seven nothing Braves. Come on, two more runs. Two more runs. Well, what's coming up in baseball? Oh, we're on my favorite play of the day is coming up like in an hour. Blackburn first five? No. I think Blackburn's seen his heyday, but no, that's not it. It's um the Dodgers team total. I'm back on it. This this uh-huh. game I capped it that way. It's not a blind cap. Uh, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna it. see we're gonna see the Padres bullpen. This King King is a short leash. He doesn't go past the fourth inning. He's a reliever, by the way, by trade. Um, we're gonna see a lot of San Diego shitty ass bullpen. Yeah, I got. The I know. What, I know what you're on. I mean, you're you're gonna Padres, you're, in, you're, the over. Pod, Padres in the over for me. I like the over. Um, we need to see whether this Yamamoto guy is going to right the ship. I mean, do you have? Can he have as bad of a game as he did last time? I don't know. I think bad. I think that he's going to bounce back. He's opening debut. He got fucking rocked by him. Now he gets some like free. Was that damn near a month ago? Right. It was almost. Uh, yeah. I was, well, no, it was three, three weeks, weeks ago. Three, three weeks, weeks ago. ago yeah. I yeah. think that's that's a good enough time in between. It's not too short of a time period in between. I think he might fuck, fucking go right down the fucking middle. Strike him out. Can we, can we turn this, who, this fucking this dumb softball game off? I mean. What, what did you get the team total over at, Dave, for the Dodgers? Four, four, and, four and a half. half. I got 122. I think it's up to 130 now. Yeah, I think that's about right, Gerardo Hernandez. He'd probably go about five innings, two runs, but the strikeouts, though, I definitely think he could strike out this Padres lineup. Right? This Padres lineup is uh, on paper supposed to be good, but they'd be uh, swinging and missing. You know, I saw some people hating on the Philly City Connect jerseys. They're not bad. The Phillies, Mike, I don't know what the fuck's up, bro. I need to take a look at them again. Not I saw everyone, everyone was hating on uh, Jason Day's pants at the Masters. Well, Those that aren't one. that bad. They have nothing to do with Philly's colors, but yeah, Philly's I mean, got the powder blue jerseys, though. Oh, they you're right, they do. No shit. Yeah, they do. Those aren't powder blue, though. That's pretty dark. That's I don't know. Well, the top, I don't know. The, it is on the, the top, it does get darker, but I, they're okay. I mean, they're they're better than um uh I don't know. People, I have mixed feelings about the Padres one. They're supposed to be the Mexican flag, but it looks like they're. I um, like the pot. The Padres ones are fun. This one, I don't need. They're okay. Phillies. I still think the best one is um is the White Sox. 
I don't remember that one. The South Side one? one. The South Side ones are awesome. I love those ones. How about you stop trying to get how, how about you how about you stop worrying about your jerseys and start fucking winning games, White Sox? Who cares? Come on. Oh, they did that a couple years ago. On that. They're so bad, I don't even know what their jersey what that jersey is. They, that that one that one they have a pitcher on their crochet or whatever his name is he's not too bad. I don't like the last time I've watched a uh, Chicago White Sox game. I remember the last time I watched one. It was last season when um, I had the White Sox and the Giants went back to back like four home runs in one inning. Remember that game? Um, I had to watch that stupid fat fuck uh, Jock Peterson with his pearl necklace. Uh, there couldn't be more of there couldn't he, no, he actually so jo, jock peterson when he was with the braves when the, was it the braves or the giant was with the braves when they won the world series he would wear those big pearl that big per, literally a pearl necklace like a chick it couldn't be more apropos because i would give him one that fat fuck you don't like jock look, peterson, bro? look cool up guy. jock peterson pearl necklace he wore in games chick a chick pearl necklace look it up you should, you should tell us how you really feel dave Dave, oh, you may talk to you about Aaron Boone. The nails. Just so we're clear, you said you would give a dude a pearl necklace. Is that yes? That right? Yes. If he's sleeping, it's not gay. Sometimes it's hard to understand you with that accent. I just wanted to make sure I heard it properly. <laughs> what accent? <laughs> <laughs> the angry accent. It's it's twenty twenty four. And, and you know All right, probably... we got out of that top. We got out of that inning with the bases loaded up there. Okay. We got touched up quite a bit. I'm bleeding right now. On this nothing, yeah. The bet I wanted to take was the Braves' first five in full game, but it was like even money, and I saw that under, and I thought maybe Braves maybe first. Bra yeah, Braves agnostic. first. I'm not five. agnostic. Yeah, Braves' first five run line was minus 125. The full game run line was minus 110. For me, it was also a continuation of fading the Marlins, which I've done every single game this year, which has been absolutely glorious because I said heading into the season they were going to finish last in the National League East. And um, they look like one of the worst teams in baseball, which is fun to see. <sighs> I'm sweating out these bad. I want to I want to pay more attention to some live shit, but these – why am I – the twins I, I, I'm sweating out this this Detroit Minnesota first half or first five under, and I have a strange oh, feeling. That. I'm about to get fucked. It's three and a half. I know what's going to happen. It's going to Calgary's in the uh, patent for the revenge spot tonight against the Anaheim Ducks. Oh, you know what I took last night? I, I have, I have, I have, I have the over in that game, over six, and I got the Anaheim Ducks over three, at, even at plus one ten. I made a great live bet last night. It makes me sad that we weren't streaming, but I took the the Flames to score a goal. It, in, in the second period, it was Flames total over a half a goal minus 125. They had like they had like a period and two minutes to score a goal. And it happened play, like fairly I, immediately. What, I think my most favorite play tonight, and it's pretty much a trifecta spot for me here. And my pretty much I mean it is. I got the Warriors. Come out to play, baby. I got the first quarter money line, the first half minus two, the full game minus three and a half. Smash, smash, smash. Who are they Billy, playing? Don't you fucking don't you say anything about that Warriors play, Billy? Get out of here. Who are they playing? I want to. I want to hop on the Warriors. They're playing the Pelicans. Oh yeah. All right. You want to hear some numbers? I'll give them to you guys right now. Road dogs are small favorites, a.k.a. the Pelicans. With no rest, are 0-25 against the spread. If they're off a win as a dog and they're favorites on average during the season, 0-25. They're losing the first quarter by five. They're losing the first half by nine. And then they're losing the full game by 16. Is it in Golden On State? average in those spots. It's an 0-25-er. You got to jump in and take advantage when you see an 0-25-er. I like it. I don't like that some of this line movement shit that's gone along with it, but fuck the Pelicans. Pelicans have fucked me enough. Where's the game? Ever since like, they stopped catching first half at home. Who's home? Mikey? Golden State. Golden State. Uh, Warriors. So you got them first quarter, first half, and the line. Full game, yeah. home runs. One match. 
Have you gotten Mike, back? Have you gotten any um any texts or pictures from uh Jeff yet? Uh just before they left. Oh. Hopefully they They're made probably it. Fucking still traveling. Yeah, probably. Holy shit. Now they're probably there by now, 48 hours. <laughs> I mean, come on. I got a uh I got a picture of his dog when he was taking it to the kennel. What? <laughs> Send me this picture. Can you see his dog? Yeah, Nala. Oh, no! Of course, it has some fucking foofy fucking thing on, Tough which isn't. Puff fest. <laughs> oh, that's sick. And then he sent. He sent this one as they're getting as they were leaving. That's his driveway. Oh yeah, yeah. And then he sent. I'm assuming they're at the airport bar. Oh yeah, that's 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 where they belong. Or at least he I think I think the, the the pictures you're going to be getting, Mike, is just that photo, but with different bars that they're at. <laughs> <laughs> the same angle. Yeah, same See, angle. I, I, and, uh, one thing I've heard is, scientifically speaking, the best tasting beer is an air uh, an airport beer waiting for your flight. Uh, no, no. Well, is it like what is that like McDonald's Coke tastes better too? You know. Like it, that has it's more because of, it's and, it, and it's not because of the I don't think it's actually because of the syrup or whatever it's because of the straw is I think wider or something like that and it creates a different taste to it. I don't know. I'll tell you the best tasting drink is going to be the one I have after in about two months. That's going to be. Nick, I'll drink. I'll say the reason that the uh, the the beers maybe taste better or hit harder is because generally because speaking, you're you're going. On you don't vacation. have a lot of sleep. You're rushing to the airport. You're stressed to the nth degree. You haven't eaten breakfast, and then you slam down a twenty ouncer, and you're like, "Whoa, that just hit me hard." <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you know, aka you know, rookie night of drinking. <laughs> but it costs you yeah, twenty five dollars a beer, so the perception of course it has got to be better too. Damn, oh, placebo fuck. termy beers. What do they call them? Termy I beers? asked. He lives in Buffalo, smoke. I told him I would have kept it. He lives in Buffalo. He didn't want to drive home to drive back here to drop the dog off. 2 1, St. Louis. Yeah. And two, Colorado, baby. Who gives out a, St. Play Louis? A, oh, it's a, a team that's plus 205? I do. God damn it. How are the Blue Jays laying that? No, I wish I. I don't know why I didn't pull the f trigger on the fucking Rockies today. Me why too. We talked about it at the beginning of the show. God damn it. I don't know, yeah. I don't know why they were laying that. The, uh, similar to They're the revenge gonna... angle in hockey, there's a revenge angle in baseball for the first month of the season. And it's uh, I think it's 11-0. and 0. It's about to be 12-0 and 0 already. When you lost to the team at the end of last year and you're in a revenge spot this year off of a loss, it's I think it's 11-0 and 0 this season already. It's about to be 12-0. and 0. And the plus one and a half is ridiculous as well. Obviously, if the money line's winning, the plus one and a half's cashing. It's plays and play tomorrow. Go, Billy, get them Warriors in, my guy. That's what he's, pr he's probably going to be watching that uh, that next uh, PFL fight kicking off right now too. Sebo, I played the Rockies. Sebo. That was your. That was the your grandmother's wearing your sister's panties again. Play of the day. The Rockies. 7 1 now in this Braves game. That under for the Twins game, I guess at the bottom of the fifth, they just hit a double. No, no that's where to run. Here oh, we come. No. I told you, here we go. Here we fucking go no. every fucking no. time. Watch it happen. I'm wait. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'll take it. I'll take it in the chin. Sit there, they don't score any runs, and they decide to Mel, score on the bottom. Don't be a hater, Mel. The fact is, I found that thing two days ago, and I've been telling everybody about it since. Didn't matter who was pitching. The bonus was it was Gosman. Take that, Mel. 7-1. Miami's trying to fuck my under. Now, how about the other 11 spots? Was Gosman broken in the – he doesn't even play on the other, other 11 teams. Was he broken in those spots too? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Sounds like a hater. Well, Sounds like some hating. Let me get my umbrella. It's a chance it's about to rain hate. I don't want to get wet. 
Come on. Let's get Rihanna on cue. Get that song ready. Oh, no. Congrats. You won in overtime, and you should have been fucking sweating the whole way. Come on. Stop. You got the win. You got the win. My problem with that game is I heard everybody talk about Pittsburgh before I had a chance to even look at it. Shit. So as soon as I found a reason to fade everybody, I was like, sure, let's go. Let's go. I can fade everybody? Yep. And there's some numbers behind it? Let's do it. That's why I try not to listen to so many things early on, you know? I like to like to keep a fresh mind when I look at these numbers. Oh, my goodness. Kane's tied it. Oh, uh, can we can we ask for a double play or can we ask for something good? How about that? Don't don't go this whole time and don't score runs in the last three outs and fuck it up. I mean, come on. But that's what we get for betting fucking the AL Central. Fucking the worst division in baseball. We'll have to double up on the Dodgers team total. That's what we'll do. We'll see where it's at. It's probably minus 140 now. So what a sub. Oh, we're not even watching that. When Billy is uh, doing his thing, right? We should be paying attention. I got one more ribeye tonight. I got one okay. more ribeye tonight. Starts at 940. <clears throat> How many likes we got, Dave? Let's get to, let's get to 70. Oh, likes. we're it's a, it's a slow day today. What are we at? We're at uh, – oh, we're not anywhere near 70. Um, we're at 44. Very slow day. It's floating around 45 when I jumped in. Yeah, well, that that's <laughs> yeah. DJ Hardy, his cousin's going first overall in the WHL draft next month. Wow, nice, Billy. What what happened in this PFL fight, bro? Because it's like, did he did he say that they? Here we go. We or... lost it. That's fine. That's nice. Are you what did you watch that PFL fight, Billy? No. Dude, it ended real weird. Like oh, super yeah. controversial. I think the ref thought Let's he go, Dana Delp. Dana Delp, you just missed uh, you know, some controversy there. My phone put in the you chair. just missed some controversy in that game, but it's great that uh, that we're tailing and riding together, my guy. Let's go. Oh, that's so frustrating. Same things happen in this other game. Boy, oh so we boy, got oh some, boy. Uh, we got some afternoon or some afternoon. We got some evening action here that I'm involved with on uh, the bump. We'll take a bump and talk about the bump. You want? What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? The bump. I'll the Cubs about? first five. I took the Cubs money line in the first five, and uh, C Mac gave out that first five under four and a half. I like that play a lot too, so I tailed that. Ball over the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. Uh oh. I'll spare everybody the time so that Mel doesn't have to talk about the trend. I'll just let you know I'm on the Diamondbacks. And then uh, I like the Dodgers in the first five. I'm on the Dodgers first five minus a half. It was minus 120. Dodgers first five. First five minus a half. A couple spots there. I already told you the old razor sharp do damage right. spot. Hashtag trifecta. Golden State Warriors. The old dick twist? You're on the Diamondbacks full game? Yeah. I'm on the uh, Cardinals first five. I'm on the Cardinals full game. There we go. No, Every, no one can win. No one can win He's everything. He's alive. He's alive. Nick and I on the Actually, same I like side the of bed. I'm, and, I'm uh, very low on this Diamondbacks team this year. Like, I put, I put out a tweet of bold predictions to start the season. I said the Diamondbacks missed the playoffs as one of them. This is the this is the one that I went on yesterday with Baltimore. When the favorites are off a win after trailing in the first five innings or into the fifth inning, they either lost the second to last meeting by one or less, or they won outright. They're fourteen and one. Baltimore was in that spot yesterday. They came back and won. And it was and it was, and it was a one. Tuesday. Baltimore. 
And it was in between 60 and 75 degrees. They had ice cream on their uh, uh, ice cream and sprinkles before Stop the game. It. No, I didn't say I didn't say anything about the sprinkles. I didn't say anything about the game. <laughs> week, and I didn't say anything about the temperature. <laughs> like you guys want to stay at school, you go ahead. No, I just like messing around when when you list a bunch of different qualifications for a certain trend. It's like uh, eventually, how far is too far? Well, I'll tell you what: the team's losing in the fifth inning, and they pull off a win. After losing prior to, they don't show quit. How about that? There's no quit uh-huh. in the team, and they come back and they win, and they're fourteen and one. And that's Arizona for this game. But if you want to hear another one, I'll give you one more. I'll give you guys one more: the Diamondbacks, eighteen and nine at home. When they're facing a lefty starter, is that simple enough for you? That's the past that's, twenty-seven. Uh, that's past more reasonable. Games. No, going back to the start of last season, eighteen and nine at home against a lefty. <sighs> AFL pick. Lucky Lucas, I took uh, Vegas in the over five and a half in that game. Do you have I'll any period up. totals? Not me. No That's what I was going to say. That's kind of – I don't know why you'd ask that. Yeah, I'd be careful with that, Ramon. Over. I'd be careful with that one. The over, I like the over maybe, but I would be careful with that one. Where the fuck is Ramon? Why can't I see Ramon? Let's get him yeah. on the screen. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Mount is on Vegas minus one. I would love to be on uh, Vegas's puck line, but I'm not. In all fairness, let me take a step back to that comment Mel made about Pittsburgh. Didn't you drop into Jimmy the Bags show and say you had Pittsburgh minus one? Am I thinking of a different game in that one, or was it Pittsburgh minus one that you dropped in there on? That was against the uh, Red Wings. Yeah. Pretty sure she said Pittsburgh minus one. Coming out here celebrating like you won. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. I got a pretty good photograph. I'm a tough guy to play Pictionary with because I remember where a fucking card is every single time. Like oh, yeah. Trivial Pursuit as well, probably, Mike. Good job, Mel. Dude, that's, oh, that's what scares me about that Vegas spot. The minus one brings the juice down in case they lose. And uh, you don't want to be betting from an in case they lose perspective. That's why I added the total to it. I just thought, give me the win. I don't care if it's two, two, th- or 3-3 three, three going into overtime. Yeah, for for Vegas, I think Vegas Golden Knights become more appealing if the Blues win tonight because then Vegas still has something to play for. Because if if the Blues lose, Vegas basically has the wild card two spot because Nashville is already up 2 nothing. They're They've got a pretty good di- – I believe they got a couple points up on Vegas. So if the Blues lose, that, that game is completely meaningless, Vegas tonight. So that, that would be my one worry is that, um, I mean, they, they see that they've already clinched the spot or whatever, and they don't really have anything to play for, especially with, with Nashville winning. So that's one thing I would be. You know, the thing about that, though, is in terms of getting ready for the playoffs, they've got a lot of guys that have been coming back into the lineup. So it's not like they're yep. going to say, we don't need this game. Let's just coast. They might give True. the third and fourth line more time and change their power play and special teams units around. But I still think they're going to go out there business as usual. It's just a matter of fair. Do they yeah. need the game or do they work on the depth? Right. I mean, that's kind yeah. of a challenge. Between them. And and right now it's two, two Carolina and St. Louis. with uh how about a little more than halfway through the second, if this was four, one Carolina, I'd be, I'd be grabbing a small piece of Minnesota. That yeah, would be my approach to the game. Me. Uh, I'm going to hit that. I'll be right back. boys. You go girl. Well, Nick, it happened. The first five got daved. Uh, we lost yeah. in the bottom of the fifth like we do. Now we're going to the game that we're head-to-head at. It is the ninth inning. And yeah, two thanks for not the Red Sox. You suck. Well, I fully expect in the bottom of the ninth it'll be okay. We'll get, da- we'll get I- another daver. We'll get it. D- getting daved is getting figuratively butt-fucked in the last part of the game. The last three outs, figuratively, I said. Figuratively. Yes. It's like being a fart trapped in a jar. Yeah, yeah. We can make all sorts of jokes. But I'll tell you what, it gets me so far. I can't tell you how many times you've been on stream. I'm not just exaggerating. Literally, probably five or six times. When we're down down to the last, even within three. Oh, was that a fucking, almost a home run? Okay. Um, 
down literally down to the last one or two outs and we lose our bets. This was three out. This was all this was a no out a no out rally, so that's okay. All right, Aaron Hicks. What's her live number on? What the fuck are you? You can, oh, okay. I think I'm gonna move on. I think I'm gonna move on something here in a second. All right, three out. Three outs, and we got it. I think I'm gonna move on the Oilers live here at minus one twenty five. Okay. Down one nothing against Arizona. Where's Billy with these two fighters out? I see guys walking out. Uh, DraftKings just he's got a uh, what's his name one thirty five or whatever. Hmm? <laughs> oh, hey, Maggie's there. Yeah, she's here. I heard. I heard Maggie. What's up, Maggie? Hi, Dave. How are you? I'm she here. gave me a side eye because I said I was going to live bet something. Oh, wh why? Oh, oh, no. She doesn't she, like it when I live bet stuff. Is she the accountant now? No. I fucking suck. I do not. <laughs> I'm better at it. Uh, that is true. He doesn't have a very good live betting record, but doesn't mean that it can't. this can't be the change. Everyone can change, Maggie. I don't have lighters here. You have lighters here. <laughs> you can't lie back because you fucking suck. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another part. Of Voodoo, this is part. the other part of getting Dave. This is da getting Dave light is when you have the over and you're one run away. And then in the top of the six, they get... They they you know they get a run or a home run or whatever that's that's another oh, fucking thing. That, that, that's usually if I push or lose a first five money line they score in the sixth yeah that's it's, the other part yeah yeah that's, uh, all right angels if you can do anything for me in your life please let me let me win the bet I didn't think I was gonna win and I'll lose the bet that was almost in the bag fuck this up please fuck it up angels please fuck it Dear, up like blonde hair blue eyed baby Jesus yeah. Newborn, eight pound, eight twelve pound, ounce, newborn, newborn, whatever it was. Yeah. Put it in the books. The New York Mets beat the Kansas City Royals six to one. Wow. Mets wow. minus one is a winner. Mets minus one's a winner. Nick, you boys need any up. other. I don't know if you need any other reason for reason to take this Golden State Warriors team, but. There was another trend that's been hit at 80% the last three seasons. Not a very big sample because it doesn't happen very often. But the other team, it was two teams in that trend today. The first was the 76ers. They are smashing the Orlando Magic right now. Smashing them. 10 points up. Beating them up. Minute 36 to go. Other team in the trend, Golden State Warriors. Let's go. I'm thinking about it. I'm just so... Oh, good. One out. Okay, two outs. I'm just, I'm just, I'm enthralled with these games because I can't, I fucking, can't believe after, yeah, after, I can't believe after scoring three runs in the first inning, tell, it's going to be an under. Me, you tell me the Angels are going to score seven runs. I'm going to ask you how much does this game go over by, and this game's going to go under by two runs because the Red Sox are fucking useless. Stupid. And then Martin Perez decides to be a shithead. And you have a fucking three outs to go, and you cash your bet and said he just fucking gives up three runs. I have the twins, so that I do work. not like. Well, uh, yeah, I do. I do. You know the 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 City Connect jerseys I do not like are the Boston Red Sox. It makes no sense to me. Yeah, they're weird. They're kind of weird. You remember those? Remember yeah. regular Nintendo? Remember Maybe all the yeah. baseball games for regular Nintendo, like RBI Baseball? It looks like a color, a team team's colors from the fucking NES. Base like fucking yellow and blue. I like the White Sox ones. I think those are badass. Yeah, I well, yeah, yeah. That was the one I mentioned earlier. Those are the best ones. Then in Miami, Miami looks really cool too. They have like the red type of jersey. I think they're all stupid. I'd rather just have the old jerseys. The, the Mets, the Mets ones are getting announced in like a week. They're gonna have big purple dildos in the back. Or no, I think it's two weeks. Two weeks. No, no, no. I think they're going to incorporate uh, the um, the L I R R um, type of logo, or not logo. You know, but you know like what they're going to be, Nick? They're going to be just big sad faces on the front. You know, there's happy face. It's going to be a big fucking sad face. Oh right yeah. On the front. 
Factory of Sadness, aka City Field. Is that what they call it? No. The Factory of Sadness, I believe, is the uh the Browns stadium. That's what they call my bedroom. Mm. Or the bathroom. One of the two. Yeah. <laughs> uh what out? Come on. Oh well. If I get this, I'm going to put a stupid, irresponsible bet on something. I don't know what it's going to be. Golden good, State. Good yes, no Golden State. Well, must, must be should be Golden State then, right? How much time? Well, do we have? Uh, what should we call it for Golden State? Draymond Green's listed as in. Clay Thompson is also available. Kaminga yeah. is out. Um, but yeah, looking good. Mal, how far are they away from It's basically like a massive bagel bite. She probably shouldn't be eating on the street. How far are they off of LA? They're three oh. points behind LA. I mean, they win tonight. They're one point with, with the same amount. Of, okay, so maybe they can catch LA and, and get the three seed play Edmonton in the first round rather than oh. Dallas. Um, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're looking up uh, this Golden State thing. Put everybody on that loser with me, you know? Well, I mean, I, I yeah, yeah. I kind of want to throw more money on the Dodgers team total, but I, I'm gonna get hooked on this freaking Braves total. It's good, it's seven one heading into the ninth. This game's gonna stay under. So stupid. Freaking useless Marlins. All right, we cashed that fucking one. Good. All right. Let's go. I need it, Nick. I'll take it. Yeah, that would that would have been the last leg of a uh, a plus ten ninety six same gamer, which would have been really nice. But I'm gonna get hooked. No, you're not. You got plenty of time. Stop with that reverse stuff. We'll mute you. Go- <laughs> Golden State minus four and a half. It's moving now. Yeah. What is the? I don't hate it. I, I. By the way, I've been feeding the Pelicans recently, so I, I don't mind that at all. Um, Best you like just stay on the cave. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna shit because yeah. yeah. I, want to, I want to take the Golden State Warriors money line. <laughs> wow. All in the ten unit. The ten unit mega whale max play whale. tonight. The blue hole car. whale play of the day. I, I, I'm just messing around. I have no, I, I didn't even look at the NBA. I'm not going to look at the NBA until uh, until playoffs. They do not give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. Yes, nobody gives a fuck. All right. So, so I know it's a long ways to go still with six and a half minutes to go. But I did – prefaced this Pacers Cavs game and said earlier this morning overtime at plus 1500 is worth a sprinkle. It's on tape. You can go back and watch it right now. 107, 105, six and a half minutes to go. I'll take it. If they want to go there, I'll take it, but. Um, uh, I'm stay off that. When you want to look at ice cream Come on. Rocky's a 10 to 2. Oh, holy shit. How bad are the Blue Jays this year? 10 to 2? Sheesh. How bad is Kevin Gosman this year? Go- uh, Gosman, his problem is his velocity is down. Marcelo Zuna home run, 8 1 Braves. Yep. There we go. Um, you're fucking you horseshit over. reverse jinx. Cast the quadruple <laughs> off on that game. See, there you go. Oh, that was helpful. NC now State I, rocks yeah, Clemson. Wow. What is that? I'm talking about baseball. 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 What, that, that actually helps ECU because they beat NC State, and uh, Clemson's a top five team in the nation. That helps the RPI for ECU. When teams they beat beat good teams, that's Ruby. really nice. 
Well. So now I just need three outs in the bottom of the ninth, and I went, uh, I went all four there. So then you'll get you'll hit that what you call it that parlay. Yeah, the uh, the boosted one ten plus ten ninety six. Wow. It wow. Plus eight forty three boosted to ten plus ten ninety six. Your fee Braves first five run line money Braves money line Braves team total over full game over Acuna hit Albies hit Riley hit Ozina hit. Hell yeah, Keith. I thought my mic was muted. I'm sorry. Why did that go down? The Dodger went down 15 cents. Let's take a look. Not that it matters. Daily baseball lineups. Let's see. Someone not in the lineup. Did they take Otani out? Throw him in jail? No. I got to say, the. Um... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, that the uh, the interpreter for Shohei Otani better be getting a really nice uh, payment for being the fall guy because that is a load oh. of fucking bullshit. That was Otani doing that, and he is the ultimate fall yes. guy because they need, because baseball does not want to ban their golden child Otani. Like he gets so much, so much viewership. He gets so much attention, so much ticket sales, so many jersey sales. How fuck do you think? Especially the going would... to the Dodgers. Yeah, for the Dodgers, they're not going to ban Otani. They're going to find any which way, shape, or form to dodge this away from Otani to keep him in the league because he's too much of a money grab for the MLB. So they're not going to ban Otani for this. So uh, the interpreter better be getting a really nice payment for being the fall guy here i have two words for you shut up what are you talking about it, it was 100 percent the guy and i was wrong oh you really think he's making twelve thousand dollar bets on average come on well here's my well, wh think, why would Otani... we... go ahead, go ahead, let me go. tell you what happened there boys from a, a potential degenerate bill belichick gets gets fired on the on the tarmac no, he Week made six. that. He made that. His you saw his lowest bet was ten bucks. He made yeah. that ten dollar parlay with like twelve home run props, and he missed it. Then he went in and he did a twenty to try to double it. Then he did a fifty. Then he did a hundred. Then he figured, "Fuck it, I've already gotten away with this. Nobody will miss a grand. Let me toss a grand." And then he started chasing at that point. Then it was two grand. And he's like, "Fuck, I can. I'll do five grand." And he just kept chasing it to the point that it got now. Now people noticed because there's too much action going on there, and all of a sudden, ninety-eight thousand dollars because he needs to get back to right, and boom, now he's down two hundred thousand. And he just kept betting a hundred because he's like, "Fuck, I did a hundred. I did better not do more than ninety-eight because people might notice. Not that nobody's going to notice ninety-eight thousand, but ninety-eight thousand, ninety-eight thousand, ninety. And he just lost, 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 and then all of a sudden, it's so big that it's what forty million dollars. I'm with you. I like. I actually kind of agree with that. But That's, there's no way that, that Otani, Otani did it. I don't think there could be any way. Well, that's like Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky didn't bet during the Rick Tockett scandal. It was his wife. Come on. Yeah. Stop. Well, he didn't do. Well, that's the point. He that's didn't. If he didn't put the bets in. Well, Wayne Gretzky had no idea that his wife was betting on hockey behind his back. For yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars through Rick Tockett, what? which was Wayne Gretzky's boy. Stop. Stop. Women can do things, Mike. Women can yeah, do things, well, okay? That doesn't even sound right. <laughs> uh, boy. That's the best response to that I've ever heard. Yeah. I swear. If you put okay. That's not right to me. Um, what do we like in this next fight? Anything? Them to throw punches. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Over half I a punch. Minus thousand. Next thing you know, they get a takedown right away and choke them out. No punches are thrown. I kind of don't mind Clay Collar by decision at plus one time. <laughs> I hate the odds in this fight. This guy's right. name is Patrick E. Pitbull. Uh, Pitbull's little brother sounds like a fucking SpongeBob car uh, character. 
You don't know uh, Patricio? I do, I do. But yeah, his, his name is spelled Patrick with a Y on the end, Patricky. It's Patricky. Is that how they described him? He's very just Patrick E. Yeah, the, people are. This is why this is the end of the world. People are trying to get cute, and they're just stupid. His parents are dumb. Um, the fight go the distance. Yes. I should. They call her by decision. Is what you like? Yeah, but Gerardo's on one right now. He's got collared inside distance here. He had uh, no distance in the last fight. Oh, yeah, I got cute. Who won the last fight, Billy? Um, the fucking Dufford. Dufford came Duffer. in there and was fucking throwing flying knees in that bitch. That shit was crazy. That last fight was wild. That was probably one of the best fights of the whole entire card. Next one's Clay Collier versus Patrice Pitbull. The one I really want to see is Rob Wilkinson versus Tom Breeze. Uh, when you got a name like Pitbull, like fuck. That tricky Pitbull. That's what I'm saying. And he's a dog too. He's the underdog. It's like. The D-Gen sucker spot, right? The Pitbull by decision is plus 390. I actually don't mind that at all. You don't like Pitbull by decision? You no, like I say I, I, I don't mind that at all. But you, like, you're, you said Clay the, Collier. I think to, Clay Collier right? probably wins the fight by decision, but it's plus 110 versus um, – if the fight goes the distance, is minus 192 – and the dog's plus 390, and the favorite's plus 110. I mean, how wrong could you be? <laughs> like, <laughs> plus 390? I mean, if Pitbull wins, it's probably. Ah, you know what I like? Decision, no bet. Clay Collard, minus 118. At that point, you might as well bet Clay Collard inside the distance. No, decision, no bet. M me yeah, you oh. Get your money back. oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't if, if there's a decision? Oh, uh, 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 oh. So yeah. you, so you're basically betting a no distance. Yeah. Why is that different? That's stupid. Clay Collard inside the distance though is plus three fifty. That's why I said like at that point I'm out. The, the bet three. inside the, the the whole the whole entire thing inside the dist is for plus. you to win the bet. You would need Clay Collard to win inside the distance. That's stupid because why not just bet the um will the fight go the distance is is no is plus one forty six. What your fight goes the distance? If it doesn't go the distance, it's plus one forty six. Why would you take a fighter at minus one eighteen? You're taking the you're taking the big favorite, right? That's you're saying you're taking the big favorite. Yeah, but I can take the whole fight to finish inside the distance. Oh, but you want to know why the 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 the, the yeah, no bet cancels it out? Yeah, yeah, you get your money back. So it's kind of like tie no bet in soccer. Should we go inside the distance? Are these lightweights or have, uh, light heavyweights? Lightweights one fifty one fifty five. Uh, to be honest with you, I kind of see these boys going for a little bit here. All right, I'm done. I'm in. I'm I'm in. I'm not going the distance. I'm with Gerardo. How many times have we seen Gerardo? Gerardo, I'm about to mush your bet, motherfucker. How many times have we seen Gerardo give a bet in here and it wins? Just about yeah. 90, he's up like a 90% fucking rate. He's been hot. Yeah. Will the fight go the distance? No, plus 146. I don't care who wins. Let's go. Actually, I do for Gerardo. Let's get this. this. Jack Lando, 21 PRA, anyone? This is the no NBA betting stream. Except for Mike, Mike and Golden State, it's the only thing we're thinking about in the NBA because the NBA is more screwy than ever right now. Oh, there's a private chat. What do we got? Someone is coming out of the closet. Oh, no, it's just Nick. All right. All right. I Who think thinks? I do that parlay that, uh, my bad. What parlay? No, go ahead. About uh, Clay Collard and Impa. 
minus one and four. Just took my first first freaking. And by the way, I double pre- double pumped the Dodgers team total over too. So, Martin Perez, you're starting to get on my shit list. Angels finally did something right in their life since 2002. What else we got coming up? Anything? What else we got? Take a look. Just NBA crap. Three NBA games coming up. See, how do we even bet those live? I mean, so check it out. You got the Warriors and Pelicans. You got the Warriors and Pelicans. St. Louis comes out with a bomb, 3-0 right off the hop. Arenado, big home run. Oh, really? I'm on them. I'm on them, boys. <laughs> hey, guess what? Mike, I can win the first five, and you can win the full game. Yeah, that's why I Nick, said Nick wins nothing. There can only be two out of winners out of three. There can't be. We can't have a three-way this time, okay? Only two. Dave, you want a better number? Take Edmonton. Uh, that was too late. That was I don't know about that Edmonton spot. They'll probably come back and do it, but it doesn't exude confidence for me. So the Warriors are minus four. And, oh, there's four games. Okay. The Rockets are five and a half point favorites against the Trailblazers, but during the season full strength, they would probably be like eight point or nine point favorites against the Trailblazers. Um, the Clippers are 15 and are you kidding me? 15 and a half point favorites against the Jazz. Granted, the Jazz are horrible and they'll cover that probably with no one. And then how do you bet the Kings after the Kings have been shit in the bed every time I bet them? They're, they're four and a half point dogs at home against the Suns. The Suns are another team, boys. Don't sleep on the Suns. And I'm not a Suns fan. Don't sleep on them. They still got a shit ton of talent. You forget who's on that team? No one's talking about them. KD's still one of the best players in the NBA. He's probably t- he's top ten, right? Has to be top ten. Uh, yeah, Chris Paul's a veteran, and Booker Booker's another yeah, fringe Chris Paul's top ten player. Yeah. Bradley Beal. This, this team's got three three big key components. You got you got a fucking you got a fucking young guard. You got a big you got a big do everything guy, and you got a leader. Uh oh. I think the Suns can make a push to get things right. Problem is the the Nuggets are their nemesis. So. I think I think the Timberwolves are going to be a big factor this playoffs run as well. I just yeah, can't, I can't get behind the Timberwolves. I don't know. I hate I hate Carl Anthony Towns. Like I think he's the most like he's the worst basketball player to watch play. But Anthony Edwards is something else. Mike, we have breaking news. By the way. Arenado hit a three-run home run. That was five minutes ago, goddammit. Out of town. Mike even said it. Yes, you will get chastised on this channel. God knows I am by all of you in the chat. So, you know, take you've got to fucking give give and take. That's the way it goes. I have to deal with Mr. Numbers and Trisha. Who? Nah, never mind. You weren't on the Mr. stream. Who's Mr. Numbers? Um, 4463 Johnny number five. Oh, he only says nice things about me. I didn't, I didn't no, well, he's he's he's, he's turned nice. No, he, he liked you from the beginning, but he's turned nice, he's fine. But I've had an I've had too much of a shit for year for like a year. So he compliments my breakdowns. Fuck Nick and is over with this game. Eight one final on that Braves. You couldn't give me the eight. <laughs> he got you. Oh, and he got you with the reverse jinx. That's the worst part. Fucking well, oh, I mean, listen, in all fairness. In all fairness, I didn't just do an 18 leg to win 10, 10 to one. I did two legs to win two and a half to one. So, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Hendo, Hendo's on here. They're interviewing Hendo, one of my favorite fighters. Love him too. One of my favorite UFC events. I was in Vegas and I was watching the event, but I wasn't at the fight. I was at Palace Station. They had these big 200 inch screen TVs and you paid 30 bucks and they had beer deals and all this. And you sat with all these fucking, those guys in Simi Valley you were talking about, those guys with their girlfriends, all the UFC guys. 
So we were sitting there. That was guess what fight it was. It was awesome. It was a great card. It was Hendo versus Bisbing, and when he knocked out Bisbing, it would everyone erupted because they fucking hated yeah. that limey. That limey. The the other fight was um was GSP and um Silva. Uh, what well, it wasn't Silva. Um, Matt Hughes. No, 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 no. It was another Brazilian guy. The the fight was Frank Muir. Um, uh, oh, uh, uh, Lesnar too. Tiago Silva it was Tiago Silva. And he and he lost. I I I I remember laying. This is the biggest juice I've ever laid, um, in UFC. It's minus three fifty. It was Brock Lesnar to beat um, Frank Mir. Uh, Frank Mir. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that fight like yesterday. That fight. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna drink a Coors Light, not Bud Light, because and lay on my wife. Remember I remember that? Joe Rogan saying like he's hitting him with lunchbox fists. He's like, look at those oh. things. <laughs> Dude, and then we went, then we went back and took mushrooms. Oh man, that was great. But anyways, um, I don't know if this is any uh, bad segue because I don't know if this guy does mushrooms. He's a family man, but he is from Minnesota. We were talking about the Timberwolves and the Wild, but I don't know why you'd ever be a Wild. The fan lakes of Minnetonka. Yeah, the, 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 he lives on Minnetonka on a houseboat. Here he is, Joe T. How are what you? What up? What up, boys? How are you doing? What up, Joe what, T? Uh, How you doing? I'm doing good. Just getting ready for Florida. Oh yeah, so, that's right. Yay, or not? So I finally got got the suitcase packed, so thought I'd come on, hop on for a little bit, say hello, and love it. Finish watching the Brewers just smoke the shit out of the fucking Orioles. That's right. Easy money. Fuck the Orioles. <laughs> <laughs> Can't triple stamp oh. a double stamp, oldie. That's what it is. Ma, it. C- you got nothing else. You got nothing else. No more bets. No, Mike. I didn't want. I didn't want to have too late because I don't. Mike, want to what bet should you take? Sweat bets. Vegas Mike, what bet should you take? Vegas. Cool. I thought it was Golden State. Oh, okay. I already shared that one enough. I don't want to jinx okay. it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you listen to the last call, you'll know what plays I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Later Friday, Eastern. Eastern. I yeah, heard. Yeah. There's one guy's the first commenter and play share every single show. Just one. Just one guy. Is it Joe T? Mm-hmm. Nice. Fucking A right. Every show, Joe T's the first one in there to drop his plays. I appreciate that. Starts the card off nicely. Hell yeah. And He's catching a shit ton of them. 11 to 1. Yeah, I didn't have any first period overs today. I didn't like him. I thought about that. Um, what did that Nashville, Chicago did that? I wonder if that hit. That I was the only spot right I was bat. thinking about it. They scored right off the bat, but I don't remember what it was. We can pull it up here. Let's see. That's the only one I I was really. The wild is there. There's yeah, I, it was. Let, it was oh yeah, two. fuck. Yeah. That was the one, too. God damn it. That's right. I split on it last night. Are you headed out tomorrow for Florida? Yeah, we leave. We got to leave our house at 4. We're like 345 in the morning. Oh, my God. Yep. Flight takes off at 630. Does your wife let you drink at the... the... (laughs) airport uh she probably will because i'll have to drive the rental car when we get to the orlando oh, airport because yeah. then we have like a 50 a 50 minute drive from orlando where what what city are you staying in uh coco coco beach no well that's what i thought but it's actually coco oh. so it's not the not coco beach but there's another city i guess coco okay well, good Vegas luck. Minus one. No. Predators up four nothing. What do you know? Blues tied with the Hurricanes. Coyotes up. Wouldn't you know the Coyotes win this game? They probably do. That's the whole thing. You th- you think you want to go bet the Oilers because that'd be the that'd be the way to go? But I don't know. Is this fight going to get underway? God damn! What are they doing? I know the pacing of the PFL is terrible, bro. What's going on? They need to add deals, but 
I gotta get as many as I can. Fuck all. PFL pacing is terrible. Oh my god. Forgot how bad it is. Come on, Clay, yeah. smash him. There was a dislocated th- thumb in one of the other fights, and the, the fighter like waved off to the ref and lost by TKO. For waving? Well, his thumb was dislocated, and he was like waving at the referee, and they stopped the fight because he did that and made a look. You lose by TKO. It doesn't matter if you've. They're not going to stop the fight if you've dislocated something. Like that's just how it is. That's so hardcore. Like. I, I well actually I th- I think the I think the craziest thing of injury that someone's played with I mean there's people that have played with broken hands and broken legs but I still think Kobe playing with a torn Achilles is how do you stand up with a torn Achilles I mean that is just amazing If anyone has anything bad to say about Kobe you tear your fucking Achilles and try to do anything <laughs> I don't. I think everyone. You know what's funny is it's kind of it's even more than LeBron. Like even Celtics fans that I know, um, they hate Magic. They hate Magic. They'll, they'll hate. They'll hate Check. None. Of, a lot of them appreciate Kobe. Like they have respect for him. Um, I don't know. I don't know many people that don't like Kobe. One of my friends does, but he's a fucking idiot. It's a type of guy that's a Yankees fan and a Red Sox fan. That tells you how smart this guy is. Makes no <laughs> sense. And he pierced his nose. What 30-something-year-old guy pierces your nose? Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I, don't, I guess I don't care about it, but who, who do you think you are? Fucking Ezekiel Elliott? I was just going <laughs> to say, yep. <laughs> yeah. he, his his looks like he's from the fucking, from down where Dan is. He looks like he needs a, like a, has a bone through his nose and he needs to f- a fucking, like, you know. <laughs> he's got that big-ass bull thing in his. I just want to rip it out. You know, these guys can get away with painting their nails. That's fine. I don't care. Paint your nails. What are you piercing your nose for? See, this is why you don't bet the Timberwolves when they're playing a shit-ass team. Billy, you don't have your nose pierced, do you? Fuck no. Okay. I hope nobody bet the Wolves, did they? I, I said that because it's more of your tight, your your age thing. It's not like... Nah, I have my ears pierced, and that's about it. I'm fine with that. I, I, I have that. I don't want to get into that. I, I get prejudiced any... with that, but I think I don't think white guys should get their ears, both ears pierced. Personal opinion. Yeah, my ears pierced when I was in like fucking seventh grade. And... Oh, I'm all good with that. Piercing your nose is weird. That's for chicks. I even think it's weird when chicks do it. I I had a, a friend of mine that went on a Bucks party and as a punishment for something he did on a Bucks party, he had to get his belly button pierced and he had to have it for at least six months. Well, I'm I, if it's for a bet, it's different. Like um, belly button, bro. What's the Mexican soccer play? Well, we we couldn't we couldn't do it because um, the there are some legal legal complications and some anyway. Here we go. Gerardo has one. Liga. Oh, this is it. Cruz Azul and Puebla. Both teams are scoring over two and a half. See, there it is. There's that patented bet. Both teams are scoring the over. Kind of one and the other, right? Tupac. Okay. Tupac did have his nose pierced, didn't he? That's t- Tupac can do whatever the fuck he wants. Don't. That's, that's like a Kanye. Kanye can do whatever the fuck. He yeah, wants. yeah. I don't care. That's different. Uh, Billy got. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> do you? <laughs> no, that's. I think that's fucking horrible. They went up, yeah. play hold him as a profession. Fuck a job. Um, funny story. I dropped out of college for a year and did that. See how that well, went. Is that Ryan Seacrest doing the PFL? Like, like, no, it's Andy Shepard. I look like Ryan Seacrest. He does look like him a lot. Dude, if I could play like, poker every single day of my life, that would that would be the best thing ever. Well, you're you're yeah. That'd be this almost was, better than was 41. Training, honestly. I'd... It's different. It's a lot different now. It takes a lot of time. <laughs> to tell you the truth, there is one form of something I would do full-time, but it takes uh, – I know it doesn't matter. Suck dick? No, 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 no. Um, no. no. Was that close? No, no. No, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, you were way off. <laughs> you were way off. 
No, there'd be no suck. You left it out there. It was a flyer. I figured I'd take a shot. How did what go? How did it go? It went fine. I just, I got, I couldn't not finish school because of what, I, there was all, I had to go back. It was fine. I was making money. I was living on, I mean, I basically ran away from home and was living in uh, West LA. I mean. Who's saying the Spurs are tied? The Spurs are not tied, are they? Am I that far behind? It's possible. Well, down five, I think. Spurs is my. It was also 2005. 2005 was a way different time in poker than now. Way, way different. I like Clay Collard. Good. I don't have anything in this fight, but I think Clay Collard could bust him up. Pitbull. Yeah, I like Clay Collard too in this one. Even Even though though I I love Pitbull. I love Pitbull. Pitbull's dope, but. I shouldn't say love Pitbull, but he is a dope uh, fighter. But I think Clay Collier probably doesn't have a fucking shitty matchup. You just done yeah, you got, a you got Billy times. saying, um, "I love Pitbull." You should clip that, and then you can um, play that play like Pitbull songs every time Billy comes on. Well, Pitbull's I do like Pitbull songs. I couldn't even tell you one. Is he has one with um, Jennifer? Tell you what, Billy? Taylor, right? I've been in the process of updating the last call of trends and records. Oh. And Billy likes winning. I can tell you that. I'm not fully through it yet, but I can oh, tell you. Tuesdays. Billy likes I like Tuesdays. Tuesdays. My favorite uh, weekday for betting. You you were before I even started all the updates. You were up like seven and a half units through the first like two months. And uh, I know, I know looking at him as I was putting him in there, like there's a couple, I got to go back and like, you were sending me the play sheets for a while. That was good stuff. Easy to go back and pull them off. I got, there's like two shows. I got to go back and listen to grab your, your officials. But like the ones that I was typing well, in on the play sheets, me. I was like, Oh man, give me the week. Cause I, I, I track all my bets. So give me the week and I'll probably have the uh, card. There were a couple that you get. I will. I'll, you know what? I'll hit you up offline. There was a couple you gave me, like the college, and you were like, I'm still working on the NBA. And I know we went uh, through and did yeah. it, right? I started updating my sheets too, but there's like a two week gap or three. Like I had this going for a while. Oh, he knocked him down. Oh, he's fucked. I Dude, just, he's, he's... I'm not good with the paper, but nonetheless, you're fired. Pitbull's you're fucking fine. him up. Pitbull is fucking him up. Oh, my yeah. God. I, why didn't he pounce on him? That's why, because he's going to take him down. I didn't think so. P- Pitbull, is he a sub guy? Uh, well, he's, Bra- he's Brazilian, so we assume he is. Yeah, I mean, he definitely has a black belt. Is 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 is, is assuming that a Brazilian MMA fighter has a black belt and jiu-jitsu the same thing as, as assuming that every Asian knows Kung Fu? Yeah. No, it's more of like <laughs> I think, I think it is. black belts, though, I would say. <laughs> There's got to be, there's like levels to it. Like, uh, I was definitely, when I was younger, I was definitely scared to get in a fight with Asian, Asian kids. It's like, it's like us, we, as Australians, we think every New Zealander fucks a sheep, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I still don't understand why New Zealand has a population, total population in the country of 5 million, yet they've got hundreds of Congress people. Makes no sense. For what? Every five people have a Congress person? Yeah, every, yeah. Just, yeah, every family gets a voice. Their parliament, their parliament is huge. It has hundreds of. They're too nice. They're too nice. Well, I can tell you this right now. So the city, the city of LA has the LA, um, greater LA area has more than, more than almost double that. It has like nine million or something, and um, they have uh, I don't know ten, maybe ten, fifteen Congress people, and that's like the most populated area in the country. Fucking no, they got they have it pretty good over in New Zealand. Very nice. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? They got like it's just it's just a very well like run country, bro. They've got like really good healthcare, they got good hospitals. What? Fucking they get earthquakes and they fucking fix all their shit. Like well, not know, according to the, not according the to the, the natives. Well, they that's just British colonization. That's all that is. It's like the same thing happened here in Australia. Oh my God! Just like how Catholic Church just wipes them out. This is how now he's goes. coming back. 
Clay Collard's teeing the fuck off. There's one thing I'll say about Clay Collard. His boxing is so crisp, man. I think he lost a round, though. Uh, I don't know, man. The volume. He got knocked down. We got knocked down with a with the knocked fucking... down. The volume is way in Clay Collard's favor, bro. They both got, got chins, eh? Fuck. He's got like sixty strikes. Pitbull only has got twenty. Granted, Pitbull That's did get the knockdown. So, like, how do you? It's like volume versus one knockdown. Like, like look at Pitbull's face, bro. That shit's fucked up, man. Yeah, that happened. Right? Yeah. You when I get to bet in a legal state tomorrow, how about that? Yeah. Oh, Edmonton oh, yeah. ties it. Mel, Edmonton ties it, Mel. Your head out of their fucking ass. You never bet the FanDuel odds boost on the pay-per-view event. That's what I mean. No. I've only done it twice. Sean O'Malley by knockout, which was absolutely absurd. They got fucking slammed for. Like, uh, I know a lot of people that hit that one. And uh, Bo Nickel round one sub on his UFC debut, like, years ago like a year ago or something like that but bo nickel justin gaethje alex Pereira, one of those three are gonna lose and if i had to say so probably justin gaethje i don't know one bet tomorrow yang jing nan knockout that's it or the over I don't know what I'm opposite bets. <laughs> Actually, I'd like rather make it Yang Xi Lang by decision. Over there. Oh, there you go. Oh my neck. Hey uh Billy, Mike. with uh with this Clippers are pretty much locked up the playoff spot. Do you think that they'll just play Paul George in the first half and then rest him? I have no idea. I have not bet the NBA today. Uh, the only I was just day looking at his under for points. That's all. Sunday is Sunday. Sunday is a decent. Go, man. Games because what they've been doing. Teams have been doing this the last couple of days. When it comes to second half, they just swap their whole unit out. I play the I, couldn't, unit. I couldn't even tell you what the Clippers are doing. Uh, they look like they have everybody in though, because um, they're both they're both late ins. It's yeah, almost they're, like they're just playing to just sort of get on the court, and that's it. They're, I, I still think they can get higher in seeding. I remember a game where Giannis literally just started the game, and then he sat on the bench last year. Like, he came on. Is he going to stop this? What Are you going to fucking fight or what? Keith Peterson's about to stop this. Yeah, but stop it. Swinging back. Pitbull swinging back. No, not now. I'm a little ahead Clay of you. Collard, oh, no. Stop. Him, bro. Stop. We won. We hit the bet. Clay Stop inside it. the distance. See? Gerardo, he's fucking 99 for 100. The, the, fuck? dude's, a, the dude's a beast, man. Clay Gerardo. Gerardo's a beast. All right. You can't imagine what the round two knockout prop was. Yeah, really. I like the, the live breakdown in your mind as you were betting it, Dave, too. That's what, that's what made me uh, jump on. Yeah, I don't. Uh, too. I don't. I haven't done this for very long. I don't know what I'm doing. So. Here we go. Three, two. Caroline is up. One more uh -oh. goal. We need this. Why? Oh, you're on the over five and a half. That's now right. is a great. This is exactly what I said was going to happen. Now what we see is with like eight minutes to go, St. Louis will pull the goalie, and that will open up the goal scoring. So let's see if that it comes to fruition. You can't fuck with somebody that's it's... played hockey their entire life. Let's go. It was standing KO, kind of like standing. <laughs> he was just piecing him the fuck up. Oh, my God. You weren't skating was... on the lakes of Minnetonka, Joe T, but we were skating on lakes out here, buddy. Oh, uh, hey, now we have the I don't go to Lake Minnetonka. Oh That's for all God. the rich, stuck-up bastards. We need Tom Breeze. And I didn't play hockey, Mike. Oh, what'd you do? Fucking... We played football and baseball. <laughs> no, we didn't have it in our high. We didn't have it at our high school. It was actually went to Western Wisconsin, like a small town of like two thousand people. So we didn't have hockey. Like a, the next town had hockey, but 
So I've never really, I didn't really get into it till way after high school. And I'm really not too into it too much, but, but yeah, we didn't, I didn't grow up with hockey. So that's why I wasn't a big hockey guy. Do I go? Do, do I go? Want to know? Are you sitting in the barber's It looks like you got the smock on. You getting a haircut before you go on vacation? I did. Yeah, me and <laughs> me and Braylon, we got the haircuts. We got. See? Yeah, I don't I mean, disagree. Now you know, we're like... talking about. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying, I, you know, some guys were saying Carolina minus one and a half in the uh, chat. I said I didn't. I didn't think that was a terrible play. I just I liked the over because I thought. Uh, you know, we got a spot here where that goalie does come out if they go down. And uh, if they were up, it'd be a different story. But, yeah, I think it's a good look. I think it's a great look here. Minus one yeah. and a half is even money right now for Carolina. You got to expect that goalie's going to come out in the next two to three minutes, I would say, that they pull that goalie out. And we're going to see an empty net. I said eight minutes on my show. You know, we got a minute and a half to get there. We'll see. Yeah, because I the thing that I've noticed with Carolina, they like to get up, and then they just like to cruise. Park Sometimes the their overs are hard to get. Yeah, we, yeah, <laughs> that's what I've noticed. But I saw the uh, Red X Brigade was talking about the ACG spot, like, oh, the public's hammer in the ACG spot. You gotta, uh, and he was laughing, and I was thinking to myself. You're a fucking Red X, dude. If you guys don't know the Red X, you're not listening to the Saturday show. But Billy, there is a Red X dude out there. I've talked about him before. I'll tell I'll tell about you offline. What do you mean by that? Like big guy master? I mean, like when he recaps his UFC plays, it's Red X is all over the place. I thought at one point he wasn't using the Red X right. right. Then I looked at it and I saw, no, actually, he is. The Red X means loss, not win. <laughs> I mean, that happens to a lot of people. It's the UFC. You can bet a lot uh, of plus I'll tell you one guy that happens to more than anybody. I think they might <laughs> know each you. other. Um, he, he might. And that's no, I one hundred I one hundred percent know they know each other. They might have worked well, together. Let me, let me send it. Let me send it to you, that, Billy. That's that's what I that's the first one I thought of. I, I like the guy. Bag of scores. Know. Bag us off the hop. There you go. Ramon says overs heading for a monster night in the NBA. Tom Breeze plus 120. Yeah, I like Tom Breeze here. I need him to win by submission. They cash a parlay. Do I want to fuck around? Do I want to fuck around with this fight or do I just want to go 1 and 0 tonight? <laughs> Who do you think <laughs> I am? Vegas short hand generate like all of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, if if this, you know. Oh, I saw Red X. It wasn't the right Red X. Let me, let me, I'm, I'm screwing. Billy, I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to find it. I'll send it to you. Yeah. When uh, when I do my thing on Saturdays there, we all, we all talk about the fights. We all look at our side. And then there's one spot we filter it through before we go final. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Just want to make sure we're not on the same side, <laughs> <laughs> Dave. You've been there, you know. I know exactly. I I don't want to talk about this. It's fine. Can, we could talk I about it. If you want. No, there's nothing to talk about. I sent it to Billy. Spurs up! Let's go, baby. Let's get this Spurs money. This could be the second night in a row that this fucking spot hits. Money line, not just fucking around. Last night the Utah Jazz were plus eleven. They cashed. Tonight, we had them boys up in there, the Spurs. I wish I was playing these money lines. I should have played the money line. Spurs won. Who did they over. beat? God damn, that'll be two nights in a row. The third time seeing a team. You lose by double digits the first time. 
you lose barely the second time. The third time you play them, the total's higher than the previous time. You whack them and they win outright. There we go. The Spurs, 121-120. Two nights in a row, big double-digit dogs come through with the W. Hell yeah. Two wins between Tom Breeze and Tom Slick. I hope Tom Breeze can get this W here. This is the first time I've ever faded Rob Wilkinson in my life, to be honest with you. But uh, I like Tom Breeze here in this spot. I think he can submit him. Tom Breeze was in the UFC, and when his head's knocked on, when his head's on straight, and he's not having like problems, mental problems. Let's go, baby! This is fucking. This night's working its way out. Let's get this cash, fuckers. Four one. <laughs> Oilers plus one hundred eight. That that that. Billy, now you know. You already. What know, about now? You know. Did you? Uh, I, I'm just. I'm just wait. I'm gonna wait a little bit. This fucking pacing is terrible. Oh my god! This is the only reason why I don't like the PFL or really like the UFC or some shit like that. The pacing sucks. So you're telling me to take a puck line at even money with eight minutes left? Yeah, because of the situation. No, what she's saying. Yeah, an sense. open open net or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Is they're gonna pull the goalie here any minute yeah. now? Well, I understand. I just, uh, I don't know. If it hits, congrats. Really, Carolina minus one and a half. Carolina minus one and a half. Good old Carolina. San Antonio was plus 12 on the show today. God damn. That was like yesterday. The Utah Jazz were plus 11. I'm going to tell you what, boys. The next time that trend rolls out there, I'm going to put it on X. You follow me on yeah, X. I'll let you boys know. Uh, perfect. I like that, Mel. Third third, uh, third period. Hopefully you get a little open netter and uh, cash them. Cash them minus one and a half. Cash that over five and a half. Let's go. There's going to be so much money to make in the NHL playoffs. You boys don't even know. I'm ready. I'm excited. Mel, the other thing, too, with Mel's bets, every bet I bet that Mel, and not that they're bad bets because Mel wins when I don't bet them, but every bet I bet with Mel's bet, I lose. I mush them. So I don't, you know, it's how I feel about that. Not that I, I, I think that's a great look. Uh, uh, you know, a team that's still playing to play, they're going to pull their goalie. Should have bet the Lakers money line when they were fucking down 12. That sucks. Golden State's up 12 6 in the first quarter, seven minutes, 13 seconds to go. It's over. Mind you, let's admire, let's just, let's keep our eyes on these margin of victories. I swear to God, I shouldn't be doing more margin of victories based on Billy fucking clued me into it when he was taking Michigan State to win by 11 plus. And then I started looking at my lines, and I was like, I got a lot of margin of victories. You know, Mikey margins. I got all these numbers. For these Why aren't I playing these a little bit more? I forgot I forgot about your other, your third personality, your fifth personality. <laughs> One through ten. I was, I was, when I was doing the recap is when, we, when it made me realize that I was looking at it, and I was like, Billy's got Michigan to win 11 plus, and it was like minus 140 instead of minus 14s or whatever the numbers were, like, a sharp motherfucker. He's silent there in the middle, but he's a sharp motherfucker. You might not look it. <laughs> you gotta read the markets a little bit. Uh, shouts to uh, domestic books legalization. Uh, you can just kind of the markets are really uh, open. Like whatever you think you could bet. I got to finish off the uh, results, but I would say that your uh, your Tuesday appearance is the most profitable of. All of the guests here. I'll, I'll finalize it just to do it sincerity, but uh, but I do believe at first glance that's the way it looks. Cocksucker. Especially, oh, with, especially those two times you told me not to play those teams and I played them and I lost. Fucking Billy. 2 0 Vegas. 2 0 Vegas. Two zero. Thank you, fucking scumbags. You fucking. Vegas is over. Let's go. God, pick that goddamn first period, Joseph. You fuck. I like. I like what? 
God. <laughs> Talking about smoke. Let's go. Is this goalie not fucking pulled yet? The over six and a half is plus 135 in this Carolina game. The under six and a half at minus 175. I mean, what are we doing here? We fucking around? Going to fuck around and find out? Under six and a half is minus 180 now? Give me one more goal, you fucks. I'm going to have to take this under six and a half. What are they saying? Overtime? They're saying St. Louis is going to score. It's going to overtime? How's this one for you, Mikey? And Dave, I took uh, the Texas Houston Yurfi, and then I then I sprinkled the uh, over one and a half at plus one eighty five. And Mikey's what ribeye? Your ribeye was Elver. What was it? Uh, Tucker Jordan Alvarez, right? Or Tucker? Yeah, fucking homers Tucker. for Houston one and one. And the first at bat, yeah. plus one eighty five for the f- over one and a half in the first inning. That was a nice little score. Hell yeah. I know Dabby Cab and I were just texting back and forth about he had the Seeger, and I said, you might as well add the uh, Tucker RBI. It was plus 390. St. Louis is up 6 0 on them Diamondbacks right now. Nice. Dave, you fucking scumbag. Yeah, because I told got his, all this he P, almost got out of that. Fuck P Fart. Do we have? Do we have a goal? Do we have a goal? Do we have a goal in this Carolina St. Louis game? Mine's down. I gotta get a refill. Oh, Hopefully, I come back. Hope you guys get it. You don't have the TV on, Mike. You don't have ESPN Plus. I'm watching PFL. I'll turn it on for you. Oh well, that's what that's your problem. No offense to Billy or anybody. We need, <laughs> no offense we need to you guys. But... <laughs> We're locked in. We need Tom Breeze bad here, man. Scared. Oh, is it fucking NHL Network? Last uh, better than night, really, for me, besides uh, Impa. Oh, it is fucking NHL Network. Don't get that. Um, Suns, Suns, and Kings. Do they care? Do they really care? Should, should we look at a I don't know if they care, if either of them care. They're both in the playoffs. Um, let's take a look at a couple things real quick. I should just be betting the PFL instead of the NBA, but. Two box to record a double double. The reason why it's plus money is because he's not going to play the whole game. You wait and see. Sabonis so over 19 and a half points. I think that Suns Clip Kings game is going to go over. I got that one mm. more bet. I got nothing right now. Let's look it up. Let's see what my let's see what the model has. That's Zubak. Yeah, I can't take a player prop in, in a game that, that might be a blowout. Can't do it. I think I like Sabonis points over. You might as well take Sabonis triple double. Think so? I don't know. I just, anytime I think Sabonis, I think triple double. because <laughs> There we go. Carolina 4-2, baby. Let's get that out, man. There you go. Mel Mel and Mike, you're both welcome because if I would have bet that, it would have never fucking happened. Here we go. We'll play it. Get get hurt. that money. <laughs> you don't have that one, Dave. You can if you I if you want to send it to me, I'll fucking play it for sure. Well, if you let me <laughs> giddy up on the back end here. Get get that money. 
You gotta get that money, my get. Let's go, just... Dave. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go, Mel. Four two, baby. Let's go. You're fucking listen. I said it earlier. The only trend that's left from a day of the week perspective was Fridays on a six in the NHL. It's 18 and six to the over Fridays. When the total is a six, it's 18 and six to the over. Vegas is up three zero. Wow. Vegas is up three zero. We're on our way there. Let's, let's, let's go. go. Let's get that cash, baby. Carolina. Yeah, I did. I did tail it. <laughs> A little something up. Let's go, Billy Breeze. God damn it. Fucking most successful guest on last call, motherfucker. I need this one right here. <laughs> I hate the anticipation. Even marshmallows now. You ever shit talking guy for being successful, Joe T? <laughs> no. I shit talked Billy after he cocked me off of two losers. I was on two losers. He talked me <laughs> off, and I still called him a fucking scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just love how last week you were just uh you fucking booted Jose off on Friday because <laughs> he was losing he was losing that was the best. I stopped the trend dude <laughs> <laughs> no more fucking say hey plays <laughs> that's it can't lose anymore I had like every day that guy you know listen shout out I love him but I had to stop the train there. And then what happened? We started kicking <laughs> ass. <laughs> hey, did oh, you go like fine. nine and two the next day? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> it was nine and two for almost 11 units. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Give me a microphone and a voice, boys. Oh, I already have the voice. Don't worry about that. And I have the microphone. Just, just turn it on. I'll go. <laughs> you got to make that money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was Ashley's edition. Dave, did you put any uh, master bets in? Sprinkled on right. the money line live at plus 680. Sheesh. I did a master's bet, Joe T. I had one unit. Yeah, on, I knew you. Uh, I was just wondering if Dave put any in. Me? No, Joaquin, no, no. I don't, I don't bet uh, uh, golf. Joaquin Neiman, what, top 20 yeah. finish was even money. So I put a full unit on that. I put a. Half a unit on him to finish in the top 10. That was plus 275. Then I did quarter units on him to finish in the top 10 at plus 600 and him to win the event overall at plus uh, 30 to 1. So two full units invested. And I figured as long as he gets in the top 20, I'm even money. And then anything he does on top of that, uh, I'll make money from it. So he had a bad day today, though. Yeah, he fucked me because I I I faded. I tried to fade um, uh, Deschambeau, so I took so I took uh, Neiman to beat Deschambeau, and then he fucking fell apart. I wanted to yeah, fade I, his I, fucking I ass fuck too. Yeah, I would fuck Deschambeau, man. You know, Deschambeau is the mad scientist. Just, he's got he's got the he same the, he's got the same shaft. But the degree of loft on all his clubs varies based on, I think it's a seven iron that he bases everything around. That fucking dude's weird, and He's got a weird, uh, and it kills it. I mean, his, yeah, his fucking swing, dude. Oh, my God. All right, I'll be right back. But if you look, he personally developed his I like just sit clubs. and watch his swing. <laughs> the, way, the way he developed his clubs, though, he's got one, one like, shaft, right? Like, one whole, the length of the shaft. And then he's got his clubs all based off of that. So I think it was a seven. He said he hits a seven the most consistent. So he put the seven shaft on all his clubs. And then he's got the degree of loft based on the, all the other clubs around that seven iron. So 
when he's hitting a three iron, it's still the shaft. It's still the length of the shaft of his seven iron, but he's got the degree of loft on his. It's fucking crazy the way this guy. They'll fit. Yeah. Dick Dave the shaft. easy way to say it is basically all of his clubs are the same length. I just don't get how. Yeah, if you're novice doesn't... to the golfing society. Like if he every time he fucking swings, I'm like, well, that's gonna go. You know, well, that's why he goes. You know, most of his shots are good, but you know, quarter of the time he's fucking on the other side of the fucking golf course. But his fucking swing is insane. He swings a mean shaft. If you try to put your <laughs> grip on his shaft, it wouldn't feel right. Yeah, thick. Mel says 5-2. That's, that's for you, Dale Thick. 5-2 Canes, Mike. 5-2, Mel. It's a good call with that minus one and a half. Great acuity around your hockey IQ to dial in and say minus one and a half, even money. Here we go, Rob Wilkinson versus Tom fucking Breeze. This is going to be a banger. Easy breezy, baby. That's what they say. Hopefully. They say the... Hopefully this is a banger. I, I'm a little disappointed, Billy. I haven't gotten anything from you as far as what to bet in the PFL. I'm sitting here with money to play with. Tom um, Breeze around one or two sub plus 490. All right. That's the uh, second leg of the uh, two-leg uh, submission parlay. We got Antonio Carlos Jr. rounds one or two sub, but Tom Breeze round one or two sub at uh, 15 to one odds. Cash to ACJ. But uh, ACJ was really the spot, him and Godzi. Not for your Did red X boy. Burnell fight. <laughs> Grizzlies plus seven and a half. Cash, all these little shitty teams are cashing today. <laughs> Did not, did not have the Grizz. But the Warriors are up 6, 144 to go. I told you guys they would win the first quarter by five. Let's see what happens. The first yeah, leg of the trifecta. Sure. You, can't, you can't get the trifecta without getting the first leg, Billy. That is a fact. When you get the first leg, it's kind of like a good little start. 5-2 final, Mel. That's it. Cash it. Cash if it. I had, if I had control to the uh, panel, I would play. Where else can you have so much fucking fun? Or I would play. <laughs> I'm not fucking playing. The you, got the keys to the, you all got the keys to the car? You're just sitting here with no, the they, bucket. <laughs> don't give me the keys. They don't give me the keys on this one, Billy. I, At least they allow you to sit in the car at the fucking eat on, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm car the car. Up. <laughs> I'm knocking on the window saying open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody home? <laughs> I like that one, Billy. Yeah, knock, knock anyone out. I heard if Scotty goes into labor, he's walking off the masters. Anyone hear this? Yeah, I did hear that too. Right? I did hear that. And I do I that was why I did not bet him. It was like a head fake. You're telling me if you're leading the masters. Going into the final round, you're gonna you're just gonna walk off. You're done. That's the yeah, third isn't hole. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that nuts? It's the third hole. I I, I don't know if I, I I'm gonna go home. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> he says that I do feel you, Mike. That is a head fit. You say that shit now until you're heating up, and then they're yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> so you're in your top three rolling into the final like, round in the master. You're in the final pairing in the masters. Oh, your His agent man. isn't gonna call him, man. That's that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna finish the round, and then he, he's gonna leave. Well, Billy, I was wrong. Billy, I was wrong. The first quarter of the Golden State game was not five points; it was nine points. Let's go. Leg number one. Cash. Cash. Oh, big stuff by Rob. Uh, I since all right, boys. Since I'm gonna get out of here in two minutes here, but I'll give you a couple looks I like. For tomorrow's hockey slate for my first periods. Um, obviously, I'm going right back to Tampa Bay 
Washington first period over cuz now they're 22 and 5 I think to the first period over and it's over minus first a, minus a dollar 30 and then I'm going to go um I'm also going Ottawa Montreal first period over then I'm going to parlay them together cuz the Montreal one's a little juicy Joe, so that's what I got for tomorrow out. Tweet that shit out, and I'll okay. like it and retweet it. We'll all like it and retweet it for you. Put it out there on Twitter, man. You're fucking uh, your money with those first period overs. Buck one ninety nine. All right, I'll do it right now. I'll like it and oh. retweet it. I'll tell. I'll I'll speak for Billy. He'll like it and retweet it. How about that, Billy? I spoke for yeah. you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, I, I'll make sure to like it and retweet it. Wait, Joe, stay right there real quick. I want to make sure I got you on Twitter. I feel like I do, but I think I, I got you. I'm pretty sure. I ever check my uh, oh, yeah, because I see some of your MMA stuff that you post. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Billy's I like uh. It. Billy's one of the only guys that I just blindly tail. I'm not afraid to say it. Dude, I tell that last one, though. Fucking Tom Brees. Yeah, well, fuck you on those two plays that you got me in the NBA. (laughs) Fucking told me not to play him. I played him anyways. I said, I don't care. I said, here's what I like. What do you think about that, Billy? I said, I wouldn't do him. Fuck. (laughs) And I lost. (laughs) I texted him. I said, fuck you. (laughs) Fam, got back here. Be here in five. Oh lordy! No, time to move on the UFC. You guys winning in the UFC? Going to be profitable tonight? PFL was decent. Uh, I wish Tom Breeze would have got that sub. That would have been crazy. PFL, I guess. Yeah, PFL was pretty good. Oh, Mike, did your brother? Did they land over there yet, or is it this week they're leaving? I don't know. I'll, I suspect the next time I'll hear from them is when someone says, send me a million dollars and we'll let him go. But <laughs> until then, I mean, you know, you're going to go honeymoon in Indonesia. You, yeah, it's on you. That's on you. When they ask me for a million bucks, I'm going to send them Billy's ex at getting bills <laughs> to reach out to this guy. <laughs> what do you mean? My brother doesn't come back unless getting bills gives him 10 grand. All right. And he killed the UFC. He's got money. No, man, it's great. Yo, T, I hope you enjoy your vacation, my guy. You deserve it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Enjoy the time with the family and do your thing. Yeah, it's going to be the kids' first time to see the ocean. That's crazy. Yeah, Braylon's a little he's I wouldn't say he's afraid, but he he doesn't wanna get get ate by shark. And I'm like, dude, we're more <laughs> likely to see an alligator than we are gonna see a shark. <laughs> yeah, I agree. You're gonna see a fucking alligator fucking just coming out of the woodworks more than a shark. Ocean. Well, make sure you don't tell them about the jellyfish either, right? I mean, there's a lot of other <laughs> oh, things yeah. that can hurt you. <laughs> yeah, when there's a lot of other know, things when, in the ocean that can hurt you besides the shark. Yeah, when we jellyfish. were at our in our honeymoon in Puerto Rico, we went um, snorkeling, and where they dropped us off at, where they anchored the boat, there was like jellyfish everywhere, and they were like, I mean, there was some that were like, fuck, just huge. Yeah, what what part of Florida are you going to? I'm I'm sure somebody's already asked, but um, it's it's like 15 minutes from Cape Canaveral, or right. whatever, whatever that the science or the space place. You're gonna go to like NASA and see the giant space shuttle stuff. Um, they are, but I don't want to spend 75 bucks, so I'm gonna stay at home and probably go to the casino or. Or watch baseball. Sounds I don't know. Good. I'm just not into that stuff, but I think it'd be cool, but I don't know. Oh, it's but definitely yeah, they're more gonna... cool for the kids. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're see going the giant the hangers, the American flag hanging down. There's a lot of cool stuff there to be said with it. So good for you, man. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself. I hope you have a great trip. Enjoy the time with the little ones. Take lots of pictures. We want to see some Joe T pictures. Maybe post one or two on Twitter. Oh, I will. Be, I will. I'll do it just for you guys. Oh yeah. Well, enjoy. Yeah, it, it'll man. be fun. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a little warm, but. Well, just think. Right. So we're leaving Saturday and tomorrow, and it's supposed to be seventy-five degrees here, <laughs> and we're going to. It's supposed to be colder here, not just as hot. <laughs> but, but yeah, it'll be good. Well deserved. Kids are excited. Super. Super super excited. Staying in this house that has a pool. So if it's crappy, yes. we just step out the back door and it's covered too, even. Yeah, the bugs, the bugs are the issue, right? So if you uh it should be early enough in the season, the bugs aren't a problem. But nonetheless, if they get bad, you just go into the pool at your house and you deal with what you gotta do. Yep. Hell yeah, and there's a pond in the back too. I guess you can catch fish. So I think me and her nice, dad are dude. gonna go get a couple fish poles and Go do a little fishing in the backyard. Ah, it sounds great. Sounds like a good time. How old are your kids? Uh, 11, 10, and um, 6. Oh, dude, that's going to be a great trip. They're going to have a great time. Good on you yeah. for getting it done, man. That's uh, impressionable ages. They're going to have a lot of fun. They'll, they'll remember that for the rest of their life. Make yeah, they're count, planning dude. for next year. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be fun don't get pizza down there in florida no pizza no, no pizza good. why not it's no I'll bueno dude go it's get no a frozen good. pizza <laughs> yeah that's you're better off doing that get a fro maybe bring a couple down with you because the pizza in florida <laughs> sucks <laughs> the wings in florida suck uh you know make him try some alligator and some fucking snake you know as little make it make some fun out of it you know little appetizer alligator uh, you know, there you they go. Can, they can have fun. They'll remember that, you know. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got. That's awesome, dude. Okay, good for you, man. I hope you enjoy yourself. I hope you have a safe trip. We'll miss you, Thanks. but we'll see. You, we'll see you when you get back. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'll pop in once in a while, say hello, give all the first period over. So it might be, it might be early. It might be a 10 a.m. spot instead of like a three o'clock spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll like it. We'll like it and retweet it nonetheless. All right. Well, thanks, guys. You guys have a good night. Good luck. And we'll talk to you soon. Have a good thanks one, brother. brother. Bye. Tell Dave Be I say bye. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Got it, man. Sounds like you said, tell Dave, fuck you. So I will gladly tell Dave that. Yeah, why not? I think this Oakland first five just came through. What are you gonna come back in after we missed all those cashers? Run a fucking run something for us here. That I have no warrior. access to it right now. I, I clicked through a link as well, so I have no access to anything at the moment. Fucking Dave. Greedy, selfish motherfucker. I know Billy was thinking it. I just said it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us how you really feel. All right, well. <clears throat> Seems no well, reason I shouldn't just get a home run. 5-3 now. Oh, yes. Dodgers. Los oh, Doyers. The first, I, I, I got the first guy minus a half. I, I, I almost I, added that to the show. If if there weren't so many fucking games in the NBA today, I would have added the Dodgers first half minus a half. Uh, but I had to cut the line somewhere because there's just it was a two hour show today, Billy. You and I have run some shows today. It was two hours, man. Well, we're watched in PFL, so unfortunately, I did not do the last show today. I no, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't miss <laughs> out on anything. <laughs> I was making money on the fights. I was the one. 
uh, Billy. No, I didn't, I didn't miss out on anything. I had the over in the Blues game, which came through. I had the over in the White Sox game, which came through. I had the over in the Blackhawks game that came through. Um, what else? Thanks, Keith. One. Thanks, Keith. We had a it was a monster. It was a two hour job today. We had we had it started at six. We ended at eight. It was a, it was the longest one. And I'll tell you what. About thirty five minutes in, my stomach started kicking, saying you're hungry. And after an hour, I was like, man, I'm really hungry. And then. An hour and 45 minutes later, I was like, I kill somebody. And at two hours in, I was like, I got to go. I got you, Mel. No, it's nice, but a good night. I also, <clears throat> I also saw, I, for, I totally forgot I made this bet today. I, I threw a couple bucks at this. It was a, a uh, on FanDuel, Jake Gensel goal. With the Hurricanes money line in the over five and a half at plus 363. And he scored the fourth and fifth Carolina goals. Which all of a sudden, Carolina trails the Rangers by one singular point for uh, the lead in the Metro. And I'm sitting with plus 240 for them to win the division. It'd be really nice if the Islanders can win tomorrow and beat the Rangers. And that'll really put me in a, a nice spot to hopefully get the Hurricanes divisional because they play the Blackhawks and the um, Blue Jackets end of the year. And really, I just need the Rangers to lose one game. Well, Golden State's up 35-29, seven and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. We're looking for this trifecta spot tonight, boys, with this Golden State team. There no joke. We have Calgary Flames in the revenge spot. I think it might be. The last revenge spot of the year. I'll I'll run the filters again tomorrow. I think this is the last revenge spot of the year, though, for Calgary Flames against the Anaheim Ducks. And then we have the uh, Vegas in the over five and a half. I don't know. That's, that's not the last Well, one. I apologize, yeah. everybody. I was gone. Unbelievable. I was gone, too. You were. But um, the good news is, is, whoa, boy, that, Do that Dodgers team total over took a long time. Holy shit. Two Dave, innings. It's Dave, garbage. how about we start backwards forwards? How about we go from the back to the front? Go ahead. We got the Carolina minus one and a half. And yeah, yeah, let's do this. Go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run the promo for that. Give us a little clip. All right, we'll start with, we'll start this with one. That. Why, why are you yelling at me? Whatever, make me a bicycle clown. Yes, okay. sir. All right, how about uh, we got Golden State in the first quarter. They won by... Nine or ten. Stock okay. That We're that two by. I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Now what? Okay. Mm, what else did we get? I feel like we Oakland, got something else. Oakland oh, we got San Antonio Spurs. The San Antonio Spurs won outright. You know, it was another one of those spots like last night with the Utah Jazz that won outright. San Antonio Spurs won outright. I can't play any of the Asian kids. Okay, fine. And okay. I think these boys got a UFC sp or a PFL spot. So I think there's one to be had. Breeze lost, though. Breeze lost. Uh, but what about the one before that? Well, oh, right, we did whatever. win that inside the distance and shit. Hey, yeah. Um, All right. I like it, man. I actually know I'm not even like it. I love it. My dick is hard right now. That's how excited I am about this. All right, we're all caught up. Now we're no, caught we're up. not. And we said it 15 million times, the Dodgers team total over. We tapped it three different times today. Did a video on it. How do you like it? Two innings in. Two innings in. Who else is going to give you a bet that cashes two innings in? No one. Only me. I am the best. It's all about me. This is my show. Okay? All right? Oh, shit. What's up, Jacks? Oh. <laughs> my esteemed colleague. I am gay drunk. Get ready to see my dick. So technically a nerfy or a yerf, you can cash in the first inning. So it's true. Well, it no, true. I'm saying, but who else is giving that out as, as okay, that's true. That is true. But also Dave, remember Dave and the Dodger yerfy. But anyways, we won't even talk about that. Um, but Mel deserves a shout out because Mel did give a perfect cap to a game that I didn't bet. And I didn't, I didn't, um, 
uh, 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 what you call it, mush it. So actually, you should thank me, Mal. Thank me that I didn't mush it. But you did all of the capping. You said it was desperate and blibbity blibbity blop, and you got there, and they fucking covered by two, three goals, two goals, five to two. Mm-hmm. Is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go, Mel. Good job, Markel. We didn't say hi to you. I didn't say hi to you. Hello, Markel. Mike is back. So what else can we do? Mookie home run. He got the yeah, Rushia got the Mookie home run. He gave that out pre-flop too. What? Do we, it's, it's, that's what I'm talking about. This shit means something to me, man. Over there. We're up currently in the revenge spot. Calgary Flames 2-0 over the Anaheim Ducks at the end of the first period. The last potential revenge spot of the season. Uh, (laughs) We've got Vegas 3-0 over Minnesota. We've got Vegas and the over 5.5 at plus 1-something. 175, 200, something like that. We're rolling, boys. And then, of course, you know the deal. We've got Golden State. Golden State's kind of faltering here though they are down three points with six minutes to go they came out a bound in that first quarter but this first half struggling clippers are waxing the jazz 19 to 9 mm. six minutes into the first half i even there's nba did i <laughs> golden state is tied it 38 38 let's get this trifecta we don't need to win by 100. Just give me give me enough. <coughs> yeah, oh, yes. Thank you, ZC33. I appreciate you, ZC33. You're a real one, dude. This Mike gave out the plus 393 that cashed on the first inning. I did. Yeah, that was a person that came in here hours ago and said this. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that, ZC. Appreciate you, my guy. Can we run a clip for that? Let's run a fucking clip for that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Me. Um... There we go. The three victims were part of a CXS. Fuck it right in the pussy. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that was a big one. That was the uh, everyone's on that Seeger over one and a half bases. And then I added the uh, Tucker RBI to it. And I said, why not add it? There you go. Plus 165. I'll tell you what, though. I did throw a late night uh, RBI out there. Wouldn't have mattered. I, I wanted to throw it out there anyways. I just had the forum to toss it in for a final cut. Uh, it? It's on the Nationals. Here we go now. Top of the six is probably not going to hit. Is just what it looks like. But My guess is it hasn't hit yet because the Nationals haven't scored a run. Yeah, yeah. Winker. He's got two at-bats. He's got two hits. They just need these assholes in front of him. He's in the five spot. I don't normally like to take guys outside of the four hole. Uh, but he's got Abrams, Thomas, Gallo, and Manassas in front of him here. He should be. He's got two hits. It's not like he's not hitting. He just needs to get these assholes on base in front of him against Oakland. Yeah. Blackburn. Who knew Blackburn was going to shut him down? Ken. Okay, we got a couple things. Blackburn's been awesome this year. I don't know what you're talking about. This year, he's had one start. <laughs> just third start, and he's given up one earned run. That is true. Okay. Um, by the way w- – We've been giving out. We don't. First of all, you could tip or not. We, we whatever it doesn't matter. But we've been giving out plays all sh- the show. We've been on for four hours. Where have you been? Like, and there's almost no, there, that's the end of the night. So we'll try to look for stuff. But Mel, I'm three and one. Thank you very much. So I'll win by myself or with you either way. Seeger, you guys are all menstruating at the same time. You should stop hanging out together. You're all betting the same things. And um, this is the one of my favorite names. I don't know where I've seen. It. I think I saw it in PSR. Zach Eady will take your sushi. He's not Japanese. <laughs> It's from Toronto. I'm really disappointed in the championship game. I was very yeah. disappointed in him. Hit the like button. I, I'm trying to get on Golden State somehow, but they're fucking fucking it up. So I'm glad I'm not on them. But let's get on them now. I mean, I didn't have them before now. I didn't have them before now. So now is when I wanted to get on them, and they're down 10 points. Oh, wow. So it's plus two and a half good? Plus 126? How about the money? I don't think that's enough. Have another plus 126. I mean, they're down 10. Yeah. Fuck New Orleans. It would make sense that New Orleans fucks me in the old pile. 
Uh, that, that city is see, known for. See what what when we went out and got food, we got Bojangles Dairy, Dairy Queen ice cream cake. <laughs> That's awesome. You know what? I could go. I could go for some ice cream right now, dude. Ugh, I have no no carbs for fucking three weeks. I could do that. I don't know what you're saying, Zach Eady, but I think I like it. Thirty-seven and ten is disappointing. Oh, points and rebounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did. You showed up. That's the thing about UConn. Alabama shoots 47 from three, beats them by 14. Zach Eady goes off. I, I, I wasn't Alabama. actually disappointed in Zach Eady. I was disappointed in UConn cause, or uh, in Purdue because I took them plus the points. I was disappointed in Purdue's guard play. They just got shitted on in the back. That's true. Oh, so it's always so so great living by yourself and Boilers the family. Tied comes. In. Edmonton. Oh, how yeah. Let's go, Edmonton. Plus one fifty eight. Do we think they come, they come back? I don't think they care enough. I feel like I Edmonton's think. struggling to come back here. Feels like Arizona finds a way to win this game. I hope not. I need I need Edmonton to. Get some points here so they can win the division. Take, uh, take a little I, I, also have the, I also have a live bet on it, but so I got him at minus 125. No, the main, captain of the Red X has shown up here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Big Show. Big Show's uh, what up? Hey, what are we on in this in this final fight here? Impa, Impa, Impanada. Uh, Red X. Kasaganon. K for decision. See, Red I, don't, I remember. I think I think the the Impa fight Red I remember X. the most was the one with uh, Joaquin Buckley spinning back yeah, kick. That was crazy. Was, I flipped crazy. shit because I had a lot of money on um, Buckley that night. That was back when I actually like capped the UFC, and. I had him. I had a decent amount of bet on him, and I had him in a bunch of fantasy lineups. And when he had that that spinning kick up, it, my whole house went crazy. Yeah, Buckley's been on one though of recent man. He's been looking good. He's just he's just short and a little stocky, um, stocky uh, fighter. He got better. Well, he when he first got up, he was all he was all just all knockout power, and that was all he was. Yeah, like the info win. <laughs> Uh, that was like a. Uh, I put him on the map. The time it was like shocking. Oh yeah. Oh, do I have time to search for the red X, or do I just have to make a play? I don't know. <laughs> it's about to start, right? It's about to start. Nobody, nobody Alex, believe it. I need input. All right. And go by Billy, KO or I'm go to you. Tell me who to take here, Billy. What do we got? Well, it's hard because he's minus three thirty. So I have him in a. I I did the KO or decision parlay him and Clay Collard. It was like plus one twenty two. Um. What he did was the way these have been going. Shit, knockouts. <laughs> Sounds like pull easy by decision. I wouldn't mind that at all. I, Pull easy by decision. It's a good and idea. he just flopped over. You're going with the dog? Plus 500. Plus 500. Just throw 25 bucks in there. Yeah, that was, that, was the, that was the fight I was referencing. That fight made me some money. Plus 500. <laughs> Pull easy by decision. Fuck you guys. I found that on my own. Well, there's the there's the over eight and a half in the Dodger game. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose the Padres. All right, here's a here's a here's a wild. You think if this you think if this uh Polizzi guy um knocks him out, it's gonna be early or late. I don't think he knocks him out. He's not gonna late. knock him out. I think it would be Impa knocking out Polizzi, if anything. 
Arizona's coming well, back. Yeah. Get I your didn't ask that. Diamondbacks. So, Let's go. Polizzi wins it by wrestling and winning a decision, and it would still be close. But yeah, you never know. It's the fight. the fight game. You never know. It's a problem here, boys. This is a problem. All right. Well, I was just going to go Polizzi just to win, but if it's going to be by points, so we don't, we don't we don't like Impa. Plus five hundred, Dave. I like Impa. There's just no I'm value. Like, I can't find any value on him. Plus five hundred. Plus five hundred is plenty of value. No, no, on the other side. On the other side, I can't find oh, any value. The other guy. <laughs> okay. Impa Kasakanon? Maybe an Impa round two or three knockout prop wouldn't be bad odds at all. No, you're right, but I don't. I don't care about that. I like I, I like what Mike said. Too much. Mike said Mike Mike's cap was I did it by myself. That's good enough for me. I will take it. <laughs> well, I didn't look at anything. Right. So. I know you didn't, yeah. but I know I know what you wanted to take, which you know it's probably probably we're on the side of the X, but you know. Bye, Kelly. Good to see let's you. Go. E-bark, let's go, D-bags. Um I already did. I already win my bet. Did I win my bet? What inning is it? What in the in the it Cardinals? Is the bottom, bottom of the fifth. fifth. All right. Well, I said P fart before was going to re resume and his regular season bullshit. Smoke and mirrors. There's only so many fights. Not bet is not an option. Smoke and mirrors. No. No, not when you're betting. I mean, I mean, I, I, I just, I just put uh, twenty dollars on it, and all, and all. That's nothing. Smoke and mirrors. That's in all fairness, this is the most real thing you'll hear from me. With the UFC, there's only thirteen fights tomorrow. How can you not have at least thirteen bets? I'll probably have 25, 30 bets. There's no way not to have at least thirteen bets. There's not no way. You can no, and I'll, the most important I'll roll bet a fucking is... parlay with something before I stand off it. Because I'm a degenerate. That does don't follow me, but I'll tell you what, I started off last week with a plus a thousand. And then I was clear rolling from there on in. I'm gonna try to do the same thing this week. Boy, I'll tell you what, tomorrow I'm gonna be wishing I'm with you guys. Fucking Stupid, fucking dumb, fucking fuck. There you go. Well said. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say about that. I love to bet on the NBA today. Okay, well, well put. I love to bet on NBA today. Warriors. Okay. What what a name that guy has. Horse nuts. It's almost better as he will steal your sushi. <laughs> They're getting whack right now. They're getting down by fifth. They're down by fifth. Like Speaking of horse nuts, Jacob said he wanted to come on, but he didn't. Hmm. Looks like the first half is going to be a loss. The first half, Golden State down by 15. Probably going to be a loss. So I bet him. Half. Yeah, of course. Plus 280, plus eight and a half. Plus three hundred. I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, there we go. Line has moved from plus three hundred to plus two twenty. Uh, uh, <laughs> we got Doctor Butt. You got Doctor Butt Cheeks in there. Some. There we go. Hey, Doctor Butt Cheeks. Cheeks. If if you're gonna come in here, you, you guys gotta hit the like button. You gotta do it. You can't just come in here and, and with all your stupid names. I'm gonna guess Doctor Buttcheeks doesn't hit the like button. Doesn't doesn't sound like a like actually Doctor Buttcheeks has been somewhere before. I've seen him somewhere else. Um, horse nuts. I, I don't think I've ever seen Edie Sushi Edie. That that one's You've hilarious. Never seen horse nuts. No. <laughs> well, in real life, but not you know. <laughs> 
You ever been around male horses? It's 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 especially when they have boners. It's really hard to hard to to not notice. I mean, if that's what you're into. No, I'm not into it. I'm just saying horses, <laughs> just like men, just have boners when they have them. <laughs> Third quarter. Well, you know the Warriors in the third quarter, right? They always, you know, actually that might be the bet, Mike. They're down. Quarter. Yeah. Warriors. So we're not betting the Warriors. Well, yeah. Well, I'm going to look at it right now. But isn't that a thing? Isn't it the Warriors? Plus seven and a half. Plus three twenty. Down fourteen. What? Plus seven plus and a half seven. and plus two. Oh, no. Belize is just getting whacked right now. Yeah, he's getting fucked oh up. Oh, my God. Imp is about to. Oh, he's he's about he's about to, to go. I should have bet Imp. Oh, well. I think he's. Is he. What the fuck? I'm shocked they haven't called it yet, bro. Yeah, I th I think he's I think he's like on the like look at him. I don't Dude, know. They they gotta call it. Yeah, they gotta call it. I agree. No, I don't agree. Well, I got Belize. There he goes. He's trying to he's trying to get the at the leg. Oh. Oh. No. Ye oh. Arm, uh, leg, knee oh, bar here. Oh, he took he took a couple in the face. That's it. They're done. It's, it's, no it's more. over. Impact KO. Round one. Round. <laughs> Round one. Cash is a little KO prop parlay. Damn, Impa made that shit look easy. <laughs> hey Nick, remember remember how uh, we talked about um, the fifth the fifth inning? I got fifth inning. No, oh my yeah. god, uh, the third 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 of the day, third of the day. At least this one was a push. Well, I was gonna say, oh, because it's six six in that Arizona game, right? Five five in the in the bottom of the fifth, they scored three that runs. Sucks. Yeah. Where is those score six runs in the bottom of the six, no, baby? Three, three, three in the bottom oh, of the fifth. Fanatics, I ain't even bet it on. Is it six in the bottom of the fifth? I wish no. I bet yeah, it on bet three six in the bottom of the fifth. You had three, oh, one, and two, oh, nothing, yeah. nothing, and nothing, and then Arizona comes in with the six. Yeah. Let's go. Six runs. Well, you didn't have that bet, so I don't know why you're rooting for me to push. Well, I, I don't <coughs> care about what you're doing. I have Arizona. I, well, I well, have Arizona. Okay, well. Well, I mean, being down six zero, you 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 got to root for something. The fact well, that I just lost a bet with three outs left. I mean, they had to get six runs. But this show is your show, so go ahead. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter who. I can't lament is. on my own show. Yeah, lament. Well, that's what I'm lament. doing. Yeah. Stop lamenting on Billy, though. He's a winner. Well, Billy just, yeah, that's true. Nope. Don't uh, lament on Billy. All he what do you mean don't to lament on Billy? That doesn't even make sense. How do you lament on someone? <laughs> I don't know. You want to lament? Lament on me. Lament. Where do we not, go you, next? You don't lament on people. But. Soccer. Go ahead. I'm, all I'm saying is we're opening the floor. Lament means bitch and complain about something that. Yeah, that yeah, I'm saying you bring it on me. Don't bring it over on Billy. He's I'm not bringing it on anyone. I was just lamenting, and then I got a oh. Shit. Should smoke again. Bro. It just rubbed it in my face, you know. But you know what you're doing, so. Oh, there was no rub. There was okay. the fact you've that never done, you've Arizona. never done that before. You've never done you that. Were before. The, you were no on the. No way. You have never that. ever done that on my own show before. I don't know, ever. I don't understand. Ever. I don't understand why there's such controversy here. You were on the first five. I'm on the full game. I lost a bet. There was a, there was a 95. I mean, you go in, you need six but runs and three outs. It was the bottom outs. of the first five that my boys came yeah. back and shut you down. 
So, but you didn't have a bet on the first fight. Your bet's still open. You don't get what I'm saying. You didn't yeah. lose a bet. Your bet's still open. I just lost. I just pushed my bet. Yeah, but it's six zeros. But who gives a fuck? Because you didn't have a bet. I had a bet. Your bet's still there. Who gives a fuck? I, I lost. I just lost money. You didn't lose anything. You didn't even win anything. Uh, Nothing happened. You didn't lose anything either? Did you? You had the money line, or did you have the minus half? Yeah. I, you know what I lost is I lost. Win I lost winning two hundred dollars. That's two hundred dollars swing because I would have won two hundred dollars. But you did pushing you lose is losing. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Well, the actually no, I didn't lose the big, did I? You didn't lose anything. That's and not now the point, I can right? win. And that's no. I I, I, I called, hope you lose desperately. That's called friendship, Dave. No, it's not. It's called you poking you the bear like you. For me to win. In fact, in fact, in fact, I'm betting the Cardinals right now. Yeah, go uh, and I hope you lose. Let's go, Redbirds. Well, no, we know what you were doing. I've been, I've been around you too long. All right, that's fine. Bet him, bet him heavy. Actually, this this will make me happy. This will make me happy. Right here. I am with the Pelicans money line. No, 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 not betting that. Um, but I do, I do. What the fuck is it? Want to bring on another guest? I can't find his intro because we haven't used it forever. Here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Way there late. Everything's all the games are like over, so I don't know what you're going to talk about. But you're on. Well, you can't talk about anything when you're on mute. Jacob, you're muted. <laughs> That's fine. Let him sure. go. That's all right. Oh, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to. Is he still in? No, he's still in, isn't he? He's still pitching. Unmute the mic. Jake why would up. he still be? Why would he still be pitching? Now, now you're unmuted. We didn't hear anything you said. Uh, you can hear me now. Yeah, yeah. We, we yeah we're just waiting for you to unmute you yourself. Wait, <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Not much. Not much. I'm said I'm surprised most of the hockey action is over. I thought you'd come on a little earlier and talk about it, but just, um... I have a superstition that when the Capitals are either almost eliminated or not eliminated, I stay away from it because they tend to do better whenever I'm not watching. They're not on tonight, are they? No, but that's not. There's stipulations. No, they they play tomorrow. I can't. I swear, like you guys, you guys all need to read a book and learn how to use vocabulary. Words. Yeah. Words be hard. It's all right. <laughs> Tito Ortiz. <laughs> Thinking be hard. Thinking do be hard. Did anyone have that Impa guy for uh for any sort? Of, yeah, yo, you had him in the in the parlay. No one had him yeah. straight up, obviously. Parlay of uh, I think it was uh, Impa and Clay Collar by a uh, knockout. It was knockout or decision on both of them. It was like plus one twenty two. That low for that specific of a bet? That's strange to me. It was two. It was two of them. Impa was minus two twenty, and Clay Collier was minus one ninety. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Um. What else is live? Mike has his his uh, D backs live. He's got Warriors live. Um, Nick's on the other side of the baseball game. I'm on, I'm on Cardinals, and I got the Cardinals. over in the Flames game and the Ducks team total over, which is not okay. going to get there. I didn't know you had those two bets, so that's good to know. I wish I had known that, too, in all fairness. <laughs> by, by the way, Nick, I love that hat. That's a nice hat. Yeah. Uh, we cashed the first five with the Oakland A's tonight. Thought I'd rock it. The Sacramento A's. 
<laughs> no, you know they said they're not. They're not going to be going. At, uh, they're not going to be calling themselves Sacramento or anything like that. They're just going to call themselves Athletics, which is really annoying. Quit because it's robbing us of the opportunity when they play Baltimore for the Ball Sack series. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I think I'm more interested in taking the Warriors minus three. And well, actually, is this there's NBA on? Yeah, in the third quarter. I don't know. I think I care just as much about uh, just as much as half the teams right now. No, but that Sunday slate for NBA though is fire. The uh, last day of the season, some of those games. Are last day of the season. Who's gonna sit? Everyone. All right, there's your cap. Yeah, but there's good money. I, I think there's good money to be made on uh, Sunday, see, though. I, see, for, I didn't for me, bet. there's plenty of baseball to bet on Sunday. There's probably hockey to bet on Sunday. I do not need to know that LeBron James hurt his pinky toe five minutes before game time, so he's not playing. No, but some of the games, though, like Chicago versus New York is a good game. Uh, <coughs> Milwaukee versus Orlando rematch. And... Well, in, in terms of the Eastern Conference, there's not that much meaningful hockey left because there's only one spot left open. And I know it's not yes, guaranteed. Islanders are going to take the Metro Three. I, I I think there's a real possibility the Hurricanes win the division. That might happen, yeah. But I, I have the I Hurricanes to win the Stanley Cup of plus twelve to one at the All Star. I, 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 I grab I grabbed a piece of Carolina Metro Division this morning at plus two forty. That's that's not a bad bet at all. I I grabbed them and I grabbed uh, Edmonton at plus one fifty five to win the Pacific. Edmonton's what? Yo, one game down. Shout out to uh, shout out to C Mac. He was Cubs' first five under four and a half. Mariners up four zero going into the top of the sixth. Shout out to C Mac. Nice. There you go. Nice. Under back with four the and a half. There you go. You know where to hear that show, boys. I know nobody listens, but I'll say it anyways. Monday to Friday, Pub Sports Radio, 6 p.m. Eastern. Get everyday guest, the number one guest out there, happens to be in the center screen, top spot. Getting bells. We're gonna have to figure out what we're doing once. Uh, but he doesn't the promote the show either. I promote it. I promote it. <laughs> what show is this? I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. It's a show I've never been invited on. Oh, <laughs> and and let's also say a show that Mike's been on for a year. He doesn't promote that one either, so he can get fucked. I've but promoted the fuck out of all these shows. You've never you you haven't retweeted no, one of my tweets no. over a year. A over a year, and then and then I kept going for about a month, and then I stopped because I said, "Wait a minute, a guy that complains that I don't put his Stop. name on tweets Stop. doesn't it's doesn't already, retweet it. It's already misinformed. Already, any did anything I say was untrue? It's all true. Fake news. Do not t complain. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't complain about people promoting your show when you don't promote other people's shows. You don't promote Billy's. Uh, do you, do you do you retweet his UFC stuff? The one on Saturday. The, the, no, you have a show on Saturday. I think I did. But you have a show on Saturday. I, I, I retweet him, and you know the other one. I like I like Danny Betts. I retweet him as well, or repost, okay. or what, like whatever. I will go back and see. I will go back and yeah, see because I don't think you're. Gonna... <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Danny, I will tell you what. Maybe I shouldn't say it. I don't want to create enemies, but those are the only two motherfuckers I like. Danny and Ben. <laughs> no problem. I said, well, it looks like I said it. Now I got to own it. I'll roll on there and own it if you want me to. You want to create some fucking subterfuge? I'll own it. But I, I like Billy and I like Danny. I do too. They're both nice guys. Well, it's not just that, though. It's you know their pick. You know what they have. They win or lose. There's transparency behind it, and I appreciate that. They don't talk game about both sides of the. 
they boxing. just go out there and they give you the fight. This is what I like. This is how it's going to happen. This is what it pays. This is it. And I appreciate that because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of ambiguity around fights. Everyone can talk about every side of it, but these guys, they roll out there, they tell you what they like, and that's it. This conversation is specific to UFC or fighting sports, I'm guessing. Well, specific yeah. to UFC, but it should apply to all sports. You know what? Well, Billy I'm just saying, I, I find it hard to believe. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you like that I'm for me or anything, but I find it hard to believe that the only two people that you deal with that you like are Danny and Billy. I think I that, that you're, well, for you're UFC, like, I'm saying, that's but, what I meant. but as yeah. far okay. as it applies, what I do appreciate about guys I want to roll with are they say, here's yeah. my pick, mm -hmm. here's how I think it's going to go, here's mm -hmm. the odds, and this is the deal. And so, you know, you, 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 there's transparency behind it. You liked it or you didn't. I don't want to hear 15 ways to come to Sunday. Give it to me. <laughs> Tell me what's so, going to happen. Give me the final result and then let me bet on it. And, and then win or loss. Oh, well, I said this and I said that. And I, did you win or did you lose? And Billy's fucking transparent about it. And that's, you know, he's transparent about everything he does. I like that. So, so Mike, let me ask you a question as, as just a fan. Why have the Flyers choked for the last three weeks? Well, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Listen, Jacob. Jacob, you want to get into it? I'll tell you. I have said since November, the Flyers are too stupid to know they should be losing games. I have said that. Anytime you go back and watch me talk about every time I've started it off, I've said they are too stupid to know they should be losing. Now we're at the situation where it's like this, Jacob. You went to a taco plaza. You ate all you could eat tacos. You had a wet fart. <laughs> Do you reach your hand back there to see how wet it is, or you just ride it out until you get home? And that's where we are with the Flyers. All year long, they've been eating at the taco plaza. They farted. We know it's ugly, but at this point here, win or go home. And uh, we can change our panties when we get back there. So that's how well, I would describe the, I, the I, Flyers. I don't think I don't think they had to reach behind themselves to feel it. You just shit yourselves. Oh, you know, you know what you did. There's no reason to reach behind. But now we're at that point. We got three games left. We got to see what happens. Uh, you know, it's wet back there. There's no question. But do we change you know our panties or we just shut them down and go put them in the laundry? That's, the one thing that's where the Flyers say, are though, right now. The one thing that I will say, though, is as a Capitals fan and you being a Flyers fan, we are not supposed to be in the position that we're in right now. No. If you and, would, and, and if you would have told me that our teams are fighting for a playoff spot with three games left, I would have told you that you smoke crack. Jacob, if you listen to me back in November, I swear to God I said, the Flyers are going to be battling for a wild card spot. They may or may not make it, and then we're going to realize we fucked up an opportunity for a drop top draft pick. Here we are. Now, fast forward. Battling for a draft pick, debating whether or not we're going to get a top draft pick here. We're battling for a wild card spot. The fucking Flyers are too stupid to know they should lose. It goes back to what I've said all year long. I don't think they started their growth any. I think you guys are going to be probably the cream of the crop in the Metro in the oh, next. Oh, fuck that. The Rangers and the Devils have had top draft picks the last three or five years, and the Flyers keep continuing to be mediocre. We keep contending with it. Uh, yeah, but you just, just brought up, you just brought up the Devils, but where are they at right now? They're already eliminated from playoff yeah, contention. Well, it's because of goaltending. It's because of goaltending. It's it's good, but hockey is a team game. There there's no, been a bad. Not. No, it's one. not. That starts. It's like baseball. You know what? You get a pitcher that goes out there with a solid ERA. He shuts teams down. It doesn't matter if your bats can hit or not. You just have to find a way to get there on top. That's what happens with goaltending. Y'all got uh y'all got that tall ass Russian dude too. Uh what's his name? Fedotov? Fedotov, yeah. He was a monster. I do like that. 
But and, and then again, you bring out goaltending in 2018 when we won the Stanley Cup. We didn't even start Braden Holby. We started Phil no. Grubel. We have to. I wish I could highlight Mel's comment. Hockey is nothing like baseball. Mel, hockey starts with goaltending. Hockey is nothing like the baseball. The goaltender's hockey goals against much. average and save percentage is comparable to a starting pitcher's ERA and win loss percentage. That's where it starts. That's the comparison to me. Now, you're not going to have been on a team the full game in baseball, but you might in in NHL. Don't, I don't want to have to go into the 101 here, Mel. I know you know what I'm saying. No. I don't think you can compare a starting pitcher to a goalie in hockey. How about this, don't or uh, uh, Jacob? If your fucking starting pitcher has a point, a 10.8 ERA, and your goaltender has a 10.8 goals against average, is there not similarity to your confidence in bottom up? No, because first off, nobody's no. scoring goals a game. That doesn't even make sense. You just said a goal against average of 10. A goal against average of a 10 and the ERA of a 10. Nobody is giving up 10 goals a game. A goalie will get yanked after four goals. Yeah, but is a There's pitcher giving up 10 pitches, 10 a runs a game? That is going to have a 10 point GAA. It's not going to happen. You're compromised. I'm going to put an asterisk on your fucking statements going forward. They don't even have a wrench. I can't even do that. I would, Jacob, I would put a fucking wrench on your statements going forward, but I have no wrench to put on them. I mean, I don't care, but it's it's simple fact, dude. If you let out five goals in a game, you're going to get yanked. I disagree. Well, I don't disagree with that, but I do disagree. If you're going to let up five goals in a couple of Shots, you should stay in there and deal with the whole thing. If if You're you out. let if if you let if you let in five goals on like forty shots, then maybe you'll stay. But you're talking about a diff, a fucking ten ERA versus a ten goals against average. If you're giving up ten goals a game, you're not fucking starting. You're not even fucking playing. That's tell an me, ab- uh, asinine argument to make. Tell me a pitcher with a fucking 10 ERA. Tell me that doesn't happen. You leave him out there. It's the first couple innings. He's got to go deal with what he has to deal with. He's got to get base center loaded, and all of a sudden, a guy's bop in. What, baseball they pull him out hockey. because of that? Stop. Stop. It's sick. Ba- baseball and hockey are two different sports. I don't know. But I'm the not- goaltenders and the pitchers are the same. God damn it. That's it. No, goalies and pitchers are not the same. It's the same. Sticks goalies one and half pitchers. Half and half no. It's a different sport. Goalies and the pitchers numbers are- might be different, but everything else is the same. Goalies and pitchers are not the same. And if you think they are, you are absolutely wrong. I, I wish there's a way for you and I to compete. In this category, because I would fucking stomp all over you, but oh, you think you would stomp? Have a sweet chin music your ass right in the fucking chin, because you think for one second <laughs> you think that a fucking baseball pitcher and a NHL goalie are the same. Yeah. The Your numbers are the same. Mind in aggregate. In no, aggregate, you're out of mind. Ah. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, I can't. I can't even understand. Uh, Dave, no, no you up, can't. Man. I know. I know for a fact you can't. Dave, take this right. fucking Come guy on. and fucking put him on mute. Are you guys getting in a fight? I like it. No, we're not getting in a fight. We're just having. No, a I, no, I appreciate. I appreciate what he's saying. I'm just 
we're we're talking about goaltenders and uh, from from baseball. a handicapping perspective, no, you can look at pitchers out. and goalies hey, the same way. Guy on mute well, over here. here no, here's, here's here's my two cents in this, and I'll get out of it. If you would have told me that there is a heated fight against the Penguins, the Red Wings, the Caps, and the Flyers for a playoff spot in the beginning of the season, I would have told you you're retarded. I could have seen it with the Wings. No, okay. I, I'm good with Jacob. And that was Jacob about it. We were just having the wing, fun. The Wings were the only one of those four. I thought yeah. 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 Teams. Yeah. Me, no, no, me and my and I were back and forth. We were having fun talking about we just, how it was going to work out. It's all great. Man, oh man. Well said. Well said. Well, I did end up taking the Golden State Warriors minus two and a half in the third quarter. That's looking good. That's some fucking good news because it's got some bad news. My least favorite relative in the world is flying in red eye. Oh, I God, man. This is stupid. <laughs> this week, this weekend's going to be really fucking stupid. I see the breakup. No, Jacob and I were having fun. We're talking. No, they're all, we're all good. With one no, no, all you're just talking like. No, nah, it's all good. Yeah. I love it. No, nah, it's all good. It's fun. It's fun to hear back and forth. But uh, Jacob, cheers, my guy. Cheers, Mike. Well, cheers. whoever whoever has that spot is going to get swept by the by the Panthers, right? So, what is or is it the Panthers? Are they going to play? It would be the Rangers uh, okay. against the Wild Card Two team. It'll be Bruins and Lightning. Seven six Cardinals. It could um, also. I didn't bet that, by the way. The Hurricanes. Huh? It could also potentially be the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes can still win the Metro. Yep. I I I, I kind of hope they do. I really do. Who I, does? I, who I would I, I would rather the Islanders play the Rangers than the Hurricanes, personally. Who does the Who does the number one the best record? Who does the number one seed play? The Wild Card two. The yeah. That's and what then, I'm. And the number, so, yeah, right, the Rangers, right now, or the Rangers, duh, it's the Rangers. Right now, yeah. it'd be the Rangers. Yeah, and because the the Bruins would be the other the the they're the Atlantic winner, but they're they have less points than the Rangers, so they get the wild card one team, which would be Tampa Bay, which Tampa Bay wins that game and uh, wins that series in six. Um, I think so. Yeah, and I think. That, I think no, stop. Wild card crazy that is <laughs> talking about Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is going to be a wild card. Yeah. Imagine, ready? No, here's the crazy thing. Imagine you're you're a division winner this year. You you had the most points in your division, all that good stuff. You had a great year. And in the first round, you're looking across the ice at the Tampa Bay Lightning. Or in the Western Conference, you look at it across the ice at the Vegas Golden Knights, the defending Stanley Cup champions, are a wild card team this year. Well, you might fear the lightning. You know how I feel about the lightning. I don't fear the lightning. I, I here's the thing. I would fear the lightning in the playoffs. They're a different That's animal. Yep, yeah, I'm right there with you, Nick. I think they're a good bet. They to beat, make, I think they beat I the Bruins. Bet to make the Eastern Conference Finals. I can. Uh, I can. I, I. I like Florida, just because I, I think Florida is the best. Still, the best team in the the uh, East when fully healthy. Also, Steven Stamkos is a restricted, uh, unrestricted free agent this year. He's not going to be a lightning next year. He's going to be a cap casualty. All right, so I have a question. So I know Mike's answer to this, and I think I know Nick's answer to this. So I'll get Jacob's. So you're Which, asking Jacob a question. I am. Eastern Man. or Western Conference wins the cup. I know both of their answers. Western. You broke the tie. Because I'm pretty sure Nick's Western. I know Mike's Eastern. West, West Conference wins. Actually, the no, I lied. The Panthers. I'm, I lied. You did. You do. Panthers. You do think that the Eastern? Yeah, it did Eastern. I, I mean, I have one from each side because I have the Avalanche and I have the Panthers. Those so you're on side. an island because I like the East too. The Panthers, the only team in the East I like. If it's not the Panthers, it's the West. If, not, if it's not the Panthers, it's the Islanders. All right. Okay. You know what? That would nothing would make. I'm, actually, I would be ecstatic if the Islanders made the, I have, the I have, fucking I, final. I have, tw- I have twenty five to one for them. To, I have twenty five to one for them. To Mike, give me a break. You would be rooting for the Islanders to go if they're, if they're if your team's not in it. Stop. You should be rooting for the Islanders. Stop. Root not. Don't waste your energy. 
Stop. <laughs> Stop. No, um, I, I think it's going to be a Western Conference team that walks away with the Stanley right. Cup this year just because the Stop Eastern it. Conference. Jacob, stop! stop. I think the West right. is. I think right. the West has better hey, teams no, as well. No, 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 no. Listen, I I was an asshole. I I cut him off. Jacob, please tell us why the Western is going to win. Which team from the Western I, Conference? I like Dallas. Uh, I, I do like that. Dallas, but go ahead, Jacob. I'm sorry, I cut you off. But I I just think that the Easter Conference playoffs are going to be a bloodbath. That's a good point. They're all kind of the, – the talent level is all sort of – except for one or one team, in my opinion, or two teams, put the Rangers in there. They're all kind of there, you know. They're all here. Yeah, I I, I've, got the, I've got the Dallas Stars over the New York Rangers in six games for okay. my Stanley Cup. I got – uh, no, I like that. That's not horrible. I'll, I'll, like, I'll take I'm the. Not, take I'm the, not against Pan, that. No one's going to fight Panthers and seven over the abs. Panthers and seven over the abs. Uh, Islanders are no put the fear of a white man seeing his girl attracted to BBC into the Rangers. How, how about we just put BBC into the Rangers? Just cut all I, that sentence off. I missed that. Let me let me reprocess that. What happened? The Islanders I, will put the fear of a white man seeing his girl attracted to BBC <laughs> into the Rangers. Basically, the way that we see a BBC and get afraid, that's what the Rangers so are. The, Islanders, the Islanders are the BBC. Get it? What, no, what's a BBC? Jeremy, what's a BBC? I don't think you read that right, Dave. Dave, Dave I don't think you read it's that right. It's the British Broadcast um, Company. BBC? British Broadcast Company. That's true. With the fear yeah. of the British in us. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so the, the Islanders are out there to get their girls' dominance back, is what I read that is. <laughs> That's pretty close. I've got I've got yeah. Dallas. I, I just think is I think the Dallas Stars are gonna win the Stanley Cup. The Dallas are one of my favorite teams when they're on, they're one of my favorite teams to watch. Fuck you, Jacob. What do you mean fuck me? <laughs> He's hitting I mean, on you. Fuck you. Fuck Literally. those Dallas Stars. Get out of here with your fucking West Coast. I think it's going to be the East Coast. That's why I say that. Because I think the East Coast gets the job done this year. Vegas got it last year. It was the expansion. West has It'll another the expansion. This year. There's a lot of Islanders. Isles, Isles on it. Here we go. I just go. I my, my thing is, I just think the Eastern Conference is going to eat itself. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't disagree Maybe. with your uh, synopsis there. I just, I just think that the East comes out there on top. The better team prevails, and the West is still trying to figure out who they are. You know, there's a lot of expansion. There's a lot of fumbling balls trying to figure it out. And all of a sudden, it got real. And the East are ready to get real. That's how it There's goes. only three teams in the East, realistically, that could win the Cup. That's Boston, Toronto, and Carolina. No, no that's not true. The Rangers who, who are missing in your process. Who else do you think? The Rangers. You're missing the Rangers in your no, process. The, the Rangers are not going nowhere near the Stanley Cup. Oh. All right. We'll, we'll revisit this. But here we go. Calgary 4-0. The revenge spot, boys. The revenge. Jacob. I'm going to peace out here. Are you cashing on this revenge spot? The team loses as a home favorite. They roll onto the road. They're a favorite. 555 wins, 285 losses. We keep riding this fucking revenge spot. Calgary's up now. Let's go, boys. Let's close it out. Yeah. All right, Nick has to get so out I got, of here. I got, I got some work I got to get Nick, done. Then I'm gonna God damn it. What do you got to do? I gotta record some videos and uh, do some prep he, for tomorrow. He gotta get his dick wet. All right, cool. All right, see ya. All right, have a good night, guys. You too, buddy. See you, Nick. Oh, Jacob. 
You're a fucking scumbag, and I say that with all due respect. You're fucking an NHL place. I'm going to challenge you here. Let's go. All right, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. What do we have? I haven't even looked at anything today. I haven't been able to bet recently. I've, I've had to go through uh, quite a bit of personal things, so I haven't really been betting. I just jumped on to be a part of the show with you fellas. Man, oh, man. I'd like to uh, I'd like to get involved. You know what we should do, Jacob? What's up? Why don't we do like a uh, NHL bracket with the boys here? Everybody can throw an NHL bracket together. You can put a bracket together on ESPN. Let's do a yeah, bracket. I'm, def I'm definitely down to do it. Um, just add me on uh, Twitter and we'll make it happen. Yeah, let's go. But I bet you, I'll tell you what, we do, uh, you guys want to do like, we'll just do like 10 bucks a pop. NHL yeah. bracket. Dave. Sure, I'm game. You involved in that? course i'm definitely down with that yeah let's have some fun let me i'll look i'll look uh tomorrow i'll like and there's a bunch of stuff i have to do but i'll look i'll see it'd be fun for us to have a little bracket my brother's in indonesia he would love to be a part of it let, but let, let, let me put a little something on top of it if you don't mind The winner takes the pot and gets a year's worth of free picks. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, fine. Yeah. <laughs> that seems fine. Does ever does? I mean, like that. That's for me. That's I don't care about that part. But I'll take the. Yeah, I'll take winner take all. Yeah. Let let. That'd be fun for me. Just something to do amongst friends. I'm down. I'm down for that. For definitely. I know I Nick. I just don't want to set I, it up. So I know Nick would be down for it. Of course he would. Yeah, I'll look. Uh, I'll look and see what it looks like for a uh, NHL bracket. I'll. I'll. I'll take that on for me. That'll be my project. So we're clear who's going to be in charge of. So are we going to do? Are happen. we going to do just teams? Or are we doing this thing like they're doing a PSR where you pick a, all these players? It's like a fantasy thing. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. I no, just want to do yeah, like either. a bracket, like a yeah. like an NHL bracket. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a uh, March Madness yeah. bracket. These are your teams. This is what you get. We'll uh, you get we'll a just point, do. There'll be point for every time. series that you win. What was but that? There's a way they do it. Like it's weighted, so you get like like yeah, one yeah. point or and then two points and then two three points, points in the first, yeah. like yeah. one. And then, or three, two, you know, there's a way to yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. Points wise. And I know they have uh, that stuff set up on ESPN. So I'll, I'll look at it. I'll figure it out. And then, uh, you know, we get, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, we throw 10 bucks on it. Who cares? Put 10 yeah, bucks. By Let's the have way, some fun. We Dave, get... I bet you're sweating in your boots right now. I mean, it is what it. I, it is what it is. I mean, this is the thing. I think that if the Capitals don't go, they've shit the bed because they all they had to do was win the majority of their games f a couple games ago, and they with the up. hardest schedule in the NHL. Uh, uh, they controlled their destiny, is all I'm saying. Whether or not they're facing good teams or not is another thing. Um, but I, here's the deal: I have no confidence in in. The, the Red Wings or the Penguins. I don't have any confidence in that. So it is, you know what I mean? Like, I can't even say anything about it. The thing that blows my mind is that 43 games in, Alex Ovechkin had nine goals. Yeah, He has 22 goals in his last 30 games. No, he's gone off. That's for sure. But his team, his, his team around him, just is you know. Sorry. It sucks. Yeah. It it really fucking sucks. Because I you wish my Dodgers first half over. Dave, give me something here. What do you want? Dodgers first half over minus half. Whatever. Throw something out there. Okay. Run line.
Oh, fuck me. My phone's about to die. I'm about to go back. My phone's about to die. All right. Well, if, we, if it dies, we love you. We're going to shut this down anyways pretty soon. I mean, we're there's still stuff to sweat out. But, I mean, I'm not – I'm trying to look for live bets and I, in hockey. That ain't happening. NBA. Dave, we're live betting and sweating our guy yeah. here, Winker. Who's Winker? Jesse Winker, RBI. Uh, you can bet right. on his next. Oh, oh, well, there we go. His next plate appearance, probably in the ninth. They're saying ball hit by pitch, strike, foul in play. I'm gonna take his in play. It's plus four seventy. Oh, the fuck. Well, whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, Dave, what do you got? A wedding tomorrow? Yeah. It's not even like a real wedding. It is a real wedding, but it's not. It's hard to explain what it is. Um, it's uh you mean like it's a uh, it's, it's too over it's two eighty plus it's two eighty plus people that decided they're f- fifteen years into dating they wanted to get married but not decided they're doing this for, obviously for some sort of back end insurance they're de- they're not they're already living together they've lived together forever like 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 they're not doing this for this they're but th- and they should just go down and get something signed at the courthouse but they don't want to do that they want to do and now it was it was just going to be me them and her friend now it's my mom's in town my brother's coming my fucking aunt is flying in red eye which is like the worst thing in the world because she's a tornado um so now it's a thing and it pisses me off i have to be involved in this and tomorrow isn't going to be 95 degrees i got to wear a black suit and i'm fat so Hate every part of it. It's not a happy wedding. Bullshit. And I can't bet. I can't live bet sports. That's actually probably the fucking thing I'm least happy about. All right. Well, what else can we can we bet anything else? I mean, I don't. I mean, literally. I mean, I could go for RBI props. But what else can I really bet here? What can I put up? Well, we, we do have this Vegas and over five and a half. Vegas is up four one. We need one goal. I know, but I, what can we bet now? I mean, I hope you win your bet you have in. I'm trying to find something we can bet. I don't think there's anything. I want to touch this Jazz Clippers game. Gold State money line plus six fifty. Yeah, nah, I don't think. I mean, go for it, but I. Uh, I'm not One quarter there. left. Yeah, there's no no thanks. The the Suns Kings the Kings uh, can the Suns do the Suns care about coming back? Maybe that's the play. What's the what's the what is the Suns plus four and a half or the over nine? No, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work. 99, 167. We have 10 minutes left. All right. Go ahead. What are you, what are you doing? Say, say I'm, just, I'm, just look, so I'm just looking. I'm just looking. It's a, I'm, uh, the, the, the Phoenix Suns could be a play plus four and a half, but that's not even that great. They're down nine. Um, the over 209 might be the play. Two and two and nine and a half. They'd, they'd have to score. Would well, they'd have to score one hundred and ten points? One hundred and eleven points. Hold on. I think. Hold on. The problem. The problem with betting the over. I guess it's really not a problem. Is if it's a blowout, then they put in both their other people, and there's no defense. So yeah, I think. I think the play. It's at 99 points, 209 and a half in Phoenix. I mean, basically, they have to score 50, 55 points per – what have they done? 55 points. They've done it. I mean, come on. Yeah, that's got to be it. They've done 56 and – okay, so that's that's my last bet of the day. I'm going Phoenix Suns, Sacramento 
DraftKings over 209 and a half. ESPN, I'm going to fucking go to Bristol and show you my flesh pistol. What? All right. It's thinking, it's thinking, we're in. Okay. Suns, Kings over 209 and a half. That's what we got. All right, let's go back to the let's go back to the where are you at now, Jay? Well, he, his phone died. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, Joe Krypton. Joe Krypton, I didn't see you come in here. We were too busy to stuck. All of us were fighting tonight. I don't even know what's going on. Um we're back. 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 all right. No, take your time. I got VGK and Reg. Um Thanks, Keith. It was kind of a dis- disjointed stream, but what do you expect? I mean, we get good ones, we get bad ones. That's what we do. We, we'll be here every Friday. I want to do more streams during the week. Um, it's just, is the juice worth the squeeze doing Wednesday and Thursday? I'll do them if there's stuff going on. Um, I probably should have streamed last night. I didn't put you on mute, but I'll mute you. I'll mute you, Mike. When you come back in, unmute yourself. Um, uh, Tuesday nights. Or you know, or I I leave open for who banging? They do their their thing, and if, obviously if PSR invites me, I go on theirs. But I want to do more. There's going to be more during hockey for sure. I mean, hockey and uh, basketball playoffs for sure. I'll probably end up competing with them, but I'm going to do them myself. I'm going to do my own streams, and we'll have less viewers. But and you get choices and go different places. Choices are good. Uh, what do we got? One of two of goal. Yeah, um, that was from before. Yes. Uh gotta get some ice for my drink. I, well, that's right. I need to start inviting you. You're not in the group chat, even though I didn't put the link in the group chat. Doesn't matter. Coming after ice and piss. If you're still here, shoot me a link. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm not get I know why. We all know that oh, we don't have to get in all that smoke and mirrors. We love love you, buddy. Smoke and mirrors. Uh we'll hang out for a bit. Um, more comments, more comments, more comments, uh, hockey unders, bro. You could do six and a half. Is this, is this like, um, train of thought? What do they call that in literature? When you, oh man, oh man, I wish I had something besides my finger to do this. Uh, before the third period starts, Dave, bet both unders in the NHL. Nah. That sounds I'm not in the getting crazy mood. I did. I. I. I want. I didn't want to sprinkle a little bit. I wanted to take a bet. I really like. So I did. Took a the over in the Kings game two on nine and a half. But that's not a bad. That's not a bad bet. I'm just Dave, come in your lessons on when to lay off. Well, thank you. <laughs> Winker plus two forty RBI cash. Two oh seven and a half. Plus two forty. What'd you yeah. get again? Two plus two forty is what? Winker. Winker. RBI. He got a home run. Cash. He did. I thought he wasn't batting until the ninth. Is it the ninth? Yeah. Must be the ninth. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna go put some stuff on Twitter. Winker. Did we My cash or what? My arp, yeah, Winker. What do you mean? We got that's my I don't know what's going on. on All right, call today. okay, let's go. Oh, came. <laughs> uh. Lexicon, did you you bet that two oh seven down? I'm assuming, unless you got it early, maybe you got it earlier. Always bet the correct score. I know you do. Different ways of betting. Um, I don't know. I try not to wreck bet. I do on the show wreck bet meaning like I put up. I bet most of my bets with my big boy unit and all of that the night before. Most of them. There's controversy either way. There are people like Mike who doesn't do it, and there's people that like Higgs that do it, and me that do it. They're just different, different stroke, different folks. They're both winners. We also cap differently. 
Um, in the live game, I'm not using the same unit, and I'm really not trying to get tricky people, and that's fine. Um, like Billy will bet on like whether the next pitch is a ball or a strike and all that. I'm not even saying I think that's nuts, but you can win because he does it. I don't like to get too tricky. Um, even betting periods in hockey, I'll do, but I, I mean, like, I if if I'm gonna take a bet, I'm gonna a, a live bet, and it's not gonna be a sprinkle. It's going to be something that I know how to cap and I feel comfortable doing. Um, but like, I don't spray the board. I don't do that. Unless I do. Okay. In UFC, uh, women, uh, the lady fights, I do. Sometimes I'll spray the whole entire board. I'll bet all the overs or parlay them all together, which I don't parlay, but that's just for fun. It's not like, you know, what I'm doing neither of the team. I know. I agree with, I I'm with you. I, I thought hockey, Mel and I were talking about this. I thought hockey, I thought hockey was extremely hard and I'm not a hockey. I'm just a novice. I thought hockey was extremely hard today. I thought for me, the only value was taking VGK puck line or the blues. If you're taking a side based upon the number and the team's motivation, VGK is going to cash. I think the blues didn't, the blues lost. So Dale, I'm going to spray in your face Dale. Do you like do you like my advice? I I don't know what 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 yeah some some of it I mean in general Mel I mean yeah I don't I don't mind it Mike what do you think about what you, you Joe you want Mike to go read every comment you just put I'm not gonna read every comment <laughs> that's what I was gonna say <laughs> yeah I just got back here oh my cocktail's even done I'm gonna have to go back all right he's so, oh his his, his yeah, go ahead. It's fine. It's it's we're past that. We're past the point, Joe, of getting the advice you want. Bet it then. But I, I bet what I bet. I'm not betting anything else. This will be my last bet for the show. We're gonna sweat out. There's a baseball game. Um I wasn't vindictive and bet the Cardinals, but I should have, apparently. Um, but that's just a stupid, stupid fucking game all around. Just stupid. No one wins that game except for Nick. That wasn't the plan. Mike and I were supposed to win. Um, did did he get it? That game's still going on. Yeah, Winker got it in the ninth. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Is that a risk-free bet? Both unders. So are you telling me it's a risk-free bet? If I bet it, you'll give me my money back in bonus bets? I don't think it's a bad bet. I'm not going to bet it. Definitely don't think it's a bad bet. I question, I mean, you got in the NBA and the NHL, you just got to question where motivation is right now. It's really hard to find it in the NBA because... These guys don't have motivation anyways. These guys are – what motivates them is not even money even sometimes. It's ego. I can't imagine – Mike Mike, and I agree with this. I can't imagine being a professional sports player, playing sports all your life, and not having the, the, the inner drive to play all the time and to win all the time. These guys want to sit out. I mean – I think Ben Simmons, guys like Ben Simmons should be kicked out of the league. It was very apparent that Ben Simmons' only deal was to get to get in and play minimally. Um, Kawhi Leonard's another guy I kind of question, even though when Kawhi Leonard turn, turns it on, he's awesome. He, you know, he won, he's won two, right? Two Vegas two. scores again. Who does? Vegas. Vegas, yeah. The play was Vegas puck line. I knew it. I didn't take it. It scared me off, but you congrats, you guys. Flames Duck is ending 4 0. You no, know, Joe, I hope you win, buddy. I hope you bet. I hope you win. Uh, tomorrow, I don't even want. Looking, even looking at the games tomorrow makes me dread tomorrow. Damn it. Tomorrow's going to suck. Um, Tomorrow's a day. This is why tomorrow. You want to know why tomorrow sucks, Mike? This is why tomorrow sucks. I'm going to go through a day of hell and I won't even be able to drink afterwards. I'm going to have to cope on my own. That is horrible. Your Dallas advice? Sure. I don't know what it was. I'm remembering your. 
Warriors plus four and a half. Get it. Um, what was your – no, your Dallas advice. Okay, what was your Dallas advice? Go up through all the comments. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. No, they find a way – okay, there we go. Find a way back to Vegas. Puck line, double rest, team total, something. Um, let's look. First, we got to look at – the most important thing to me is – so the Kraken who are eliminated, right? They're minus two. Four. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Dallas wins tomorrow. Puck line. What's if the puck line's negative? I'm not taking either. You know, I don't. I don't lay. I don't lay goals or runs and juice. I don't run lay them both. If I get a positive puck line, I'll take it. You're not going to get one. Maybe you will. It's minus two forty. Let's see where it's at. Um, All right, we're down to this play. The Warriors minus four. They're down. It's plus three. Money. Yeah, but I gave it out earlier today. No, 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 no. I got no. I got you. Yeah, no. You're. I was talking about someone else. Yeah, the, the, they're they're coming back. I wish they would have scored one more bucket in the third. But you want you want me to you want me to give a winner. So Mel, the whole time I was here, first of all, Mel. I do free play videos every night. I pick a play and before I give it out. They've done pretty well. I think they're like, since I started doing them, I'm like 12 and eight or something like that. So it's a little bit of a winner. It's not crazy, but it's good. You know, it's good. Um, my my winner, my winner tonight was the Dodgers team total that cashed in the second inning. That was my winner tonight. What do you mean I want to give out a winner? By the way, I have my record up for two years, play by play. Go check that out. See how many winners I've given. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get. No, I'm not gonna give you a hockey play. You want to know why? I've kept hockey for two years. I've given a shit about hockey for two years. Before that, I, don't, I still kind of don't care as much about hockey as other sports. I don't. So I'm not gonna give you an NHL bet. I'll never, ever, ever give you an NHL bet. You can give me them. I'm gonna give them out. But you know, you know what? I talk to people about my NHL bets. They scoff at them. NHL people. It's funny because I'm actually positive on NHL, but they don't want to hear me cap NHL, the people that know NHL, because they know it better than me. I want to give, oh, you want to give me a winner? A puck? Okay, this is the best one you've given me. A plus money puck line, which is good. But the problem is, Mel, and this isn't your fault. Every time I take one of your bets and they're good, even if I think they're good, they lose. I don't know why. I mush. I mush your bets. I did this to other people too earlier in my career. How, did that hit, Joe? Did you hit your parlay? Live bet the Nationals money line? It's so hard for me to bet the Nationals anything, but yeah. You know. No, I, I, uh, Mel's actually down on her team a lot there, Dale. Like she, she, um, doesn't always. I don't know if she bets against them, but she doesn't always bet them. I don't mind this. You know what? I really don't mind the stars tomorrow at noon. It's on ABC. The stars puck land tomorrow. I really don't mind that at all. If I can get plus one ten. My Saturday early NHL action is terrible. I might be O forever. Really? All of it, Dave. I. I don't. I don't even understand it. I I should start fading myself because I would. I'd be winner. And until seven p.m. Until seven p.m. Saturday, everything I liked early faded. Yeah, After that's like me on Thursdays this year. No, I'm with. I mean, yeah. Sure. I'm not even mad at anybody that wants to fade my early picks. Fade me. I, uh, I mean, the only thing I got going for me on the early picks is I can't lose them all. <laughs> <laughs> and I've lost them all for so long. I would fully support fade my early picks. But we'll see what happens. I'm not going to be up here early. So yeah, you're going to be dealt with me at my 
USC 300 picks. Dave, what do you got going on tomorrow? You got a wedding? Unfortunately. Well, are they going to understand when you're an important role to what's happening here for our pets the rest of the night? I can't, t- Mike. Um, if I had a colonoscopy tomorrow, I might dread that <laughs> less. My, I might dread that less than what has to happen tomorrow. I'm not even exaggerating. Everything was going to be fine until I found out my aunt's flying in. That is, it, that, that really changed. She, she, she makes everyone's life miserable and she, she will affect, she, she will make sure that she affects everything's about her. And it's just the worst. She tried Sounds to, like- she tried. Uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you. She's just nuts. Um, literally, she's nuts. But uh, it'll be over. And when it's over, well, the problem is it's over. Then we have to go to dinner at, at this place that I don't want to go to. Um, so I might not be back until like the earliest I'll be back. It's like a, le- a, a 10 or 11 East Coast time. The earliest if I escape. Jeez. <laughs> it, it's miserable. I, I mean, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. Actually, let's fucking. I'm not fucking thinking about this. Um, mm-hmm. Suns, Kings. What's the live line looking at for that total? Did we get? Did we? Get, are we gonna get? Are we gonna get one? Are we gonna look good or what? Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. We're looking good. You got your winker. Your butt. You got your butt winker. You got. Hold on a second. Did you get the two pillows that are up there? Are you okay? You just wake up or something? The, the, the two pillows that were on top of the on top of the blanket. I don't have those two pillows. No, not you. Well, well I could use my the, life is in shambles. Or I get a butt winker. You know the the butt winker is the wink. I just call them butt winker. But you hit butt winker. Um, that had to have been plus money. <laughs> No, Dale, it's not that simple. It's really, I mean, it's complicated mind games. And when I'm dealing with when I'm dealing with 80 year old people that don't understand why I'm treating this girl like she should be, or this woman like she should be treated, they think I'm the bad guy. So it's it's a weird dynamic. It's such a weird dynamic. Um, the play, she said Dallas. Yeah, that's the one. Dallas puck line flea. Dallas puck line. Where the fuck is coming from, Dale? What the hell have I ever done to you? Yeah, let's fight. Everyone's fighting today. Thank you. Is that the one with the... Yeah. the it's a butt wanker? No. I have to... You don't <laughs> even know. My life is in shambles right now. I, I'm definitely eating half a can of whipped cream after this. Just definitely keto. Ready whip. I, mean, I might even turn it upside down and inhale the the nitrous oxide. Take the nitrous. What would no, you? That's a gift. I'm not doing that. Nitrous is a gift. Yeah, panger. That's what. That's why I was said. I don't feel comfortable with the dot. I, okay, the run. The run line was a, a play. Okay, but the fucking team told they just score runs against these Padres team. When Dodgers and Padres runs, at least for now, at least until it isn't a thing. You know, Mel, you're okay. Mel, we all want your advice. You, 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 you get mad at Dale for that, but you don't get mad at me when I give you a hard time. I give you a hard time every show. All right, so the stars tomorrow. What else do I like? To, oh, she also like the Jets and Avs. She was talking about as well. Um, Avs Capital for playing one. the Lightning. Avs minus one in case they lose. No. Okay. In case the Avs lose, take a minus one so it keeps the price down. <laughs> Can Pittsburgh beat yeah. Boston tomorrow? Maybe. They, they missed it, but uh, no, you know what I'm saying. You said the Avs minus one in case they lose. Yep. Keeps price down, Dave. I would say I would say that if this if this paid any sort of bill except for the um stream yard. <laughs> no, I it's just miserable, man. I, I I shouldn't even be bitching you guys, but just imagine, just imagine your work like the one everyone has this. Just imagine your worst. Now, granted, I'm not talking about like getting diddled by your uncle or something, but imagine the worst thing that can happen in your, like the worst interaction you can have in your family. That's what's happening. 
tomorrow. Just think you all have a you all have a cousin that you hate or or you or you have daddy issues or something. You all guys, you all have them out there. I have one and it's with my aunt. And it didn't it I would <laughs> I, I didn't even have to deal with her for years until she butted into things. I just, was, I just, uh, anyway, you got two separate Dodger plays. I already hit my Simeon parley. Okay. What do we got? I already hit my Simeon parley team total over five enough. You got it. No tiny home run. You got it. This was all pregame. Good job. Dodger run line. Honestly, don't care if it loses. I did. Get, yeah. You, if you won, you know, you can't win them. You can win them all, but yeah, Joe, I got it. No, my, my mom's great. She's, she's awesome. Dave. Aunt, my sister. Those are the two. It's five two Vegas over the Minnesota Wild. We had Vegas and the over. Did it cash? And a half, plus one seventy five. Oh, it already let's cashed because it's already there. Yeah, let's fucking go. Halfway through the third quarter. Yep. What else do we got? We played a lot of videos. You don't like me playing the yeah, ding. We got game. another. We got another one going on deck. So keep. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right, Dave. The next one we have here, we're in the third period. There's 13 minutes to go. But Calgary is up 4 2 in the revenge spot against the Ducks. Might as well roll one for this one here 4 2. 13 to go, and I got to go. Okay. okay. I'll, ro I'll roll it, and then you're out of here. <laughs> All right. Let's do this one. You like this one. Grab his dick and twist it! Oh my god, dude, this is an MMA fight, dude! Dude, Too twist much. that dick! Twist his dick! Twist his dick! Oh, god, dude. oh my god! No, dick well, well, Mike, thank you for being here. Do you want to say? Do you want to say anything? I don't want that one. Can we find that one? I, I wish I, I wish I could play do it, and I had it. No, I do not. I do not have that one. I wish I could. You're I think it's asshole, copyright. Dave. You're an asshole. I know. <laughs> uh, Painter, oh, yeah. I, I already, I already gave that out at halftime. It's, it was the over two hundred nine and a half. The over's like way ten points higher than that now. Mm. We got Calgary, mm. and we got the Vegas and the over five and a half. Mm. Mm. See, this is the problem. People that don't know that joke are thinking that you're stroking out right now. <laughs> uh, uh, a lot. Let's keep cashing. I, I, uh, yeah, I probably revenge spot for the Rangers tomorrow? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for me, I'm betting the Islanders tomorrow. If I bet that game, I bet the Islanders. Hey, Dave. All right, buddy. Uh, you know if, what? if you guys don't know, Mike has a show tomorrow. Watch it. UFC show, everything show. It's tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, you should fucking be there. I would be there. You know I would. I'll, I'll keep How often do I say I have to do something that ever pulls me away 100%? Rarely. There's a couple times I have to go do something with my grandpa or whatever. Took me a minute. No, I get you. No. But, Maybe I'll stream. Oh, dude, should I come? In? Uh, no, no, I'm not doing that. Anyway, that. all right. Alexa Ponce says 6 2 Vegas. Vegas. And the, listen, Dave. 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 Do you hear me? Oh, yeah. If you're going to bet teams the last week of the season, you got to take some risk reward. You know, a lot of people bet the last week of the season, just like it's everything else. Or other people say, I'm not betting it at all. No. Find a spot, bet big plus money, and they'll quit after it. That's it. Shut them down. You get plus money, fuck them. Who cares? Here we go. Vegas over five and a half plus. Uh, 200, give or take. You know what we kills me, Mike? You're complete. Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, go ahead, Dave. 
Oh. You're completely you're you're completely right. And so I'm try I I sat and I labored the NBA. I said fuck that. But I sat and labored over the NHL, and I had two spots that I ultimately didn't bet. But the best bet that I liked, and it kills me, it pains me because I was this close. It made one list, but didn't make the next. Was VGK's puck line? Uh, I don't bet a lot of puck lines. It's it's got to, it takes me a lot to get on them. But this to me makes sense because VGK has shit to play for. Or at least this game they did. Now they locked it up, right? So um, or they are they bumped the Blues out essentially. Anyway, I like that bet, and I didn't bet it, so it pains me because it was a plus money bet. Yeah, I, you know. I don't know what to say, Dave. Can't believe you go, you go, dude. This is this is how Mike fucking shoots lightning bolts out of his wiener. He goes, "Oh, I'm on Winker's home run. He has one more at bat in the ninth. Then the ninth comes up. We're not even paying attention to it. Oh, I look at the game cast. Winker hit a home run in the ninth, and it's like, what the fuck? Did you do you do you have the, the sports really almanac?" Did Winker just really hit an RBI? Stop. He had a home run in the ninth, didn't he? Stop. We already went talked about this. Winker homered 387 feet in the ninth. The homer's an RBI. <laughs> it's it's disgusting. This is what I'm saying. Like I I'm I'm sure you own a fucking DeLorean, dude. There's just no way. It just it doesn't even make sense. You're like, oh, he has one more at bat. <laughs> I need to... Actually, he's gonna have more now because it's extra innings. But you know what I mean. Yeah, it's okay, Panger. It's we get high, we, we drink. We that's what we do on the show. If you, I don't know if you remember Dave. Dave used to get a little, a little uh, partake drinking se cherry seven diet right, cherry we'll seven. This... We'll put the smoke down and see if I can do this real quick. Hang on, don't go anywhere. You gonna do a, a handstand? Don't Let's check our live cool. bit. We're slow. Let's check our live bet. Where are we at this over in this game? We got the over at uh 209 and a half. Live over is a 222 and a half. Don't slow down. I've seen this shit slow down before. This shit. This shit. All oh, these people. All oh, these people. Mm. A's beat mm. the Nationals two to one. Did that just happen right now? Yeah, it did. It was Butler single to left. Schumann scored. Mm. I guess I didn't bet Ooh. that game. Mike, Mike did with the Winker, Tinker Winker. I gotta work on this Winker thing. <laughs> we got um. Middle of the third, Arizona. Arizona can come back, hit six, get six runs in one inning. They can get three in one, right? That would make sense. Shit. Holy fuck. The Ducks scored three goals in the third period. Holy fuck. Hope no one had the hope. Hope no one had the puck line there. Serves you right for taking the Flames puck line. What are you doing? Even I know. Even I know you don't do that. I think the Flames money line. You getting busted up? Would you take the money line or the or the puck line? Oh, I just had the money line. Yeah, they're winning. They're winning, but they just their four and zero margin went to four and four and zero to four and three, four to three. Ducks live. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there's any live action I have. I don't have any live action. I'm just sweating out this this over in this in this uh, Suns game. 
Good job on the Golden Knights Wild game for all the people that bet VGK and the people that bet the over. Flames and Ducks. Flames are still holding on. Let's hope they hold on. Ace just beat the Nationals. The Cardinals D backs game went the exact opposite way for everyone involved. It just is disgusting. Except for Nick. Nick won. So good job for Nick. And by the way, Nick wins tonight because he's uh he's letting the balls hang out right now. Let's hope that's what's happening. Have to enjoy some ice cream cake and some <laughs> and some co ed. <laughs> oh, the life. I got one. I just posted okay. it. Winker plus two thirty. No, I posted it on Twitter. Oh, it's for tomorrow. Winker plus two thirty RBI. Last call. Last oh, time. you're going. You're going back. Where you got? Yeah, yeah. You go. Fuck yeah. You know what's yeah. fucked up? I'll tell you hmm. what's fucked up. My um, RBIs. The team I think is going to win play the other side for the RBIs. That's is that has that been a thing where you you think the team that's going to win you pick an RBI on the other side? Well, it's just that correlated, and that makes a lot of sense for this one. Well, it's not correlated, it's but it's like one. It's it's like saying this this guy eats a a, a, a coney with mustard and he hits. A home. I mean, it's like it's anything else. I mean, it has nothing to do with the other the other. Yeah, just a matter of uh, which guy's going to score. They score, and the other team ends up winning. It used to be where I was like, oh, I think this team, it's going to go over. This team's going to get it done. Let me go put players on this side. Yeah, now yeah, I'm yeah. I'm looking at yeah. it going, this game's going to go over. Let me get guys on the other side that I think are going to win to push it up. Fuck Fuck the side I think is going to win. Let me just get. No, you know, you make a good point because what what happens is is when you have a team you think is going to win and and you and you want to bet that and you core, you're missing your mind is is not in the right mindset to look at the other side to find better props because oftentimes, um, especially I think for me in football this is the same way. Like I, if I like a rushing prop on a, on the Niners for 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 CMC or whatever, my mind's not even in the right place to look at the other team to see what other spots there are for player props. So. Right. That's a good, that's a very valid point. What do we need in this? What's 78 plus 85? 70 plus 85 is RBI. one, two, three, 47. 47 points in a quarter. Can you shit the bed? I've seen it happen. Can they shit the bed? We will find out. Any chance of flames and duck games in four to three? I bet, I bet it does. I mean, who? I wouldn't bet against it. I would not bet against it, ladies and gents. But thanks everyone for watching. Um, I'll, I'm going to sit here through the end of the end of the Kings game, and whatever else happens in between. If you guys have questions, I don't have any. I haven't looked at tomorrow yet. Uh, like I said, tomorrow can't come and end quick enough for me. Um, What do we got? Who's pitching tomorrow? Let's take a look. Oh, Cookie. Oh, Cookie Carrasco goes tomorrow. They, oh, there was a. Yeah, I don't know what the line is there, but man, oh man, would I be on the Yankees first five? It's probably juiced. Ah, they're on the road. I might look at that. Fate Cookie. Uh, Cuntamayet is pitching. He hasn't been pitching that great, so stay off that. Sean Manaya inexplicably has been pitching well, uh, but the Royals are there, and I say the Royals can't be trusted. I don't care. How good they've been. Crotchet's pitching for tomorrow, or Crochet, whatever his name is. I like him a lot. I like what I see. Um, obviously, I like his, his two outings this year so far. I I like it. They're, they're starting to turn him into – trying to turn him into a uh, a starter. How can I bet the White Sox, though? Can I? The skinny line. He's going up against Lodolo. Lodolo's first start this year. Question marks all around. I'll have to see how the White Sox are hitting left-handed pitching. That'll make my stance. Uh, Rodriguez, Hudson, Rockies, Blue Jays, no thank you. It'd be actually be Rockies or nothing. Fair enough. Uh, Brewers, Orioles next. Um, 
Phillies Pirates. Maybe a, uh, I need to look, but I, I depending upon where that total is, if it's high, I might go under. Maybe first five under. I don't know. Rangers Astros. Man, oh man, the book the book's still putting the Rangers are eight and six. The Astros are four and eleven, and the they're still Rangers are hanging one forty five. I don't know. Nats A's. Nats 130, A's plus 110. Boyle, the fucking shitty pitchers. Uh, Red Sox don't have a pitcher announced yet. Braves Marlins. So what, Braves Braves team total maybe? Pepiot and Webb for Giants Rays. Pepiot, he was, he was a decent pitcher. That's that's a pick em. I'd pick the home team. I'd pick the Rays. Uh, second game of that. Nelson Gibson, Cardinals, Diamondbacks. I'd probably go the over looking at these pitchers and what's going on. Look look at the over in that one. Dodgers, Padres. I'll probably look at the team total again just because they're playing the Padres. And then Cubs, Mariners. Cubs are big favorite because of the dude on the mound. Imanaga. I don't know. A lot of question marks. Nothing that jumps out at me. Nothing that jumps out of me. Phil's on an under streak. Yeah. 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 So that's when I left Phil's Pirates under. That was when I talked about like that. Oh, G's got a horse bet. He bet almost every horse in the race. <laughs> Good luck, G. A golden night. Uh, it's a minute and a half left. Knights aren't going to score six goals. That's a winner. Six minutes left in Calgary Ducks. Calgary up 4 3. We started the fourth quarter. Suns Kings. We're looking for two two hundred and ten points as a casher total points. Man, oh man, the Bucks are Bucks are just fucking it up. Spurs beat the Nuggets outright. Jeez. Celtics blew the Hornets out. Why are they playing? Maybe that's just the Hornets are so bad, but fuck the Pelicans. Anyways. Vegas and the over five and a half was free money tonight. It was. Free money. He's texting me at this time of time of night. All right, well, we're going to go through the end of this Kings game and the over. If I was a betting man, I would bet. Shut it down. We can we can shut it down if you want to. I don't I am going to I'm just going to bet that no one took that bet, but that's okay. I could care less. Lock sure. of the what's lock of the day? Uh the halftime the halftime over in the Suns game or the or the full game live to, live total over in the in the Suns game. And it's gonna, it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna soar over. Sun's coming only down four. Okay, LA Dodgers bottom of the eighth. Pray, pray. Are you on the Suns? Yeah, the Suns were favored, weren't they? All right. If one person in the chat tells me, I'll just, I'll just wait thirty seconds. But one person wants to sweat out the Suns game. We can we can sweat that out. It's not much time left. If no one wants to, then we'll we'll get out of here. Took them down nine on the money line. Okay, Dodgers Dodgers Padres. Calgary Flames scored again. There you go. Okay, Dale wants to sweat it out. Okay, Panger wants to sweat it out. We'll sweat it out. Yeah, tomorrow. I think I like the Dodgers team total over. I think I like the under and Pittsburgh Phillies. Those are the only two things that are jumping out at me there. I probably will not be betting NBA. I could find something, I guess. But there's, fuck, there's just fuckery all around. There's fuckery all around. I, I'd bet it live if I was able to, but I'm not going to be able to tomorrow. And then hockey, I do like Mel's Stars play. Stars puck line. I do like that tomorrow.
I do like that. I think I will bet it. All right. Get back to this uh, Suns Kings fuck all. Three minutes in, they've scored almost 20 points. That's good. That's good. Oh, this, this fucking game's on TV. I get this game here because I'm in Arizona. See, there's so much I know. Let's watch this game live. What are we doing? We're sweating this out. We're not even watching it. Oh, there's no NBA tomorrow? Okay. Well, that shows you how much I know or care. All baseball. I wish I could baseball, be watching the UFC. And UFC 300. Man, I wish I could be watching the UFC. So bad. Um, is there any way I can get out of it? No, there's no fuck. There's no fucking way I can get home before eleven. There's just no way. Oh, so miserable. Can't even bet Yan Jing Nan or whatever her name is. <laughs> is she the favorite? I wonder. Yeah, yeah, Wiley or whatever. It's Zhang versus John Jing. I don't know. Fanduel. Should really learn how to say those names. I sound horribly prejudiced. Mm. All right, Dave. I'm done. We're done. All right. I'll stay with the crew here. Mike. This is Mike. Catch him on last call, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time on PSR. Are you staying also, up? You're going after it? I'm gonna wait for the end of the, the basketball game. It's got 10 minutes left. You can I mean stick around or go. I mean either one. It's up to you. Fuck you, smoke. <laughs> I don't need my wife to be out of town to hang out. How about that, smoke? <laughs> oh burn. Moated, moated, butt exploded. Nah, I love smoke. Smoke's a good dude. Yes, I, will... I can't even see straight. Smoke, I'll sweat good. it, but I can't see straight. I got shit going on everywhere. Can't even talk straight. Kings I'd like to bet some good. horses. I'd like to bet some horses with you boys here. Let me see if I got. No scoring in a minute. Come on. Get the fuck up. Let me see if I can find the. Uh... Big strap race here. Feels like they got to be rolling down to some finishes. Let's go. Oh, there's Kel Expo. Frazier Downs. Kel Expo. Oh, I got money in the account, too. <laughs> That's the best. Bad. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. A lot of money. So we've had no scoring in like a minute in this fucking basketball game. It's probably because we All right, let's it go on. with the one five six. Why not? Let's go. Cal Expo. Dave, you left me here. I left you. I'm gonna do it. One five six. Thanks, Dale. Cal I appreciate Expo it. Expo race number eight. Yeah, I'm watching the Phoenix game. Kind sir. One five ben. six, Dave Cal Expo. One five six Cal Expo. You heard it here first. It's in Sacramento. We have it's right downs in six minutes. Oh geez. Let's see what happens. I forgot about Let's it. See if we get this one here with the one five six. The one five. It's not going to pay glorious. Mike took all one to one, one to one uh, odds. It's not true. <laughs> the one is two to one. The five is seven to one. Well, that'll and pay good. Six is nine to two. 
Ah, uh, the nine to two will get it. Well, if you can fit, if that gets set, get the seven to one, get the fucking seven to one up there. Uh, let's see what happens. We got Calgary scored again, six three Flames revenge. I want. I'm kind of stoked for the. I'm kind of stoked for the big events like the Derby and shit this year. It's my second year into betting horses, and I kind of know what I'm doing and looking at stuff and. Lest we forget last derby, if I would have kept in two fills instead of taking them out based on someone's cap, I would have had a superfecta and I would be at that point it was twelve hundred dollars richer, but who's counting? Right. Who's even run we don't I guess you don't it's too early to know. Fast cap <laughs> yeah. You know, Ben, you know what it is, Ben? It's looking at them, looking at the names and the colors. <laughs> Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not betting and I want you guys, all you guys to win. I just want this stupid, stupid basketball game to go over. All they needed to score was um, 47 points in the fourth quarter after scoring 60 some fucking points. It's a 221. We need to score 25 more points in seven and three quarters minutes. That is three, a little over three points a minute. And uh, the average, NBA average, is well over four points a quarter or four points a minute. Used to be, before this year, I haven't even looked at it. This year, the fucking total the past two years the totals have blown up but like 222 224 was a, was a big total right or a, or a decent total i think that was about the average around 220 but uh divide that by 48 yeah 4.66 that's a 225 so they were scoring in the 230s and 40s regularly three minutes three minutes a quarters or three minutes a minute Three points a minute is not hard. Let us know how that race goes, Mike. We're racing now. It's post time. The gate's up. What kind of car? We up? Is it an El Camino? Is it a sedan or is it a truck? It's a car. Nice. It's like a Chevy Calais. <laughs> One, five, <laughs> six. We got. It's definitely a. Uh, it might be a Buick. I don't know. One five six, I believe, are the numbers we got. Let's see what we got. One five six are the numbers we got. That Buick just dropped it into gear. Here we go. Gates up. One five six. We're looking for. One five six. The one horse sweaty. One five. Six. The seven, two, the one, and the three. One, five, six. It looks like our six is at the back. Trying to pick up stride, but not successful in it. Seven, two, one, three. One, five, six. We're looking for. Let's see what happens at Cal Expo. The seven, six to one out front right now. The two, 25 to one. This motherfucker's going to pay if those horses get it done. But here comes the one. Here comes the one. Seven to five outside. The six is making moves from the back. The six is now back. Four horses back. And racing on the outside. Let's go, six. We got the one, the five, and the six. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The five is following the six, making a move from the back. Second to the back. Got the back to be third from the back. Let's go, oh, baby. Seven, two, one, six right now as they make what looks like the final turn. But these horses have gas. They have gas. And then they gassed out. And then they gassed out. Look at this. Oh, what the fuck happened here? 
Clippers. What happened there? I pop a tire on the chariot. I mean, everybody did. What was that first horse that get through? Do we have, are we alive? I don't think so. That was like the seven. The seven was six to five, too. Let's see what happened here. Oh, the horse waved its tail on the guy's face. Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh, no. Because you know, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it just keeps whacking him in the face with it. Oh. Is that the seven? Fuck. You know there's chunks of fucking. Ugh, that makes me want to throw up. I think I'm going to stream on Sunday just because I'm so happy that Saturday's over. I'll just be in a good mood. Just stream all day. What we should do. Absolutely nothing going on on Sunday. Uh, uh, dude, you know I've raced uh, Frazier Downs too much Yeah. when I see Vertical Squirt. You've seen it too. You've, I have. You recognize the name Vertical Squirt. Yep. How can we not bet that one now? It's the one. Okay, we'll bet it. It's the one. We go one, two, five on this one at uh, Razor Downs. One, two, five. We got to incorporate vertical squirt. One, two, five. Vertical squirt. This will be my last one, Dave. All right. We're winding Dave, down. Dave, on this yeah. Winding down. I got on the this one squirt. vertical squirt. I got the two Joe DiMaggio. And I got the five loaded dragon. One, two, five. Vertical squirt. That sucks. We would have gone three and one on Primo's. The fucking stupid fucking Cardinals pitcher didn't fucking up. Bam, bam, bam. Two one and one isn't bad. I mind you being on the syrup slow. I'm just tired. It's. I mean, it's not really late here, but um, you know, I'm just tired. They are doing shit, you know, being on stream, being on stream for six hours. And, you know, when we were boozing, it kind of gives you a little energy, which is kind of the opposite of what you think. But time for Japanese basketball, you go for it, bud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got you. We have, what do we got left? We got four minutes left in this game, three minutes left. You know, it's going to take forever. They're also kind of close. So there might be foul fuckery. Let's get that. Uh, I like Sunday's card for baseball. I'm already looking at some spots. I might I wake up early and do a stream. Yeah, I don't know. Um, two, four, four. They got to score 10 points, 11 points in four minutes and 48 seconds. 38 seconds, 37. It's on TV. You could do this. This will be two, so we're two one and one. I took that fight two one and one, three one and one, four one and one, and then I lost the stupid Golden State Warriors. So it's four two and one on the show. Not bad, nothing big. Four two and one. That's over a over a unit. It's, it's lower lower volume for me today. I only had four pre flop bets today. Usually have double that pre flop at least. Yeah, it's looking good, coin. It just seemed too low. It didn't make any sense. They they uh, I, uh, quarter by quarter they needed fifty five for quarter. Uh, to sorry, fifty five fifty. So they needed one hundred eleven points. So fifty five and a half per quarter, and they had gotten that both quarters, and the game was close. Or close enough. 
we're not there yet. You can see some stupid stuff. I've watched I watched the Memphis Grizzlies not score for five minutes in a game this year. Screw up my screw up my over. Lost it by two points. The other team happened to not score in the last two minutes. There's no scoring for two minutes. So how do you lose that? Uh, that in that case, lose by two, and that happens is crazy. But they're missing right now. Down five. Oh, you yeah, you need the you need the money line. Foul on Phoenix. The Tobias Harris? Yeah, he got fouled by who the fuck is it? O'Neal. You gotta be a real I'm gonna tell you this right now. I you, you kinda gotta be a vertical gotta, squirt. Did it win? No, it's on the screen right now. I'm sorry. Fuck I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now, Mike, and you'll agree with me. To, to be to – be, I know I know you'll agree with me. To have a number zero, you kind of have to be kind of an asshole. If you're double zero, you're a major asshole. Like what, what oh, asshole yeah. has double zero? I mean – Sorry, we can't give you zero, but we can give you double zero. Double zero. Oh, rum raisins. Rum and ra see, this is the problem, Dave. With Mike's looking up ice cream. No, I don't like rum raisin, but I'm saying we have this horse again rolling. You know, that's the thing about these ponies here with the chariots. They don't go four or five weeks, they go every week here. Rum raisin is 12 to 1. We have the one, the two, and the Five. We have vertical squirt. We have Joe DiMaggio, and we have loaded dragon. One, the two, and the five. What is your We're favorite? Zero minutes to post, Dave. We're zero minutes to post. I need a cocktail, but all right. Well, think about this while you're gone. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? And then come back and tell us. Mm. I don't know mine. I can name off a couple. In the chat, what's your I'm favorite like ice cookie cream? Down. Cookie dough. That's a good one. Put in the chat what's your like favorite I like cookie dough with uh, the Oreo cookie in yeah, though, too. Give me oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or the, the like a double cookie dough with vanilla the hydrox, ice cream. I don't like the, the, hydrox I don't like the other ice cream. Yeah. Well, my favorite brand go. by far is Hagen dazs That's for sure. Yeah, there's a brand around here, Briars. They they Briars. Even Turk Hill is another good one. As long as they have good cream, they're well, fucking ice cream salad. I don't ice cream. Is all cream. I'll tell you what, my two favorites are chocolate peanut butter. I had the, the hardened chunks of peanut butter in the chocolate ice cream, or and this is controversial, green tea ice cream. The Dave, I saw something with somebody the other day. They had the uh, the pint of haagen right? Yeah. And they had they cut it in quarters, right? So the, from the top down, they cut it in quarters. Yeah. yeah. And they stuffed a stick in there. When they pulled the um, cardboard away, they had fucking quarter haagen on a stick. I thought that was pretty clever. You have to be really cold to do that. Like, fucking... Like, you know, I thought though, like if you're gonna if you're gonna hook up a bunch of du four dudes, here you go. I'm I also like the old Christie's ice cream, black cherry ice cream. That was good. The black cherry was good. Bacon. I've had bacon and ice cream before. Yeah, at some fucking yeah, place in LA. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good. I don't. I'm not a big sweets guy. So all right, cash it. Cash it with a minute forty five left. Two oh nine. And a half over in the Suns Kings game. We took that live. There we the go. One, no video the needed. The five, Dave, at Frazier. Here we go. The last race of the night. We've got the one, the two, and the five. Is We've it the last the race? Four. Roman Raisin. Is there's that fucking four? I just talked. God damn it. I just said Roman Raisins. He's out front. The two, Joe DiMaggio is right behind him. The six and the one. The six, Joe Rich is trying to make a move as they roll on here. They're halfway through the race. They're getting to the three-quarter turn. 
six, Joe Rich. We got the one, the two, and the five. The six, Joe Rich, Roman Raisins. There's our two, Joe DiMaggio, seven to five in vertical squirt. Eight to one in the four spot. The two, Joe DiMaggio, making a move. Roman Raisins. I remember that fucking horse. I'll remember it again going forward. Here we go. The two is in second. The six, Joe Rich, and then there's Vertical Squirt. Let's go, Vertical Squirt. Let's go, baby. The four, Roman Raisins. God damn, 12 to one still out front. Joe DiMaggio, seven to five, is trying to make a move on the final turn. He's in the center lane with Vertical. The uh, <laughs> Roman Raisins on the inside. There we go, the Two is out front, the one and the four. The two and the one, we cash it. The two yeah. and the one. We'll see what the final is, but it looks like we cash it. The two is the track favorite. The two pulled up on the outside, no bueno. And then it looks like the one just trotted along to the four. It looks like a two one four, and we have the two and the one. The two one's gonna pay sixteen to one. Oops, we might bad. as well roll back to Cal Expo. Suns one oh six, Kings one oh seven, fifty one seconds left. We'll see how this foul fuckery goes. We already cashed the over. We're trying. Oh, it's 107, uh, 107. Here's, here's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm going to go three, four, seven. You got, you got another race in you? Yeah, you got one more. Let's do it. Three, four, seven at Cal Expo. I'm only fading these big prices. Looks like the. It's going to be about 10 seconds left if the sun's running all the way down. It's going to be close. Tell you what, let's just go three, four. Just the three, four at Cal Expo. Let's get cute. Tits up. Let's go three, four. Tits up. We got uh, Nur Nurkic is fouled with eight something left on the clock. He's going to the free throw line. They missed a shot, and he he actually I think he went over the defender, but he they didn't call it. Eight point seven left. Misses the first one like a dick, like an asshole, off the front. Uh, be right back. No problem. Watch him miss both of them. Watch him miss both of them like an asshole. Oh, he made it. So basically, probably isn't going to be overtime. There's eight seconds. There won't be. Well, unless there's a foul. Nope. Eight and a half, eight point seven seconds for the Kings to come down and win the game or lose it. This is kind of a sweat. Who would have known we wouldn't sweat in this fucking game? Didn't make a bet. We're doing this for Panger Life, and I think Ben Stevens is on it and whoever else. Guys, hit the like button. We're down to 23 people, uh, 25 people watching. That it says 73, but the stupid Twitter thing screws it up. Um, we'll be back next week. I'm going to do a couple streams next week. I don't know what days. I got to drive to Vegas twice next week. My grandpa's got doctor's appointments. Um so it won't be Wednesday, maybe Thursday, Friday. And maybe it can be Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see. And take over White Sox tomorrow. I kind of like them because Crochet is pitching. Yeah, yeah. That's what I – and take over Yeah, I read, just read your thing. You're right. The problem is it's hard to back them. I'm going to go look at some of their hitting stats. Um, 
So we'll we'll look at that, even though I know they're abysmal. The Hagen dust coconut with pineapple. All right. Yeah, I, I like that. It's like a pina colada. All right, we got one more race in us. We'll watch the end of this game, and then we're out of here because we're losing viewers. People are getting night nighty night. Yeah, I'm nighty night myself. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat a little bit and do my video, do a video every night, and put out my dub club, and then I'm gonna fucking go to bed. I do a little OnlyFans action. You guys want to think about that? Smoke and drink and shut down. I'm on the three, four. I'm on prom queen and princess of the dawn. Hooker. For Cal Expo. We're back. There's a foul. Are they not in the bonus? I guess there had to have been. They were. Well, they were. They're throwing it in. Oh no! It's a steal. Oh no! They stole it. Suns win 108 107. They fucking stole it. The guy was driving in. Congratulations, people. They got the Suns money line. Congratulations to you. If you could hear over all the noise and yelling and take that sacrament, take the over 209 and a half. We got that live at halftime. I was one of three live bets that I have. All the rest of my bet was it three live bets? Yeah, three live bets today. That's it. Two and one on live bets. Not bad. Yeah, they stole it right out of his hands. We'll listen to this race because Mike wants it. Mike wants to get it off, and then we'll uh, get out of here. But hit the like button, guys. If you haven't subscribed to both channels, please do. I'm three quarters of the way to a thousand. I want a thousand, not not because of any sort of you don't you know make pennies a thousand. I want to get I want to be able to get monetized so I can get demonetized. I want to I want to push the limits a little bit. So get us up there if you have burner accounts, if you know people. By the way, if you know people and, and you don't tell them about the show and they're interested in sports betting, you're crazy. With all the guys that come on her, I mean, I mean, we've got this, the, the brain trust, and people don't really know it. We're so small, but we've got all the best PSR guys. We've got the Who Bangin' crew. We've got old-timers like Sean Higgs and Jesse Shule that come on here, people that have names in the industry. Um, it's nuts. Mike, who has a crystal ball, Earl, Earl sports bet, obviously my co-host. Yeah, it was bad. But dude, the NBA is so tough to bet. You got to pick your spots. I can't, I can't get on things pregame right now. I really can't. I got, I mean, there's no reason to, what is there? One game left? No games left. Was this the last game? I don't know. Like, okay, so uh, let's see. 46 plus 35 is 81. So this was the last game, right? Right? Was, was this the last game for a lot, of, a lot of teams? 70, 81? Yeah, right? Someone tell me I'm right. No, there's Sunday games. Sunday games are the last games. Sunday. These were a lot of the last games for these teams. That makes sense. Some of them. Maybe not. Maybe all of them play on Sunday. Shit, there's a shit ton of game. I don't even, I mean, how the, I'm not going to even fucking bet any of these. Are you kidding me? You know, I mean, who has, where are their implications for where both teams are in them? There aren't really. Suns, Timberwolves, Lakers, Pelicans. I'm betting that shit. Well, we can wait. When when's the playoffs? When's the first playoffs? It's got to be um, a few days a week. Good. We'll concentrate on baseball. Win some money. Shows a gem, Dave. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for coming. Mike is back. Mike, we have night. We have twenty-one people watching. Let's get this. Let's do this. Right. Oh, you're muted. They have one more day of basketball left. It's Sunday. Sunday. No games yeah. tomorrow, but they're rolling yeah. everybody on Sunday. You then got a race to call. We're gonna get out of there. Here we go. The three is out front. We got the three and the four. Nice. Just a little shimmy, just a little sprinkle. We got the three, the one, the five, and the two. All of a sudden, we got movement on the outside. 
Cal Expo. The five moved out front. The five to two. We have the three and the four. We are trying for the big score. But here we go. It looks like the four is trying to make a move from the back now. The four is finally kicked into gear from the back, but the five is comfortably out front. The three sitting in second, the one and the seven. Here comes the four, though, making moves in the back. Let's see what happens. I don't expect these bombs to hit, but I'll take a three, four. They're on the inside rail. The three and the four have moved down the inside rail. They've made the smart decision. Oh, man. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. What's happening right now? No. Stop. Stop. Oh, did we just hit it? Stop if we just hit it. The four got the front. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, we got the replay. Let's see. The four and the three were battling on the inside. It does look like the four at six to one. I'm going to be hard pressed to say it wasn't the three. The four. Don't be it. Don't be. Is that the five or the three? That is the question. Four. We, we know it's the four on top. So what are the odds on the two horses? Well, the four was six to one. We only did two horses here. We did the four and the five, I believe. All right, go on. It's bro. right there. Sure. <laughs> It is right there. Well, we need to know if it's a winner before we get off. That's what she said. The three and the four. Those were the ponies we had. It's hard to leave on a winner, Dave. No, it was four and five. It wasn't the no, three. We'll leave on a loser. All right. <laughs> well, All right, we're out of here. What do you want to say? Come on, give us something. I want to say we got a big weekend ahead. I'm excited for sports. Dave, follow both of us at Pinslap POD and at Picks from Dave. You'll find out when we're going live. It's going to be a glorious weekend. We have UFC 300. We have Major League Baseball. We have NHL. We have NBA. It's going to be great, Dave. Let's get that cash. Yep. Thanks, Mike. You're my boy. You know that. Thanks to everyone that was on the panel and watched the chat. Um, man, oh, man, I wish I was uh with you guys tomorrow pray for if you're if you're a god-fearing person pray for me tomorrow if you're not go find god and then pray for me because tomorrow is going to take a lot of prayer to get through um my in my head probably won't be that bad but the saddest part is i can't be with you guys and i can't be it's going to cost me money too so anyway or it could save me money but i don't think so anyway we're out of here fridays are a day we'll be back next friday i will have another day it'll either be wednesday or thursday next week or both We'll be streaming, and uh, we'll get out of here. We love you guys. Take care. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. See you.